Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on YouTube, join our cult. Hello and welcome to another fun-filled, wait, look who's on, very lengthy edition <laughs> of uh, the Cultaholic Wrestling Don't Podcast. Don't look at us and then say very lengthy like that. Very lengthy. Oh my goodness. All right, Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy I'm bored wave. and horny, and look at my phone during NXT. NXT UK, NXT UK is very fertile ground. Uh, That's what he said this week. Yeah. Everything is sex to Wade Barrett. Carry on wrestling. You're listening to the, or watching the dulcet tones of Matthew, Ross Twiddell, and Jack the Jobber. How are you doing, Ross? I'm all right, Matthew. How the hell are you doing? I'm grand. You were just telling me before the podcast that you've been having ice cold showers. I have been having ice cold showers, which then, 45 minutes to half hour afterwards, make you sweat your tits off. <laughs> the aircon's on. But they are apparently beneficial for your health. And I could do with some of that. So <laughs> we're trying it out. I've done it for three days now. Um, will we make it to four, probably? Will we make it to five? Doubtful. Do you still have, like... Shower gels and stuff oh, like just that. Do they not work? A normal shower, but with cold water. If I mm. it makes your hair feel different afterwards, doesn't it? Bit drier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stroyer. Yeah. And it sometimes I don't have like full cold showers, but if I'm feeling a bit like I need to wake up, like right at the end of the shower, I'll just run my head under it a bit cold, but that like shocks you awake a little oh. bit. Um how is it meant to, when do the like when do you stop feeling the the positive side of it? Afterwards, because apparently it makes you internals work harder to get the blood flowing more. There's a, there's a fella, there's a Dutch fella who I described earlier as, he clearly did the narcotics in the 60s, but he's grown to be a lovely old fella called Wim Hof mm -hmm. uh, from Holland, who uh, I've been watching his stuff. I don't know what he's, he, I saw him on this morning a few years ago, that's where I recognise him from, giving stuff tips to uh, Holly and Phil, and okay. they both look fantastic, so... Especially Phil, that silver fox. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going for him. Um, but I, that's it. Cold showers. That's that's literally all that's happened to me this week. I heard that um, the bloke who played Wolverine is it was a Hugh Jackman. He, yeah, huge jacked man. Yes, he apparently used to take cold showers in between like scenes to keep him in a bad mood, <laughs> to keep him in character. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Oh God. And how's yourself, pal? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, it's been. Like my first like sort of full week working back, and um, it's been surprisingly busy because backlash is just or WrestleMania backlash That's right. has totally sneaked up. Mm. I just wasn't ready for it at all. Um, and me and Ross were talking yesterday on uh, on a video about how excited we are. We're not that we're not that hyped for it, unfortunately. It's legitimately, Matthew, we're sat here on Thursday, so the, oh no, not a couple hours after this goes live, the card could have been flipped upside down and made very interesting. Mm. Yeah, we've still got SmackDown. As we're sat here, it's very much can miss. That's what I'm saying about it. There's nothing. They've taken away the main hook of the show. You can't say that word like a jolly, nah, otherwise Americans complain. Hook. Mm. <laughs> Either take away the unification thing, which was the only interesting thing on the card for me. So, mm. do you not think that'll be redone tonight? I By hope time this goes so. early. Yeah, but it feels like they're trying to book their way out of it. Mm. We can get that would Drew, be very silly. We can mm. get the Drew versus Roman after this pay per view. Do you think Surely. it's likely that they might do like a King of the Ring two thousand right. winner takes all the belts? No, yes and no, because I think we'll that's it. But not that's not how they're doing the title change. Yeah, that's one of my earliest memories of wrestling. There, just the image of the Rock afterwards with his foot on Vince's chest yeah. and the belt. I thought, what? And Shane going, Wah. what a hero! Oh, is that when Undertaker yeah. choke slammed him through? Oh, yeah. Only like Shane. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, that, all he do is crazy bumps and then leave. That wasn't when it takes all the belts, was it? That was whichever if the oh, face, yeah, well, if sorry, the faces yeah. win, whichever one gets the pin. Yeah, so Triple H lost the belt without being pinned. Yeah, because he's. Cerebral assassin, and... He thinks... Well, not in that one, he didn't think more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let right. his father-in-law get pinned. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, that's a horrible idea. What am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Ah, so a, a late uh, Eid Mubarak to everyone. Oh, yes. oh God, I... Thing. <laughs> uh, everyone but the curse of the podcast. <laughs> I'm hoping to get some sort of fancy graphic or something. I just suggest Tubman just walk in with a bit of sign saying, curse the podcast this week. <laughs> he wasn't I, I saw a comment last week saying, Richard needs his own microphone, and I can see there's a fourth slot, and I think there's a thing that should happen. Whoa! Because there's oh, certain, God, there is, I. Not necessarily a camera, because I know he's, he's a bit camera shy. He likes to be mysterious and dark and, and sexy in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a fourth slot, so I'm gonna get Adam to buy yeah. one. He's so just making you. he's just making notes there. I don't know what that <laughs> said. I am I sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but from oh, that man. to the negative news, we got out of the way first of all. Yes, uh, the NXT releases mm. that obviously happened on the Friday. That happened because you know we're gonna record this sometime. You know, 
All reported again by Fightful, a.k.a. Sean Ross Sapp, and W doesn't even bother announcing it themselves now. They go, yeah, he said it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's right. So the list is as follows. Uh, Dexter Loomis, Dakota Kai, Malcolm Bivens, Harland, Persia Perota, Raylan Devine, uh, Mila Milani, Draco Anthony. Sorry, Joe. I know. Uh, Sandra George and Blair Baldwin. So it's obviously all NXT. varying degrees of people who are important on the roster and stuff like that. So obviously mm. it sucks for everybody. But surprisingly, Malcolm Bivens. <sighs> no, who, no, not surprisingly. Because he made, apparently he made it very clear to them a few months ago that he wasn't going to sign a new contract. Oh, all right. So I can see why they've let him go. I'm fair right. enough. But it is weird how, I'm sure we'll get onto it in a bit, Roddy Strong situation. I was going to say that. I said to Roddy Strong, you're very important to the storylines. You can't go. But the manager of Roddy Strong stable, yeah. you're not important. You can go away. That's the weird bit for me. Oh, yeah, I'm sure Roddy Strong's maybe not taking that uh, advice they're given to heart, given that, wait, the Diamond Man's really important. That's why Tyler Rust, Artru Ruas, oh, Tyler Ruas, Tom Bivens, Dick. in the case of Zeke, and... Marina Shafir. Yeah. Are no longer here. Well, well we're really important now. And he probably, because all his pals and his wife are in AEW now. He, I mean, I can understand. But the, the thing I, that confused me about Bivens was he spent, it feels like they wasted a lot of time at the start of his contract because he was just in doing like house shows and stuff like that. But he's a manager, already recognized as a really good one. He doesn't really need to learn how to work TV. Like, does he? He's already, you can already do that, surely. So I don't know why they wasted so much time with him. Yeah. It's heartbreaking as well, because apparently, I don't know who wrote, uh, reported this, but allegedly the plans were to have him be Omos' manager, <laughs> which is a visual. I'm sad we'll never get to see. Come yeah. to fruition. I also read that he was offered, like, hey, do you want to you know, hang out with LA Knight on SmackDown? He's like, no. No, fair enough. Yeah. No, I'm all right, pal. Uh, one of the highlights of NXT and anything he's ever done. Mm -hmm. really. He just shows up and he's hired the night somewhat effortlessly. And it's weird his last appearance will be. NXT 2.0 last week, standing in the background, staring at the camera like that angry picture of Elmo that's doing the rounds. <laughs> I don't know if that was deliberate or not, but if it was, fair play to the man. His departure message was lovely as well. It was. I don't know if we can play on the podcast, can we, Richard, mm. just to get all the... It's just a social media video. I'm sure we'll be okay. Right. I don't even think it's worth it, the amount of time it'll take you. I okay. should have you before. What is it? What, he what, just what basically is it? goes, there's one thing I'll miss, and that is Jaya Lee. <laughs> God, <laughs> God, is it Godspeed, baby girl? Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> and, uh... I hope I hope that member of our fantastic writing team here, Cultaholic, Jack Atkins, feels terrible about this. Because oh. he had like, you know, there's some wrestlers that everyone likes that just don't really click with you. Yeah. For him, that was Dakota Kai of all people. I know. What a weirdo. I know. <laughs> but he'd go like, oh, how was NXT? Was was Wendy Chu on it? She's fantastic. And we're like, eh? So oh, hope... he's the target audience. <laughs> no, oh, no. Oh, oh, Wendy, oh, Wendy Chu's done a lot more better character work than Dakota Kai ever did in NXT. Oh. <sighs> I said that with a straight face. Dakota Kai you is... did. Have those ice-cold showers doing what is <laughs> It's a weird thing with Dakota Kai, though, because obviously she was fantastic. Yeah. And she was spinning her wheels for the longest time in NXT. Yeah. Why she wasn't bummed up the main roster, I've got yeah, no idea. Right. No. Criminally misused, and Chivan said, uh, yeah, I pretty much guessed this was coming. Given the horrendous, what are we doing booking? We have no idea. Something, something, bye. Yeah. Uh, basically, some of the last few weeks. But they kept finding her new tag partners and stuff, so I thought, yeah. oh, they, they want to keep her in. So I was quite surprised. I was not as surprised as I was about Dexter Loomis, who's very unique. Uh, and yeah. it just started a new tag team. <laughs> yeah, is being part of something on the roster that people seem to like. Yeah. A lot. A lot of horniness and oh, shagging. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Barrett's have to go through three pages of notes away. He now needs they've to gone. be done the cold showers in the morning. Oof, I don't think mm. that'd stop him at this point. <laughs> but the last time they were, instead of just doing backstage stuff, he had a bit where they lost a match because they were fighting outside and then the lasses grabbed them and they started having their way with them. And the crowd, do you remember this? The yeah. Two, yeah. Oh, and the crowd yeah. chanted, like, what was that? Yeah, this is Something negative. This oh, is this stupid. is stupid. Yeah. And I don't know, like, if the crowd's... Because the different crowd and now they are reacting differently than they were a few weeks ago. Ask yeah, Cameron they're Grimes, real. eh? That's Cameron Grimes. Uh, well, we'll Whoa. get him soon. Whoa. But it's weird that wait they've been doing this for ages, and after all that, there wasn't any payoff. Like, <sighs> well, we've got paid off every week, didn't we? With what happened, it was a, a gift that came, uh, kept on giving. Um, the gift that keeps on giffing is good. Though. <laughs> well, I'm going to use that. Also, one. <laughs> <laughs> I, but uh, I think with Dexter Loomis personally, he is, he he was a bit like Dakota Kai. He was just sort of spinning his wheels in NXT. Mm. The longer that was going on, it was it was like it was unique and quite funny. Well, it was all right at the start when he was whapping out his long thing of 
Ooh. Johnny's <laughs> um, and all the stuff. Indy Hartwell played her part well in that as well. But yeah. the longer that was going on between those four, it was more like they're just trying to shoehorn it in, aren't they? No matter what, jam yeah. it in. But you know what? That's one of those bits on XC 2.0 that I went, oh my God, what am I watching? But then after like several months of it, Mike, Oh, it's been released. Uh, no, yeah. come back. Oh, they come back, be... dodgy sex segment. He could easily segment. have... Segment. <laughs> <laughs> he could He's easily have um, had a... Like, filled a role in the main roster yeah. as well. He's so different. I don't understand. He filled her hole every... No, 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 Wait, no, no. Wait, no, no he can't no, do that no. anymore. He's gone. Filled a role, definitely didn't. <laughs> Bloody hell. Wade Barrett, honestly. Dexter Lubis. <laughs> And uh, Harland <laughs> has been posting stuff on Twitter, and everyone's going, oh, he's so great, he's so awesome, looks great. He's, uh, Parker Bodo. Mm, no, I believe yeah. that's how you say his name. And he looks mint, but people are keep, on, keep on repeating the segment, the next Brock Lesnar, or like a Brock Lesnar. That's and I'm a like, big thing to I'm look like, who to. said that? Where'd that come from? Just because he, just because when before he shaved his head, he looked a bit like a young Brock Lesnar. Oh, looked like, oh, okay. Yeah, but also was mm. big and young and full of promise. Mm. Yeah, I guess I don't know what what was he before NXT because he had a massive social media following the, before right. the rappers like him aye all the I cool thought you might know him then no no, no. Oh. <laughs> I know all the rappers me um, no I don't know aye it's weird because obviously with that backing as well and being what he was in terms of his look and his Kavorka, um it is weird how it's panned out how they just made him into a, a silent big man mm. with no hair right and now he's on and he's clearly looking. very charismatic if right. you look at his Instagram and partying with the honeys and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Something I know a lot about. Of course mm. you do. Yeah. And uh, to go, Kai, there's obviously people on Twitter saying different things, but Kai summed up the statement with, not another damn notes app, lol. Too long didn't read. I love you. See you soon, X. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. And this also goes hand in hand with the uh, the re- playing releases every 90 days news. Um, I hope we've tried to figure this out because sometimes trying to figure out what Melt is saying is like trying to read... Uh, Zodiac cipher. But <laughs> it's become a sad note with Dewey that talent releases are to occur more frequently than ever before. Um, if Melter was a serial killer and left clues in the Observer, they'd never find the bodies. <laughs> 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 never find them. A report from the Observer says I think we are going to see more and more of this when it comes to NXT. Is people, they are just going to make decisions that they are bringing a lot of new people in. If they don't make progress there, they're going to get rid of you in most cases. So it sounds like now's an incentive, like, okay, you got 90 days and then you're going to sling your hook, which is how it sounds like. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate or not because 90 days, that's, I mean, it's a ridiculous way. Yeah. Of to get that that sounds more like they're just going to look at the roster every 90 days and evaluate. Not yeah, nec- that's, what, that's what I took it. Not to necessarily mean, like, be like, you've got 90 days to prove yourself, otherwise you're gone. You're doing good, you're doing good. Oh, not good enough. No. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like the funnest working environment. No, not exactly. Yeah. But at the same time, we are seeing, I think we say this every time there's been releases like this, like they really are concentrating on getting rid of every single thing Triple H did. I know. Yeah, they are. Like, oh, no, Roddy but... Strong wants to leave, does he? Oh, well. That's it. He is the last one, isn't he? Um, Ooh, good question. <laughs> Obviously, Wendy chews a different gimmick. Cameron Grimes? Cameron Grimes, yeah. yeah. Right. There's a few, but... I've gone to SmackDown or Raw or NXT UK. I'm the, not sure if that's a permanent thing. The or roster not. just looks totally different now. Yeah. We've now got, you know, obviously the four pillars, so it's going all right. Who were the four pillars again? Andre, Andre come. <laughs> uh, LA, but LA's gone. Oh, was he one of the four pillars? pillars? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Okay. We need a new pillar. Um, or a pillock. Did the four pillocks? That'd be yeah. easy. Who were the other ones? Was was uh, Duke Hudson? Uh, I there? think. I think. Dolan has to be there. I now, think I Andre know. Chase is still very much a pillar. Yeah. I would argue he's the most Especially stable, oh, stable yeah. pillar of the ball. I think yeah. Wendy Chu is probably Chew is definitely pillar. in the conversation oh, yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, Come yeah. is still there, obviously. Yeah. Come. And then the fourth. Who was the fourth original? The comments are going wild now. I know. I know. Obviously, how dare you forget this important bit of <laughs> stupid law you guys made up? It might have been Duke Hudson. It might have been Dull Hudson. I'm gonna go with Dull. He's a poker player. <sighs> I think he's lost his pillar pillock status. Uh, he's the last pillock standing. Got <laughs> someone for that. Uh, speaking of contract news, a weird thing because I'm sure this will get finalised and sorted out as soon as this podcast is finished. But Stu Grayson finish of AW? Question mark. Uh, when well, it was known that George Janela, Jack Evans, and Marco Stunt would depart AEW and their contract expired on May the 1st, a surprise name in Stu Grayson was also removed from the AEW roster page on the promotion's website. Uh, Thought had been removed in the past, and they obviously the promotion, this case for them, but uh, again, Sean Ross Sapp this time is a bit more eloquent. So far, I've heard the same thing, but I haven't had it confirmed. Talent I've talked to is under the impression Stu Grayson's deal expired, but no one's confirmed it yet. So as far as I'm concerned, that is unconfirmed, but like I said, I'm sure as soon as this goes out, it'll be like... Yeah, he signed or come back. But and it's amazing because obviously 
big difference between AEW and NXT. NXT people could be doing relatively nothing and get released. It's like, all right, fair enough. Stu Grayson was doing similar levels of not that important to the roster, but because of the social media, AW Dark, Elevation, and Twitch, and all the YouTube stuff they do, sell a hell of a following. Mm. BTE as well. BTE, mm. there you go. Dark Order, I assume they're still big on there. I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I assume they are as well, because yeah. everyone, everyone told me they're great. Yeah. It'd be weird if you went, because Uno would be on his own, and they've been a tag team for... Yeah. Like... Over a decade, maybe? I think way after that. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It yeah. just shows the point. Yeah, they've been together yeah. for so long. but And it does wow. feel weird because we haven't, like, as, as them as a tag team, just those two, haven't really scratched the surface, have we, in the, in yeah. the tag team ranks? As a tag team, you know, I mean, Dark Hole is great because obviously you had the initial run and they were like, oh, no, these guys are not, nah, you're miscast in this role. Then it became, you know, bumbling idiots. It was like, yay, great. Mm. Then they had Hangman Page, who has done his best to not associate with them since, which... But weird storytelling there, to be honest with you. And then it's been like, hey, it's those guys who are funny and amusing and make memes. Hey, Hangman's, maybe it's part of his character. That might get yeah. explained this week. He's I turning a bit evil. Well, not he's evil. He's dried up, I think. He's a bit more to get back to his old self. Oh, encouraging alcohol. <laughs> yes, I am. God. For Great, certain, that's all you... <laughs> so we're trying to help here, Cole For Ollie. certain people, it works. <laughs> Be fun again, <laughs> So more on that news to come. Sure, no, no curses next week. It could just be a URL error. Well, there were two Stu Grayson profiles on AEW for Richard ages. Richard could you look at the current AEW oh, official right. roster? At the time of this podcast. Let's see if he's appeared or not, just to see if we've made a oh, right tit of ourselves. This is like one of those investigative crime podcasts where we're they actually just... try to solve the crime and stuff. <laughs> Here we are. What, look at Thunder Rose's face there. She had sure. a lot of face paint on everybody who's audio listening alone. Mm. S... T- no. T- no. Oh. oh. Would he be? Oh yeah, that's that's the name he goes by in the Dark Order, isn't it? Stu. Oh. Well. Ah, onwards. WWE has revealed their September third event at Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales, will be called Clash at the Castle. Me and Ross were talking about this. Well, I spat out there that because I'm a celebrity, get me out of here has been held in a castle in Wales for the past two years. A boffin who works for WWE has googled big things in Wales and seeing I'm a celebrity in the castle and going, oh, two and two together, there's four. But it turns out, as the comments of the pictures right. for WrestleMania Backlash pointed out, by and large, there are lots of castles in Wales. Really? Oh. So you live and learn. In, in the Cardiff area? I don't know if it's in the Cardiff area. Okay. In fact, there might be one comment that was like, there's one down the road from the I, was, I saw yeah. one that said, mm. Clash, down the street from the castle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. Go to close enough. I think um, go on. We've, got, we've got a castle. It's not special. It's in the name. I mean, ours isn't much of one. It's yeah. an OG castle, isn't it? Pile yeah. Of, pile of rubble next it to is, the train it, station. It literally but, is a pile of rubble. But, but it's, a, it's a castle. Smackheads love it. Hashtag against modern castles. <laughs> 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 we need safe standing back yeah. castles. We have to defend it before it gets turned into student flats. Yeah, so. we do. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so uh, Clash oh, of the Castle. What a local grievance. Everyone's getting yeah. turned to bloody student stacks gun. Yes. That's a uh, oh. HMRC building that, though. That's not student flats. Yeah. Nine, 9,000 new people working in the city centre with these transport links. They're asking <laughs> for trouble. They are asking for trouble. How are 9,000 new people going to get in and out of the city centre? Well, I'll tell you what. On Dobson Street, sir. On the main, Metro. Uh, the I main think, not if they're on West. I think, well. The, the West, they're walking or getting the bus. <laughs> the West have never had a Metro. <laughs> no, they've never had it. Closest <laughs> we can West is St. James's. I'm from, oh, it's nearly there. I'm from Jarrow, a relatively small town in South Tyneside, yeah. right? Three metro stations in Jarrow alone, none in the whole west end of Newcastle. <laughs> uh, why are we talking about Sorry, everybody. Oh, yeah, wrestling news. But the Newcastle-based listeners will be like, yeah, damn right. Uh, yeah, I think these are the ones who say it's at Rise go, I heard what you said. <laughs> and they just don't see them rest of the night. Well, the student flat pandemic is all about, like, uh, it's about if you if you create a, a student flat building, you, get, you avoid certain taxes and you can put, like, private oh. flats in there mm-hmm. and charge less and make some profit on the, on the thing. So it's, they're dirty, these contractors. But what we're talking about... <laughs> Uh, clash at the castle. Oh, uh, I hope there's a big castle in the Tron. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Oz. Do you remember when Oz made his debut for WCW? <laughs> oh, that Oz. Oh, yes. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The drawbridge. Giant, yes. Oh, fantastic. That's what we need. And then, then progressively less and less Oz as he went on. <laughs> Do you think... No, we're not bringing out the castle for the house show with the Omni. <laughs> Do you think they'll proper go for it? Like, people will have special entrance attacks, like, come out as knights. Oh, God, oh, they're going to do I that with so. Drew, aren't they? That, Drew's the one I had in mind. Chainmail... All that dragon. Sort of stuff. Uh, You'll dragon, ride a dragon yeah. down the ring. <laughs> yeah. His sword. Eddie, Eddie Dennis was like, hi, can I be booked for the show? I was going to say, is there anybody Welsh on the main roster at the minute? 
I had a thought and thought. Not on the no. main roster. No. Not on the main roster. We need Mason. Flash Man. Morgan. He's there. In NXT. I was going to say, Andrews, NXT UK, yeah. there's a bunch of them, but maybe they'll show if I'm up. wrong, I'm, I'm right. There was no NXT UK wrestlers on the recent UK tour, right? No. No? I'm sure that was just the first year NXT UK was a thing because we went to one and I remember Joseph Connors made his entrance in Newcastle upon time. So, and what was it like? Uh, no noise. Yeah. Like, uh, there was oh, no, what? No. No, no noise. In Newcastle? In, in, New, in the Tele West Arena. Oh, I've been telling people for ages because um, NCL had him appear and you oh, gets like, Austin in 99 because he's w- <laughs> I guess it's just... WCPW's very own Joseph Connors. But okay. Oh, I guess it's just a different crowd, isn't it? Yeah. The kids won't know. Oh, six-year-olds. That's WCPW's Joseph <laughs> Connors. He lost half his ear in a bar. <laughs> yeah. You get that That's thing. real though, isn't it? I know it is. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not having a that. It's, it's just, the NXT UK. Then a kid going on. <laughs> Every NXT UK person at the start was, I fought in a pub. Yeah. Apart from Dan Some Mal- six-year-old going, have you heard my podcast to talk all about it? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Dan Maloney, who was like, who implied I might literally have murdered people in the past. I've seen yeah. And then he lost things. in the first round. I was like, well... And Tyler Bate, my what two kind of fists, bip and bop. bop. and Bop and bang. Bop and bang. Didn't see it? that oh, one sorry. coming. <laughs> I've had three matches since that. Oh, I know why. Anyway, anyway sorry, yeah. Uh, I, so, yeah, Clash of the Castle. I guess my idea of Feynman Sam's carry wasn't going to work. Oh! That's my attempt at being Welsh humour. I like how the main Welsh thing you thought of was Feynman Sam. Right. That's good, yeah. They live in Ponty Pandy. Ponty Pandy. Norman! <laughs> Norman! What a little bell end he is. <laughs> oh, there's a fire. I wonder yeah. who it could be. Oh, the one lad every week, you idiot. Have you seen... Lock him up. Just relate. Have I mentioned this before? You know, like Postman Pat? Yeah. That was more like Yorkshire, Lancashire, I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, there's a video on YouTube, it's so funny, because there's an episode where he plays football, and he turns up late because he's been delivering the post, and he runs on the village green to join in, and he's amazing. <laughs> like, Postman <laughs> Pat's, like, taking around people. His son does some kick ups and, like, knocks it in the air, and Pat elevates, like, to head this in, right? And it's someone uploaded a video on YouTube called Postman Pat, Welcome to Real Madrid, Goals, Assists, Skills. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the comments are all like, can't wait for him to see him in a Real Madrid shirt and stuff. And there's like a dubstep song in the background. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing yeah, that. I didn't so check good. that out. Um, Nia Jax does not divulge who the target of her statement was. And a weird statement, Nia Jax insinuate that certain stars and to be used blackmail to keep their spot on the card. The claim came out the blue on Twitter. Uh, saying, it's a shame. Some people deserve to get the opportunity to shine like the star they really are, but unfortunately, certain higher-ups can never see past their own perverted ways. Too bad they aren't the lucky ones who can't use blackmail to keep their jobs. And it was called Random Tweet was at the end of that. Uh, yeah, she talks a lot, doesn't she? It's never she it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, very interesting statement there. Uh, also, God, I realize I'm forgetting about other news that happened. Oh, in boy, the... you never... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, how, that's how real, can real series, obviously yeah. like yeah. she's chatting bollocks surely <laughs> what blackmail is she in, insinuating about here I, I, I hope she insinuates some more so do I I want to know more Naya yeah. you liar <laughs> pants liar on fire. Jax <laughs> oh, they're gone and thrown down coming soon to NXT 2.0 liar Jax <laughs> she can't tell the truth no matter the weather <laughs> Uh, Samir Kapoor and Tay Gondi are the new AAA Mixed Tag Team Champions gaining the belts at Triple Mania Triple X despite the fact that Kapoor wasn't actually a participant in the match oh nice so there's three I uh, did some research after asking you last week there's three Triple Manias this year yes in different cities yes I, it, it thematically does make sense because it's Triple A three that's how it was originally was it was it tour, like Triple Mania like 1A then tri- one B, one two, whatever. This was uh, in Monterey. You, well, can't the alphabet, right? So this was. Imagine they're not calling it like that anymore, but they're just doing them spread around because mm. they're starting a giant tournament where the tournament finals are going to be mask versus mask, oh. and the stars in this were quite impressive. Wait, your reward for getting to the final of the tournament is potentially losing your mask. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but there were lots of big stars in it. I was at LA Park, you know, four. But more importantly, El Kanek is in this tournament, uh, and he beat Psycho Clown. El Kanek body slammed Andre the Giant. Oh, my God. He's 69. <laughs> <laughs> and he was great. Tub, but oh. I need a picture because I can't imagine this in mind. How do you spell it? L E L. Oh, my God. It's a loser's tournament. Please. Oh, is it? That's so good oh, if it is. Oh, he's going he's gonna to win. He's going to get to the final. I recognize his mask. Can you have a, like, a mo- mo- 2022 picture? That's him in his heyday. <laughs> He still looks fantastic. <laughs> uh, mate, you go, okay, he looks a bit rough. 69, yeah, looks yeah. amazing. He's going to win yeah, that or, was it, lose, that was or lose the tournament. You can't even tell. 
If it is a loser advantage, oh, so tournament, to lose. Oh, I wonder why that. If was. that's true, Richard, that is genius. See, Triple Nine is so great when you have stuff like something when the title of the match he wasn't even in and stuff like that. I just thought that was the booking. Yeah, yeah. I'll connect one, but so I'll count advances. I went, ah, it's Triple Eight. <laughs> yeah. um, and then they had Young Bucks, the main event, beating Viking O and Phoenix, and mm -hmm. uh, the referee was like, oh no, does. Oh no, does Oh man. So the Jackson brother was like, do it again. Oh no, does stress. <laughs> again. Oh, no, does again. No, no. No, again, I like Triple Mania. It's, it's just a big mess, mm. but I'm here for it. The Young Bucks did an interview with Hugo Savinovich around the time of Triple, when they were in Mexico for the show on his YouTube channel, or the one that he presents for, I guess. And uh, they were talking about how New Japan big leagued them at the start when they left. And they were like, yeah, we might not work with AEW. And the implication was like, now they've come crawling back. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> they no one can stir poo like those two. <laughs> no. God. Uh, and oh, if there was no other hot news to start off with, let's end with this. You know, WOW, Women's of Wrestling. Oh my god. You know how they were set up just because Tessa Blanchett had nowhere else to go because no one likes working with her. <laughs> She's left. <laughs> She's left <laughs> WOW. She's not being so toxic. She's on the outs of them. And even brought uh, Rosa Negra, the woman who allegedly, you know, had some issues with in the past involved mm. to help facilitate it. Yeah, she's out. I hope she can control her narrative somehow and spin oh, this into something positive. Oh, there we go. Well, there we are, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, that would make sense. You must yeah. be sick if you're her, though. She literally had the world at her feet. She was like the best women's ago. wrestler in the world. She was beating fellas for world titles yeah. and Impact. A again, just that, just, mm. just put ourselves back in the picture. Impact Wrestling did a genuinely good bit where they start building her up and going, right, cool, I'm going to wrestle with the lads and do all this, and it was working, and people were saying, look, Impact's a bit rough, but the Tessa Blanchard stuff they're doing for Sammy Callan and all the rest, that's great. The day before she's about to win the title, after months of Impact Wrestling actually putting the, the graft in, she goes on Twitter and just tweets like, oh, it's great when women should help other women, and every <laughs> woman's wrestling, like, how dare you say that? And then, <laughs> I, I, to be fair, they were probably, I don't know if they were right or wrong uh, to do so, but they, they still got to win the belt. There was no other... How could they there go was back? literally How could they go back? The, the last minute. Because it's such a catch-22, because if you have a win, then people will say, well, you've backed this woman who's been accused of really bullying everybody yeah. and stuff. But if you have a lose, it's like, actually, men are better than women at wrestling. <laughs> you can't... What do you do? It, yeah, right. There was like, oh, they should have someone else do it. I'm surprised I'm, it is. Like, you know who? what? Impact, right, for me, in the past couple of years, are like up there. They've gone so up in my estimation. Yeah. They've gone down in my... No, they've yeah. gone up in my estimation. <laughs> I think they've, they've got another big show coming up. I love Impact Wrestling. Every time we have a show... I'm a fan of Impact Wrestling. Are you? Are you and proud to say it? it's taken me about two decades to pluck up the courage to admit this. I'm proud of you. When was the last show you watched? Um, Rebellion. Oh. I have it. I. It was on Fight TV. Damn it. What was the main event? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's been so much shows. There's been so That's many all we've got for the news this week. Josh Alexander. Oh, just go. Just go. Tessa Blanchard's a dialum. No, 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 no. Ah. <sighs> Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah, that's time the Hall of Fame. Oh, the very prestigious Hall of Fame, I see. <laughs> In condescending honor from last week. The ever supportive NXT 2.0 universe. Oh, that went great, didn't it? Uh, 13%. It's okay. He's like milk. Uh, the process of earning a cat's trust. 20%. Mm. It's a shame because I can relate to that. It's a, mm. it's a lovely feeling. Mm. Not lovely enough, though. Uh, Brigadier Sir Nils Olaf III, 67%. Who I put in twice because last week there was obviously a clerical error, a.k.a. Tom was cheating. And uh, <laughs> I want to make sure I've got that one through just to make sure. I would have taken it. I wouldn't have put him in again if he hadn't lost uh, on one this week. But, yeah, that's right. Well, this isn't hair. This is a tinfoil hat because I think this has been done on purpose. Oh. Because you and Tom are closer than any other person who works here, probably. That's right. We so do Tom each other. has got himself in the Hall of Fame, lied about the next week's uh, Hall of Fame. Oh. Then you've had to nominate the same one again and generate some sort of movement behind the Brigadier. <sighs> and the Brigadier's now got in the Hall of Fame. I think there's some conspiracy going on here. Oh, Rospiracy. But, yeah. Uh, I'm going to write the Brigadier. Do you got like a? It's gonna be someone who's respond to that. Yeah. But if I pretend I'm a kid, he's like, "Oh, hello, you idiot." <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a penguin. <laughs> Shows part of your job as a brigadier. Anyway, yes, isn't that great? Uh, so, thank you very much for all the people who voted. And again, anything to do with animals or stupid stuff gets sent to me. Probably because of stuff like this, and I'm not alone in this. If it wasn't, wouldn't it be weird? But I got so sent something this week. I get sent a lot of stuff. But if we go over to Dick Tubman, oh. 
This is from <laughs> Lloyd Roberts. My God. <laughs> 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 bad to worse for our club. Even Toby Tyke is off the rails. Oh, no. Barnsley? That's right. Barnsley mascot, Toby the Tyke. Oh. Not every day Toby Tyke's getting locked up. He's <laughs> 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 today. Is he going to... Oh, wait, more commentary, lad. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That's right. Oh, oh no. shocking that. It's not even real. <laughs> Can't believe they had to take his head off. Uh, How do they know it's him? <laughs> it's like Kevin Sullivan's put them in the back of the van at the end there. You see that? Not every day, Toby Tyke's getting Sull- locked up. <laughs> Toby Tyke's getting locked up. Yeah, yeah. Is, that the, is that El Hio <laughs> del Toby Tyke? <laughs> Look at Kevin. Oh, no, repeating again. Sorry, I blinked. Kevin Sullivan Kevin coming Sullivan? out of the back of the van there. There he is. Poking his head oh. out of the van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this is for people in the audio listeners. Barnsley mascot arrested. The season goes from bad to worse following relegation. Toby the Tyke was on the end of some rough justice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the NXT commentary team wrote this. After being jokingly led away by police just days after the Reds' relegation to League One was confirmed. Barnsley's endured a wretched season on the field. Oof, say what you see, pal. The Reds have gone from championship playoff qualifiers last year to relegation fodder this time around. They were Gone, they, they have gone down with a whimper and look like finishing rock bottom, even below fellow rele- rele- relegated side Derby County, who have had a 21 point deducted. Mm. They've accidentally clicked an advert. Now, Burton.co.uk has just killed that page or got away. Burton. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I think we got the idea there. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if it's probably a thing. I mean, it didn't say what the crime was committed. I was Maybe say- being a bad football mascot. But I like the fact that we had that Burnsy guy going, oh, no. Barnsley. Hmm? Barnsley. What did I say? Burnsley, I oh, think. Barnsley. <laughs> like a weird matchup. Too many it? words flying uh, around. Um, yeah, I want to go with Toby the Tyke being arrested. I was going to say, enough. Richard, scroll down to the replies and make it a reason, oh, real no, reason Ray, revealed Ray why see. Toby the Tyke was arrested. <laughs> I just know. No. <laughs> About time someone's held accountable for this season, <laughs> says Peep Homer. Show more replies. This could, this could this backfire. Could go, oh, yeah. oh, no, I'm not liking this. Yeah, 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 yeah some way, cursing. Lovely. <laughs> Football no. images that precede unfortunate events. Just go down to that. Oh, no, is it? Oh, sorry. Oh, right. um, I, Toby the Tiger. Oh, Toby the Tiger arrested. There's a headline here that says Barnsley mascot arrested in like. Well, they have to say that for legal reasons. Oh, do they? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, their club mascot was seemingly arrested. Yeah, but there's like PR photos. I'm, ru- I'm sorry, I'm ruining your. Uh, like, oh, no, is it? Is, I want to know what he's done. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what was it? What's it say on yours? Oh, it's just a Burns <laughs> advert. I can't see it. Oh yeah, they are PR images, aren't they? Yeah. Some good quality. It's a quality word, ones, bros. It might be a word. That's only because the uh, the team know the the police and the bit. You know. What's it? Balls dot ie. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Popular on balls. Oh, bottom of the championship was just six wins and head back to League One. It's been a season to forget for Barnsley. Keep Peter scroll, Huddersfield scroll confirmed down. their fate while manager, blah, blah, blah. Out of context, it's one of the funniest videos I've seen this week. Seven it police officers. Video. What do you think it was Meng? Yeah. <laughs> One hand as the dog is escorted into a police van. The video's been viewed a lot of times. It's not every day Toby Tight gets locked up, but he is today, he <laughs> says the video's the <laughs> <laughs> However, it turns out Toby Tyke wasn't being arrested. Oh, no! For crimes against mas- musketry. That's a word. But rather, this is part of a community program called the BFC Community Game Changer. Ba- oh, Game Changer! Take on Nick Gage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so what are they advertising? Ah. <laughs> oh, he's not a happy, happy Toby. Is that the way he looks all the time? What's that guy doing? <laughs> Normally, mascots look, at? look happy. Yeah. So, wait, what's it advertising? A, a the game changer Barnsley project. What's that? Don't get arrested, kids. Basically, I reckon, <laughs> yeah. something like that. <laughs> if you're gonna get arrested, make sure you just disguise as a mascot so no one knows who you are. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Don't be tight getting arrested, and we'll ignore the context of not being really arrested. <laughs> Kill the gimmick completely, because you know arresting's real. And everyone else is fake. <sighs> yeah. Uh, that's my pick of the week. Who was second last week? Cats Trust. It was yourself, Ross. Cats Trust. I am of the Cats Trust. 
That sounds like a charity. Is it a charity? It probably is. Probably. I don't know. I'm just going for that William Regal Blackpool oh, combat yeah, 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 promo yeah, yeah, yeah. on this week's Twitter. Uh, on this week's Twitter. On, we all saw on social media, didn't we? We saw the little version on AW Dynamite. So if you were yeah. intrigued by that little version, go on Twitter and the full version's there. It's like two and a half minutes or something like that. We can't play it here, but it's something you need to go and watch because William Regal, in this role, there is nothing finer in the wrestling world at the moment, I would yeah. say. Oh, so, so the lines, like they say, the eyes are the gateway to the soul. You see the scars from the body. That's how. That's our gateway. The fighters. Ah, uh, the footage and, of him uh, doing. Uh, I don't know what. Lines. Someone put the technical term on on Twitter. I saw, but I forgot what it was. He's doing all these holds, and then this little thing where he rakes his hand across his eyes, like he did, that's called something. Right, right. William Regal oh. showing Willie Utah how to bump. I don't know what it was called. Mm. Okay, but obviously that he does, and that's why he yeah. paid the big bucks. And also. 99 people out of 100, you give them a knife and say, stab someone you don't like. <laughs> They'd take that and stab it in them. What we would do, us lads, is take that knife, put it across there. Because he'll Every... heal. Obviously, Regal, being the hard man, he's from Blackpool, is like, you know, get stabbed. He'll heal from that. <laughs> All right. And he says, yeah, but seeing that scar every face and be reminded of the man who did you to you. Every day when you look in mirror. <laughs> like Toby the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Toby the Tiger, watch that in prison. <laughs> yeah. My big comeback. I've got it. I want to take some issue with Regal's maths. I think some people out of 100 wouldn't do anything with the knife. <laughs> even if, yeah, it, is the, butter on your even if it is the person you hate the most in the world. I don't know. I think if push came to shove and I had a knife against the person I hate most in the world, I think I'd probably chuck it at their face. Oh, you throw you the knife? throw it. I don't think I could physically do the action of stabbing, right, yeah. stabbing a bitch, mm. you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, stabbing's a... Let's bear in mind with us a YouTube algorithm. Uh, yeah, just a hypothetically situation involving a knife. That would be Would you throw it just <laughs> like you'd throw any object at them, or would you, like, ninja... Just like, like, like you know, you get those axes <laughs> and you put them in the, the, <laughs> yeah. the wood, like that sort of action, but with a knife. Like on Goldeneye. Yeah, or maybe just... Wrist out. I'm about to fill the power. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Straighten their eye. <laughs> Right, Wait, but looking for two more. <laughs> <laughs> Go and watch that promo package. Oh, it's yeah. one of the best things I've done. Just, yeah. What a great little stable. Yeah. And that Wheelie Yuta, over as hell, yeah. is the association with and having that amazing match with both Danielson and Moxley and yeah. Regal by his side. Hello, you look beautiful in the profile. Ooh, Mr. Oh, yeah, I've got that written down. I've yeah. got that written down. What a like, what a quote that was. Scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. <laughs> no. Scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. <laughs> Who was he talking about? Excalibur, man, man with the, the mask. mask. Yeah. mask. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Stunning. That's a good pick. Uh, Jack, yeah. the, the quality's high this week. What have yeah, you got for us? Um, I've gone for the showdown of the century, the match we've all been waiting for since 2019. Riho versus Yuka <laughs> Sakazaki. Oh, my God, yeah. You, you, you've talked about this like nearly every week. <laughs> oh, I've been wondering why this happened since, I think it was Fighter Fest 2019. Yeah. And it was a triple threat match. Riho, Yuka, and I think Nyla Rose was the third person in the match, but Nyla won. Both other competitors were sad, and they, she left, and she was celebrating, and then Riho and Yuka are in the ring. And f both baby faces, both really pure, clean baby faces, Riho just shoves Yuka down, and then Yuka looks sad, and Jim Ross made the infamous call, that sad wrestling face right there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's never, ever been followed up on, ever. If they have this match and it's just a normal match and they don't reference it, then I'm oh. uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'll do. I'll just watch Impact from now on, my new favorite promotion. Oh. They need to reference it. Yeah. And I'll take a reference over an explanation as long as the explanation comes later. There needs to be a reason. She can't mm. just do that. And then Riho since, by the way, has just carried on like a baby face. And everyone's been, yay, well, I think she's dark and sinister. <laughs> I think she needs to atone for her actions. You can tell you're confident that you think that AEW can explain anything that's happening in a women's match or give it any bills. So, <laughs> God bless you, Jack. But it is Japanese wrestling. So Excalibur's ah. got like an encyclopedic knowledge of everything that's yes. happening in Japan. So You got any notes? Boom. It's kind of a 50-50 <laughs> chance, I suppose. Yeah. Because they're women, but they're Japanese women. So we'll see. Ah. Yeah. I can't wait. It's on. It's tonight at the time of this video going out. It's on Rampage. Mm. Yes. Wow. What Vindication you... at last, Jack. Yeah. What did you think of the, the video game footage that got released this week? It's so weird. People like making decisions. And it, and obviously, there was also that like weird thing where it's like, here's this insider report, which you couldn't find the source for. Kenny Omega is to be blamed for this. I went, who wrote this? Sounds like a dirt thingy. For, was there a dirt chief of games? Which is all games magazine, I guess. Me. But I looked at it and go, wait, it's, it's years away from being finished. 
It's a long time to be done. Like, there's still loads of people to be done, lots of things to be done. So I'm like, why judge a game? Often with games, they'll show like preview things and it won't look anything like it. So I just don't bother like okay. thinking about it. Is this another downfall of the dirty sheets? Because they were like, it's coming out in September. And that's only it Mar- was May? Yeah. June, July, August. It's you very months. soon. Yeah. And that's all they've got. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know which dirty sheet writer said that, but again, with it, games, it's very little is uh, set in stone. I only mentioned that because I heard Nyla Rose's name mentioned. I was like, that. Ah. she was one of the two that got. Yeah. It was her and Statlander on Wednesday. That's right. Aye. Uh, Statlander's out of date already. Yes. But I, I was impressed with mm. the face. I thought the face, she looked like her a lot in the face. Yeah. So it's great because Nyla's a huge nerd. <laughs> so she'll appreciate being in yeah, the game. Maybe she knows why Yuka and Rio clashed because she was the other person in the match. Yeah. <sighs> Can't wait. But <laughs> it seems why like is great if they're like, what about that plot hole? I don't owe any of you an explanation. <laughs> So. They have Rio cut that promo. <laughs> in, that, in that voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> people. <laughs> I'm Rio. <laughs> I'm from Croydon. <sighs> wow. Three lovely picks. Yes. Toby the Tyke being arrested. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Stunning scenes there. And Blackpool Combat Club promo from Twitter this week. There you go. It's good enough, isn't it? In full. Yeah. And then, oh, do you want to put Riho the... versus Yuka Sakazaki. Just one more. Imagine that if it was that promo, but just every single cl- like clip is just the push. <laughs> it's just in black and white. <laughs> ding, 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 <laughs> ding. I need to be you, Riho. <laughs> anyway, right, sorry. Is this isn't about sad rest and face. <laughs> yeah, put in brackets that thing that Jack keeps on talking about. I need that bit. Where's The Rock and Austin sat on the set A side by side, but just with their faces crudely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. And, that, and they'd be even happier. Yes. Awesome. Wow, those are three great picks. But what? which one's the best? It's not for us to decide. It's for you. The lovely people at home. Go to patreon.com, forward slash cultaholic, and vote. That says, this week in the wrestling, it's this bloody week in the wrestling. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't stop us. You can't stop us now. Now, no. yeah, yeah. You can't stop us. <laughs> Six-year-old Joseph Connors. <laughs> <laughs> this week of wrestling. I've Bro. done. A, I've done a funny little title, Matthew. Oh, he's done little titles so for I, other things. I thought of a. I tried to make a little title for SmackDown, and then I thought, well, I've got to do it for everyone now. I don't think this will become a weekly thing. It was hard, and I think out of. SmackDown, Rampage, Raw, NXT, Dynamite. Out of the five, I think one's good. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be doing this <laughs> every week. Keeping aside, which one it is. Mm. All right, first up, Roll Up, SmackDown. A lot of Roll Ups in SmackDown. <laughs> oh, it's I that see. level. That's oh, the level. Oh, where, that that's not Roll Up. The, that's not the good one. Don't worry. Speaking of which, just a random. Ah, you'll know the answer, but you know there's a song, the famous rap song that midway through the song goes, "Hold up." Hey. Yeah. What's name that song? Regulate. No. Do you know what it is? I'm going to take my horse to the Bible. <laughs> it's uh, the next episode. Oh, damn yeah. it. What's Regulate, but, man? I, I've uh, mixed up the two. Yeah, yeah, but the thing wasn't like that. It was just because I had a friend who thought the name of the song was Hold Up. Because it's said one time in yeah, the song. Might be good enough. You know, it's totally <laughs> says Hold Up. Oh, hold, hold up! up. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Of course, it's the next episode. Yeah, and I, do, I normally mix that one Sorry up. Sorry for putting you on the spot. That I normally mix that one up with Still Dre. Not even mm. regulates a totally different sound. Yeah, regulates different. But I'm okay. tweaking into a whole new era. G Funk step to the. Okay. The show opens with Drew McIntyre versus Sami Zayn in a steel cage because Sami Zayn obviously has tried to bugger off every time I've had a match, even in the lumberjack match. Sami tries to escape multiple times, but Drew wins with the claymore. Now, before we start off with the match or anything like this, was this not a very well attended SmackDown? Because A, it was so poorly lit, <laughs> it like you could have developed film in the back row, and B, Crowd didn't seem to be making much noise, if any. Where for this. were they? Where, wherever they were, they were they the were McDonald's, in, think, the Burger King down the street. <laughs> I think the they arena. were in. Oh no, Raw was in the well, Carolinas. Would it not have been recorded straight after last week? It was taped, yeah, because yeah. they were in England. Re, re, in oh, real life, God, I didn't even know that. So it was. So it was, it was Jesus, so I think oh, it, was, it, it makes tape. complete sale the burnout yeah. then, right? Okay. Just knack it. Cream crackers. Yeah, possibly. Oh, I thought like, you know, Drew did those matches and then came back. Could you not tell why Michael Cole's clearly like 2K? Edited lines put in there, post. No, I didn't notice that. Oh, wow, work. what a great roll up. Smackdown. Yeah, there's a cracker. Taz just comes up for no reason. 
<laughs> I'm trying to think of a Taz quote from Just Bring It, I can't on the spot. Sami Zayn is a nice guy in real life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do, you, what do you guys think of the match? It's not a cage match we'll be telling our grandkids about. Yeah. But it was long to medium to short term storytelling paid off because Sammy got his, so he did. Mm. Yes. I was convinced this was going to be more than it was because I thought the the little bit last week with Sammy trying to like strike a deal with Roman Reigns was going to actually right. lead to something. I thought that Roman or like the Usos would be hit under the ring and once the cage came down, they'd come out with chairs and right, batter right, right. him. But no, didn't really get any sort of follow up yeah. on that. I like that idea of something being an associate. Yeah. A bit, just, no, no. Like Bret Hart and the New World Order. Oof. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like that. And it's time for Happy Talk with Happy Corbin. <laughs> Corbin's guest this week is Madcap Moss's Andre the Giant <laughs> Battle Royal Trophy. That's his guest. Corbin, <laughs> his theme was popping, I think the kids oh, would it say. It was popping. Aye. Well, Andre's. <laughs> Andre the, the trophy. His theme was fantastic, I thought. <laughs> what theme was it? Like, it's just some sort of regal. Um, yeah. I don't know what it was. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Corbin plans to smash it with a sledgehammer, but Moss I'm is I'm glad dis- you'd clarify with a sledgehammer there. Because why Barrett would it's not smash NXT. it with it's not NXT. Oh, no. But Moss is disguised as one of the crew who brought the trophy to the ring. He attacks Corbin, who bravely runs away. Yes. Yep. God, you really do consistently, ad- and I like it. I like the bravely runs away all the time. Yeah, because it happens so frequently. Moss was fired up oh, when yeah. Corbin ran away. He was I like, thought, oh, right there. This yeah. segment was fantastic from start to finish, I thought. I thought the, the nuance is. involved with Habby Corbin being the heel, but telling the truth, because my cat Moss's jokes were terrible, yet we still boo Happy Corbin. I think there's some masterful storytelling mm. in play here. And mm. the reveal, the reveal for my cat Moss, it was just like Marty Jannetty, I thought, <laughs> when he came back from injury. The little mirror, and then the great, oh. There's a little stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fair enough. It's it's funny that the feud over the, the Battle Royale trophy. Well, they both won it, haven't they? Yeah, Corbin's got his own. Aye. Did Corbin win the first one? Yes. No. No, it wasn't the first one. Oh, Cesaro won the first one. one. Oh, it yes, was his first appearance did. on the main roster. If I'm right. 32 Corbin won. Corbin won that it one. went Cesaro. Here we go. Here's a test. Oh, go on. Oh. Cesaro, yep. Big Show, Corbin, Mojo. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's right. Hardy. Oh, was it? Oh, God, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Bray turned up. Strowman. There wasn't one Strowman in 20. Strowman won 35. Didn't he? Did he? That would make sense. There wasn't one in 2020, was there? I don't the think pandemic? so. I don't think so. No. no. Or was it on Smack? I oh, know. I don't know. Jey Uso won 2021. Did um? God. Yeah. Well done. Someone quite random won. Wow. A... <laughs> I know things. Someone quite random won a one of the women's ones once because I remember we were doing a pr- big predictions contest. Like it was four of us or five of us doing it, and we all went. We all tried to be like really clever and go for Lacey Evans, even though she wasn't booked on the show and stuff. And it ended up being like Naomi or someone. Naomi's won a couple, hasn't she? Has she won oh, more than I one? Don't know. Has Sarah Logan won one? No. Or has she just got Carmella that far won. in oh. one. When, when was yeah. the first one? I don't know. Carmella's won one because that's when they're in. That's the one where Strowman won. I don't ah, like them. They're in, sta- they're in the, the shadows of New York City. I don't like them yeah. being on SmackDown. I like uh, just be uh, that, especially when there was nothing on the pre-shows this year on WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. I was alright with that because it's like our pre-show needs even more. I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. Keep it. No, main. but it was just two hours. It was two hours of two like, hours of Jake Paul. And, That's fine. No, it's not. It's an anything but fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, Ricochet defends the IC title against Shanky, winning via roll-up. Jinder shouts at Shanky afterwards, who storms off. Shanky's going to turn. Ooh. This is the match we've all been waiting for. <laughs> I was saying earlier that WrestleMania Backlash is a completely can-miss pay-per-view. If Jinder versus Shanky gets added, oh. my God, that's a, that's a can't-miss match. Um, interesting little quote from Pat McAfee when he's like, Hey, I'm Shanky. I have the wingspan of turnbuckle to turnbuckle, which I thought was an interesting thing for Shanky <laughs> to say to Pat. <laughs> Just wander around backstage. Yee. Shanky is <laughs> Shanky is He's really good at hugs. Like a a promo machine because he did battle rap the entire hit row out of WWE. He did. Yes, and then uh, Big Dollar tried to respond on Twitter. Top Dollar. Big Dollar. Big Dollar. <laughs> Big Dollar. <laughs> but he did. Well, try there's and no respond. Dollar after that. Oh, yeah. they'd not go down well. God. <laughs> Bless him. I'm sure he's. That's nice. the real Slim Shanky though for you. What, yeah. yeah. What oh. I thought Trevor was the the perfect opponent for Big Shanks. Friend, How of, so? friend he, of the channel, Trevor, by the way. We've recently uh, oh, done an no. interview with him. Adam Pacitti interviewed him at the live event recently. Look. Adam Pacitti dominated <laughs> Trevor by looking. 
down on him because he's six foot four. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, we've been doing NCL, the local Northeast wrestling promotion, that doesn't do death matches in front of kids, they had to point that out. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, our war lad, Frazier's been doing the, um, the <laughs> backstage interviewing. You don't appreciate how bleeding big that lad is until he's next to every Fraser. wrestler and towering over he's all fairly, of them. He's fairly tall. Pro, I guess taller He's an assumingly tall. You're taller like, than like, the average indie wrestler, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh no. Because in the UK, quite a lot of indie wrestlers are little springy lads, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Fraser is like the UK shanky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's often compared to him. He saw us speaking yesterday because he's doing, he's, I don't know if I should say this on the podcast, but he's doing wrestling training, right? <gasps> and he says, he goes on the biggest I'm the biggest boy in my class. He says, <laughs> not quite like, boy. not quite like that. But he says, I'm the biggest one there. Oh, and I was like, shut yeah. the front door, Fraser. Well, when you think about you it. Know, yeah, wrestling lends itself these days to like being little and nippy, doesn't it? In gymnastic, yeah. not saying the Fraser's not good. Because he's gonna be powerhouse. <laughs> I was literally... big boots, sidewalk slams. I was like, Fraser, what's up on the menu at class tonight? Uh, Fraser Portier, and he was like, topes. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> bloody hell! Oh, like the. This, like the spring, like when you spring yourself over. I got the impression he was on a belt. <laughs> yeah, Tope. Through the ropes. Yeah, through the ropes. <laughs> like the <laughs> proper like <laughs> spring. Yeah, but he'll be obviously like catching people. Oh, yeah. They'll be bouncing yeah. off of him. <laughs> like bullets at Superman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can see doing this. You know what? Shanky versus Jinder might be on WrestleMania Backlash, but I don't see Ricochet being on it. No. And that's fair. <laughs> uh, because I don't think Ricochet should be able to roll up the real slim shanky like he did in this matchup. There's certain moves where you think that f man A shouldn't be able to do that to man B. Mm. And Ricochet doing that to shanky. Oh, it's only a roller. Oh, no. But yeah, shanky think... should be powering out of that. Mm, if right. he's actually 7 foot 12 or whatever he's meant to be, he should be powering out of that. It, given how big he was, he could just reach one of the ring ropes. I can suspend my disbelief for a lot of things in wrestling. But Ricochet <laughs> rolling up shanky is not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, you have to suspend your disbelief a bit more. Raquel Rodriguez gets another backstage bit where she talks because it was so good. Do you mean week. Raquel ravishes as they put in the sky in, on SmackDown? Whoa. Oh, they did, mm. didn't they? Which means to push someone. She's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Ravishing admits that she's nervous before SmackDown debut, and she's the. But I guess I'll manage. Well, she says, like, when you, but when you look like me, you, you look you're like used me. to everybody looking at you. Yeah. Used to everyone looking at you and then turns around and shows us a back. Oh, oh. yeah. So I'm glad they've kept the big back thing. She's yeah. got the oh, back. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just need some sort of anchor to the, the old Raquel that we knew and loved. That's right. Uh, yeah, awful. Oh. Backstage bit. Just as like. Maybe if she had like a Dakota Kai. Yeah. Then it would be fine. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was as bad as last week's backstage bit with Trevor and Aaliyah. <laughs> Which went down a storm on the podcast <laughs> last week. Oh, it was have great. you done any more? I've not, I've not done found this for us. I this didn't week. find this one to, 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 no. to do. They were all mm. of a standard this week, I thought. This is obviously a bit lower down, a bit higher up the totem pole, sorry. Mm. Oh, um, nice. Keeping that going as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's a thing I've learned on this yeah. podcast. Your fountain of knowledge here. Oh. Um, but her massive Larry at the start was good, though. Mm. I yeah. enjoyed that. Oh, the, the match was fine. It's just, yeah. just like, here's the character. Like, oh, great. But yeah. I, 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 that was another thing on the dirty sheets, wasn't it, recently? That she's been told to smile more. Well, they all do as soon as that. Mad Cat Moss looks like the joke has been out of him, the way he's ear to ear grinning. Well, he's meant to, isn't he? He's, he's it works with comedian. him. It works with him. But no, <laughs> Raquel didn't need to smile. She's an yeah. ass kicker. She was big mammy cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let with... her be cool. Aye. Mm. Yeah. We then see a video of two more SmackDown newcomers. Imperium, uh, Ludwig Kaiser, talks about how great Gunther is. Yeah. But they weren't on the show. No. He needs he needs a new promo already. Does Marcel? Sorry, uh, Ludwig. Ludwig Kaiser. Ludwig needs something else to say because he said the same thing for five. Is it five weeks now? We've had a Gunter on the it's main almost, roster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's just said the, the same thing for five Lud weeks. Gunter is good. Yeah, yeah. Mm. he's just he's coming across as the biggest fan. He's like more like a groupie, isn't he? <laughs> For the tag team partner. He's Nikia You're Lyons so as man. Great. <laughs> yeah. For those who don't watch NXT, Nikia Lyons said herself that she was the daughter of a musician and a groupie. I'm not. Just and yes. Ludwig Kaiser was the groupie in question. Yes, that's yes. that's her mom. <laughs> yes, are you following on at home? The blonde hair. That's and where she gets it from. That's right. We learned last week what? that the the young girl who's in um, the NXT breakout tournament is the daughter of Kane and Leader. We learned that too. Oh we yeah. We, well, that. we saw we sussed that out ourselves with journalism. That's right. With, with the powers of journalism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Usos and RK Bro have their contract signing. 
Ross, I mean, your backlash. Oh, this segment. I mean, yeah. Ross is good. I'll let Ross. Because I'll recover it. first. RK Bro insult the Usos until they attack, starting a big old brawl. Then Roman Reigns arrives and strikes RK Bro, allowing the Usos to beat them down. Roman rips up the contract and puts it in Riddle's mouth before Drew McIntyre makes the save. Backstage, Paul Heyman pressures Adam Pearce into changing the title match into a six man tag with no titles on the line. Boo. Which is a downgrade. Massive downgrade. Yes. Huge. It couldn't be a bigger downgrade if it tried. We've gone from a, a, a WWE Universal shift of a match. <laughs> Stop me, Matthew. To a house show main event. Good. Why, it, why is a house show, it is a house show main event. I yeah. agree with that. What well, right now, it is. But I think my heady prediction of the okay. week. Are you ready? You sat yeah. down. All right, cool. That they're going to go, you know what? This match isn't big. Oh, if you think you're the tribal chief, then why don't you put the titans on? I don't know what accent. Sorry. <laughs> a random pirate just walks instead of SmackDown and Drew says, Mantle. well, why don't you put your title on the line? Or whoever gets a pinfall gets a title or they this might. and something. Blah, blah, blah. And then I think then the bloodline will get all the titles. Yes, that would but make sense. If they leave it as it is, then woof. Oh, dear. I think the fact that... What was that? Did you hear that? that noise outside? That was either someone laughing. Like a mongoose or a fart. <laughs> um, I think the fact they've done this with a week to spare is good because they've got, a, it feels like there's one more, one final beat yeah. in the storyline. But we'll have to see tonight. Yeah. This was, uh, the rest of the segment was a real shame. Well, the first bit of the segment was a real shame because that riddle came back. The Thunderdome era riddle mm. reared his stupid uh. head again. Which you so is not a w- I don't know, Wendy. Hey, Wendy, which one's Jimmy? Which one's Jay? They both look similar. I can't tell. And then Randy went, <laughs> that one's... That random guy from Gator showed up again in the second segment. <laughs> Randy went, that one's the right-hand man, and that one's a little bitch. Yeah. Oh, Randy. What's his issue with Jimmy? <laughs> Why does he hate Jimmy more? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, he says something nice about him. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I, I, I like the way that it's clear that Roman has lost confidence in the Usos. Yeah, well, I thought where, where's I, the tag fight? That was my takeaway from this yeah. segment here, because obviously mm. they've lost a riddle recently. Um, mm. But ho- I, I just hope they put the unification thing back on the card. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because I like the idea of having your floating world champion and your floating tag team champions, because the, the, well, the division's not that strong, is it? Both men and women, really, right. tag team-wise. Well, on SmackDown, they're splitting up all the major teams, like... No, Jinder and Shanky. Mm. So, well, we've gone the to memories alone. so it's like, yeah, you might as well combine the belts because there's all going on. It's like, yeah, yeah great. Ah. Then Naomi faces Shayna Baszler with Sasha Banks and Natalia at ringside. Naomi wins a roll up and everybody brawls after the bell with Shayna and Natalia coming out on top. Shayna stomps on Naomi's arm. This, you know, on, after Rampage when it was Kingston versus Garcia. Yes. And it was like it was 22 minutes long, but they edited down into nine minutes. This felt like that because it felt like it was a mm. bit missing. Shayna was good in the early stages, like doing her wrestling around on, on top of Naomi. Mm-hmm. Well, that was impressive. And the finish was just like, oh, mm. oh it's happened. Mm-hmm. Oh. He's like, referee, go home, go home. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just an R8 thing that was there. Yeah. Nice to see the arm thing come back as well. The old like arm stomp yeah. after the bell. That is good. Um, I wonder if it'll, but did this one feel like it's going to have like a long-term effect or is this just a an exclamation mark? I, I don't think it's going to show up the NXT going, oh, that hurt. And then carry on. Well, we need NXT. N- Natalia to make up her mind, don't we? Oh, it's Naomi who got stopped. Oh, yeah, right. Natalia's friends with Shayna. It's just hard to you tell. You know, I just imagined in my head Shayna just... attacking Natalia for <laughs> so no I, reason. You know what I did as well? <laughs> no, I because... preferred it. I preferred my version of reality than what actually happened. I think it's hard now to imagine any women's tag team not attacking each other in WWE. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I skipped I skipped two weeks. <laughs> anyway, backstage, Sheamus and Rich Holland oh, still can't go. find Butch <laughs> anywhere. Where's it gone? They've even put up missing person signs. Rich Holland faces Xavier. But, no, oh, Butch. Yeah. But <laughs> they've put their missing person signs in the same place. I have, to que- oh! I have to question how that happened. Because surely oh, the, dear, whoever, oh, dear. whoever the second person doing the rounds is, they'll see the poster there. I think it was Butch who went, uh, sorry, Ridge. Ridge. Botch who it's went second. Be, it's got to be Rich, yeah, Ridge. Because his he, name is Botch. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> with it. Botch the signage as well. Oh, Butch Bastard. and Botch. Can't believe they put them in the same place. Oh, we had uh, Botch on the channel over the weekend, by the way. We can't call him Botch on. <laughs> That's what his official That's name. How nice is. though, isn't it? Yeah. Butch Botch and bitch. Yeah. Uh, oh, bitch was right. unavailable. Xavier Seamus is bitch. Seamus is bitch. Bloody Bloody hell. <laughs> well, Seamus can't be Botch, can he? No, well, no, he's, he's, he's wrestler, wrestler of the year. Wrestler of the year. He's I mean, bitch, the wrestler of the year. I'm a big fan of Seamus, but I have to say, 
when whoever my pick was, I can't remember, got dropped in favor of Sheamus for wrestler of the year at the Coldies. Apparently, it caused uproar in that office. It did. And nothing but a small spark of people going, yeah, it's a good pick that online. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Riotous indignation I was nowhere went, to be seen. I think I went for Brian Danielson. Yeah, yeah. that would have been, that was a lot, most people's. Between, yeah. you know, the Roman Reigns matches and what he did. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Jameis had such a crack in you. He did, he did. Brian he did. missed a massive portion of the air in the middle that, there. That's what we said. Aye. That's what we said. We Most were consistent right. consistent manner last year, Our Sheamus. opinions were right and your opinion was wrong. <laughs> okay. And no one disagreed apart from the people in the office. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what we'll talk about? Oh, yeah. Rich Holland faces Xavier Woods, who beats him with a roll-up. Sheamus challenges Kofi to a match immediately afterwards and beats him with the bro kick. Woods gets put through a table. Whoa. Whoa. But that doesn't that's all inconsequential, really, because is Butch, as it said on SmackDown, rocking out at Coachella? <laughs> no, huh? he's obviously not. <laughs> he was in the yeah. UK. Sam sent me a picture of him. He was in Newcastle running to the ring. So we've solved oh. it. Mm. Oh, I did see the you see him was it in Paris? They're doing the old Icelandic. Oh, the, oh no, butch. I didn't see that. Oh, to Butch. To Butch. Wow. Richard Tubman, a Twitter search, please, while we're chatting amongst ourselves. There's like a, oh. a sure it's from Butch is in the middle of the ring and the, the, the Parisians are going. Yeah, oh. yeah. I do like the Iceland clap. Yeah. Iceland clap. But there you go. Oh. Wow. Wait. He's over. Listen He's to this. He's over. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Listen to this. Thunderous. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Butch. Butch. Coachella, <laughs> London, Butch, Paris, Butch, Butch. oh wow, <laughs> <laughs> bloody hell, <laughs> <laughs> what, do you think Paris are like WWE's target audience, that's what they want, <laughs> they all identify with piggy blinders over in yeah. Paris, viva the Butch, <laughs> so, wow, I'm going to start referring to him I think in recaps as like Butch, the king of France or something like yeah. that, yeah, yeah, Wow. Butch the 23rd. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But now, but, yeah, while he's as over as that in Paris, they are just looking for him like he is a lost dog. <laughs> That's where I we're think at Michael Cole That's what they he, like. Did Cole say he ran away like a spoiled brat? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, uh, Cole's still doing the thing where I guess he's been yelled in here. He's, you know... He's a child. He's that lad it's from Oliver. It's so weird because he was earmarked Pete Dunne from like the first UK tournament. Do you remember when they had all the competitors line up and stare at each other at the end of the first night or whatever and he just booted mm. whoever his opponent was? Might have been Sam Gradwell, I don't know. Mm. Regal got in his face and was like, I'm watching you. Yeah. And from that moment on, it was like, he's like the chosen one. Triple H loved him. And yeah. now. <laughs> now he's a kid. Yeah. yeah. Wait, they can't make them out because Pat's always <laughs> like, what a psychopath. <laughs> what a rabid. Well. He's a psycho kid, aka how Americans see British youths. I guess so. <laughs> 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 Who can blame them? When the when the Blackpool wants and that's all right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, we also learned during this match that Ridge was a bouncer when he was a kid because his dad owned the clubs, which I thought was a lovely bit of storytelling. Ah. <laughs> and he was also deemed too dangerous for rugby, so he turned to pro wrestling. Too I like dangerous that. for rugby. Because obviously he did do rugby. Tell you what, Hanare told me the same when I interviewed him. All these ex-rugby <laughs> players. A great, well, like, it's a good it, Lagoon thing. was too dangerous for hockey. Yeah. So yeah. Apparently that was real though, wasn't it? Apparently he did used to do the hockey and fight people or something. There's lots of fights in hockey. Ah, no, not him though. That was sent a... him on specifically oh, to right. fight. Oh, no, oh. That's, that's a term for the for oh, a that goon. just a general goon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you right. 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 Kayfabe Commentaries has made a comeback on my YouTube. He's uploading all the other oh, videos. Oh, so he's, great. He's I find so him so smart, man. <laughs> he's like... He, he's, you know what? Because he knows what he's doing. He's just not nervous. Just because the way he dresses and the hair. He's yeah, like yeah. Tom Campbell's evil counterpart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think they look like each other. Here's but... three things to vote for, but, you know, I'm going to mess up the other two. <laughs> but I, joke, was, Tom. Joke, I love you. They had, a, they had Brucey P on there, on one of the old ones. Oh, right. It's, Bruce looks a lot younger than he does now. I don't know when it was from. Was that a timeline? I think so, but it's like a bit where, the, I think it's called Guest Booker, maybe. Oh, Guest Booker, right. And they just have him in, like, showing his interviews about his time on Creative, which was like 30 years. And then it's just like, he brings up the goon and, like, those early 90s real working yeah. men gimmicks and he's just like why couldn't he be just more like a normal wrestler who used to do this sort of thing instead of being that thing yeah and Bruce was like oh I brought it alive <laughs> there's some stuff he's adamant <laughs> I think there's things there's a lot of stuff he goes I know it's crap but I'm not going to tell you I think it's crap he'll just yeah. fight you to the death instead which is somewhat admirable people like Bruce Pritchard infuriate me man I don't think I'd like him in the slightest. There are some things I listen to and go, okay, that was interesting, insightful, but there are some things he's like, no, we changed WrestleMania 7 from the giant 100,000 seater uh, to the smaller 10,000 seater for security reasons. And you're like, there was a bomb uh, threat, Matthew. There was a bomb threat. Of course there was. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, we get another Lacey Evans promo package. This what time is Kofi versus Sheamus? 
No, no we, we said, didn't. Did we not? Oh, Ben, give us your thoughts anyway, pal. I just got lost in all my box. one loss. Here. No, it didn't matter. There was nothing, was there? Was there no Shame. move of the week? Seamus did some nice moves. Mm. Yep. I just didn't hear you say it. I do apologise. I've just derailed the podcast. And then Woods got put through it's the table. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you did say it. Oh, man. It's okay. <sighs> Get some ice cubes and put them on. And let's hit the <laughs> mic on my elbow and look like a tit. We're going to have a Lacey Evans promo package, this time about her time in the military. She emotionally talks about graduating from boot camp, only for her dad to miss the graduation ceremony. She says she had no support growing up, but that just means she doesn't need anybody else now, and she's coming for everyone in the locker room. I don't mind these, but we've had enough of them now. Come on, get her in. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's one thing, it's such a, again, such a swerve. It's like, where is that ruddy little kid? Oh, I'll get him. Oh, oh, oh where is Butch? Is this Evans' dramatic life? Yeah, I think her father is a right piece of work. Oh yeah, and I hope this is building towards some sort of like hell in a cell match between Lacey no, and her father, no. just so she can batter that piece of shit. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, Ross. WrestleMania next year. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair compete, and I quit. Beat the clock challenge. Uh, Ronda's opponent is a Chuty. Shotzi. Shotzi. <laughs> Shotzi. Been on a tour this week. I'm Butch. very sorry. That's what happens with three hours sleep. Shotzi to her friends. Hey, where's she been? It's good to see you back. She makes a quit in one minute 41. Yeah. But it was a rough and rumbling one minute 41, which yeah. is a good thing. I thought it felt like a real scrap. Shotzi tried to run away. Aye. Yeah. yeah. It was, that makes I sense to a match like it. that. Yeah. yeah. Ronda was just manhandling, well, woman handling that. Mm. Is that the, I don't know if you, that, that, Yeah, they that, say that on comedy, don't yeah, they? Yeah, woman yeah. handling. Yeah, yeah, but Pat yells at the top of his lungs, <laughs> so, so that's the difference, Ross. <laughs> woman handling. There you yeah. go, now it's okay. He has turned that down, though, I've uh, realised. Pat, since I regret bringing that to your attention, <laughs> because at WrestleMania, I just got a sense that he was like a hero. He's just my and everyone's hero. Yeah, but have you when seen the, the videos? and that. Have you seen the videos of the, the lads doing the commentary? Yeah. Uh, like Cole. Cole. And yeah. having a the wave of a time. I'd completely changes. Like, oh, God, will you guys calm down? <laughs> oh, headlock. And they watch him oh, just going when... absolutely nuts. Cole going, wee man, yeah. wee man. I'm like, oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Oh, but I think definitely. it is down to Pat, though, because you go back a few years, and Michael was never, never saw footage of any... True. Even from Pat's yeah. taught Michael out of love again. Yes. Yeah, yeah he has. <laughs> Have you been on my life? <laughs> Uh, also, Charlotte faces Alia, but time expires as she locks in the figure eight. Charlotte is furious. <sighs> and and, and rightly so, but sorry, carry on. Oh, I'll sorry. explain later. I'll explain later. Sorry. Uh, and then the timekeeper, Drew Gulak, gets beat up again in yeah. the show. I guess it's just a recurring joke now. It's like when James Ellsworth was at the center of the feud between AJ and Dean Ambrose. Dean. <laughs> yeah. Why is Drew Gulak the center of the feud between Ronda hey, and... Tell you, you'll have to watch out because pretty soon you'll start looking like James Ellsworth. <laughs> 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 um... If I was Charlotte, I'd be annoyed as well. She's locked in the figure four already. Yeah. Aaliyah's already Either struggling. Way. Charles Robinson does not, of all the refs to do it as well, Lil Nage does not hold the mic to her face yet, even though I think she'd be ready to quit. Charlotte starts to bridge up into the figure eight, and only then does he go to ask her, and then time runs out. Because it wasn't in properly. It was the figure four was in. I think ah, it, but she does a figure eight. <laughs> it's a brilliant example of long-term storytelling, because at WrestleMania 38... Charles was flattened by Charlotte. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, flattened, yes. So this is Charles most mm. definitely getting his own back on Charlotte. But I, d I didn't like how there was no prize for the winner. Exactly. Yeah, it meant nothing. Normally they get to like pick the stipulation yeah. or whatever. But they've already announced it. So, so yeah. what was, what the, was point? the point? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love a beat the clock challenge, but I love what? a beat the clock challenge when it means something. I prefer it when there's like four people doing it as well, not just two. Yeah. 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 I miss the days when they had the beat the clock and you get like a random upset when like super crazy rolled up Mr. Kennedy. Mm. <laughs> we need more of that. Just yeah. needed some stipulation. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Charlotte has to run a marathon before the match because <laughs> she lost. I don't know. Somewhere. You, you have to say, I quit and my opponent is the best and I stink. <laughs> <laughs> but I retained the title of WrestleMania. I retained the title of WrestleMania. Oh. I retained the title of WrestleMania. That would, that's how it would have gone. Yeah. That's all she can say these days is War Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. War Charlotte. War Charlotte. I should explain. War means our and Geordie. No, she's like yeah. War Charlotte. She's ready for war. War yeah. Charlotte. Yeah. Anyway. She is the war machine. Yes. Our machine. <laughs> AW Rampage. That's Stephen Fry joke that he doesn't get. It's what? Because Phil Jupiter tells a joke on QI. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. there's the little drummer boy next yeah. to like the general, and he's like, listen, they have war drums. Well, tell him it gives with them back. Then the Stephen and Stephen Fry's like, "Oh, are you saying Wardrum?" Like, and he's like, "No, yeah. no, no." Hey, anyway. he's the new president of the MCC, Stephen. The Fry. cricket yeah. makes sense. 
He nearly cried once talking. He did cry talking about one Freddie Flint off over in cricket. <laughs> he cried. He cried? Because it was so triumphant and it was against oh. the Aussies. Oh, oh, there we go. <sighs> and it's <sighs> Freddie Flint off. Yeah. Yeah. AW Rampage. It says Tony Nice, feud improver. Alternatively, two steps forward, Nice steps back. This well, is the good that one. Is the good this one. is yeah, the good one. one. That's the good one. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'll say that again. Two steps forward, <laughs> Nice steps back. There you go, bow, Jack. The body gets to. Well, I've got to say the response so far has been far more positive than I thought it would be. Darby Allen faces two steps forward, knee steps back. Oh, knee con- steps back would you keep going forward. No, no knee just because it rhymes with three, oh. sort of. I was like near. I no. thought no. Yeah. Oh no, that oh. means. Oh, sorry, you've improved it. Oh, I thought because you were like feud improver. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. That, that first bit was sarcastic, and then the second bit wasn't meant to be. But it can be as well. You've. You've made it better than what it was. <laughs> I love Jack. He's the only person who can talk <laughs> himself out of a compliment. <laughs> we should explain, knee can mean nothing in no, Jordy. No, I, I think you'll find that I'm actually not funny, so just carry on. I love when going to get the match itself, and it's going to be like three seconds, but all this discussion of Tony's <laughs> oh, no, intro was, is going to be like a minute three and seconds. Mm. And I don't know what we sit here and say about this professional wrestling matchup. Because every single move they hit was all very complicated and all yeah. nailed to perfection Who every was single this? time. Sorry, which match? Swerve and Derby. Yeah, Derby oh, yeah, yeah, Swerve yeah, yeah, Strickland yeah. in an Owen Hart Foundation tournament qualifier. Ricky Starks tries to interfere, gets cut off by Sting, but the distraction allows Derby to run up Strickland for the win. And yet, yeah, speaking of moves, right. that bloody suplex, mm-hmm. the outside. I like the knee, well, speaking of knees, there was a, he goes for the low pit, didn't he, Derby? Yeah. And Swerve reverses it just with a big knee to the face. Yep. That's the sort of wrestle I'm here for. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I like uh, the finish was a bit naff, but then it furthers the old Taz and Swerve and Keith feud. Right, right, right. So I'm happy for it. Bit of progression there. Yeah, mm. it's all right. It's it's bad when it happens like all the time, but mm. yeah. I don't mind it on a rare occasion. Yeah, Jericho declares himself the sports entertainer of the week. Sports the entertainer of the Kingston. week. Yes, he He's did. He's having a laugh. <laughs> That's my thing. Just wait till Dynamite. He's ambushed by Santana and Ortiz until they get dragged away by officials. Jericho wants Santana on Dynamite. Yes. Santana was taking it easy on Chris, I thought. Mm. You think? Looked very soft. Ooh, someone's trying to call me. Oh, pick uh, it up. Go on. Who is it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it. Put it on speakerphone. Uh, no. It's something important. So oh, do you want to stop? Sky- want to no, stop? no, no. no. Stop Are you sure? I ring him afterwards. All right, okay. Sky, this, these do last like four hours, hours away, yeah. yes. Are you sure? Make them wait. Okay, we'll take a break <laughs> after this week. I'm discussing anyway, Sky but. Blue, Willow Nightingale, and Trisha Dora taking on the baddies, Jade Cargill, Red Velvet, and Kira Hogan. The baddies win easily, with Jade getting the pinfall for her team. It's not often we get these kind of matches in the women's division, and I was pleasantly surprised by it, because it's the type of thing that will enhance the the talent that they don't really get a chance to enhance a lot of the time. Yeah, that's yeah. True. I, I did like that. They've now officially become a thing. The baddies. Yeah. Because like red, uh, red velvet, and uh, Mrs. Hogan. Was that what she called, Mrs. Hogan? Kira. Oh, Kira Hogan. Mrs. Uh, Hogan. Mrs. Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> that's Miss Hogan. Yeah. Um, I they, they were just like in the baddie section, just randomly. They were just yeah. there, weren't they? But now they're, they're officially a trio, and I think mm, it's a trio right. that works. Yes. And I'm also here for a Willow Nightingale pounce to Red Velvet, which nearly mm. sends her into the ropes and far away. Mm. Wee! Trisha Dora was in one of my indie matches to watch over WrestleMania weekend. What was it? I can't quite remember who it was against. <sighs> anyway, I, I'm recently learning a bit about Trisha Dora. I think she's pretty good. Oh, okay. She's, yeah, one to watch. One of my ones to watch. She's probably had a like, glittering indie career <laughs> for like five years, but <laughs> yeah. one of my ones to watch. But it's nice, though, when those people appear on AW randomly. Mm. Yes, like it Session is. Moth just there. And yeah, there's yeah. Josh Fuller's been on the tapings this week. I'm like, hey, it's that guy from Twitter. Yeah. yeah. I did like the baddies being baddies and ignoring the rules so Jade could right. pick her finisher. Mm. Yeah. Ron Seal. <laughs> What's that? It's exactly what it says on the tin. Exactly. Backstage, Darby <laughs> offers a rematch, but Strickland refuses because he knows Darby had nothing to do with the distraction. Oh, instead, he wants to focus on taking out Team Taz. Meanwhile, Strickland's ally Keith Lee beats Colton Gunn. Oh, the match that went on what a ding dong battle to end them all. Mm, I oh. couldn't believe how much offense Colton Gunn got in. Yeah, mm. I was surprised. That's a tongue twister for you. Colton Gunn got in. Gun got in. Colton Gunn got in. Gun. He plays Man City, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. No one will get that. Um, but yeah, but then you look at Colton's win loss record, and I'm sure it's still one of the best in the company. Oh, yeah, those matches on dark and dark elevations, <laughs> right? <laughs> so maybe it isn't too much of a surprise. Um, it's Goldberg's kid, actually. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I was surprised it went on as long as it did, because I was like, all right, hurry up to the finish. But yeah, it's good for what it was. I yeah. would argue that maybe Colton Gunn has some pee pee. 
Oh, you've been listening to Sean Spears, haven't I you? I have been listening to Sean Spears. Oh, go on then. Pinnacle potential, Jack. Pinnacle potential. William Morrissey has a lot of pee pee. <laughs> a direct quote there from, well, nearly direct quote. He's like, that massive seven foot man who's coming has got a lot of pee pee. It's like we're back in 1998. I love it. Mm. The halcyon days. Obviously, he does the. Uh, he's obviously like. really, he's obviously really good at the wrestling. But I love a loser in wrestling like Sean Spears. He's really oh, doing he's, well. Him and QT Marshall are the two greatest losers in wrestling. Cutler. Brandon, yeah. Brandon Cutler as well. He's all right. He's not on the same level. I think Sean the four Spears. Four pillars is, of losers. <laughs> Sean Spears is fantastic at it. Yeah. Yeah. When you need a loser, there's there's one man you call. <laughs> and when he's not available, you get cutie. <laughs> Dan Housen calls out Hook, who's ready to fight. Dan Housen suddenly isn't so keen and tries to change his mind as soon as he sees Hook in person. Both are distracted by smart Mark Sterling, allowing, hey, Tony Neese. It's the feud improver. <laughs> <laughs> to attack them from behind. Hook fights off the bad guys and Dan Housen offers a handshake. Hook's still not happy with him and storms off. Of all the times that... Get into a fight with some lads. The bit where they're about to go at themselves. Tony Nese, the worst timing. What was Tony Nese's motivation? I might have missed a part of the story. Him and Mark Sterling. Well, Mark Sterling's been cutting promos for Tony, hasn't he? About yeah. how he's not being yeah, used. Tony Nese can't talk. Can I? Yeah, it, I, pff, I think he's been used fine because I don't want to see Tony Nese. I don't mind Tony <laughs> Nese. The fourth pillar of losers. I don't mind Tony Nese when he's like having a great match with. He had a great match with someone, didn't he? Sh maybe Shane Strickland recently. I don't mind that. But I don't want it. I'd rather just see Hook and Danhausen have a big fight before they then team up. Because it's fun if they team up, but mm. have a fight first. Two words came to my mind at the end of the segment as well when the handshake was extended. Go on. Head cheese. <laughs> it is a bit like ah. head cheese. The 2022 version of head cheese is on its way. Yeah. Just a reminder Hook of everyone. Who is the oh, new God. Steve Blackman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic but, analysis, but, Ross. <laughs> Steve Blackman, if he got the love he deserved, <laughs> which he did. Yeah. Again, a reminder, because me and Tom have been doing the Color Classic Smackdown review, so we've been and gone oh, yeah. to Head Cheese. Head Cheese were very popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really were. Because Steve Blackman comes out and just like dead faces everything and tells us doing the local stuff, cast the Head Cheese thing, and the crowd's like, hey, like and then it's like, don't call us Head Cheese, we don't like that. And they're like, Head Cheese! Head <laughs> <laughs> doing all that, and it's great. And then they had that rubbish match of TNA at WrestleMania. Uh, and they're like, okay, oh. show's over, folks. <laughs> so what they did now is they've gone, all right, uh, Scotty Too Hot, he's out, he's injured. We'll put him with Grandmaster Sexy because he's got sort of all going on. So there's one segment where Big Show's needing someone to team up with and he's like going backstage with Grandmaster Sexy, he says, team with me, I'll beat you up. He goes, no, 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 let's not do that. Oh yeah, what do you... And Steve Blackman shows up, he's like, oh, hi, Steve. <laughs> so even Big Show, former World Champion, he's like, <laughs> Steve Blackman. Is there a problem here? No, 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 Steve. No, no. He's Before all right. Head Cheese was a thing, I was watching like a... Not I was going back and watching like an old rumble, like 99 or 2000. Yeah. And Blackman comes out and doesn't do anything wrong. And the crowd just start going, Blackman sucks. Blackman sucks. I'm like, what has Steve done wrong? Yeah. It was put down just like, why are you here? You're very dull. It then he put him against a guy like Al Snow. Yeah. Or it was Sex before Day. like the Al so Snow great. stuff and the Shane McMahon stuff. Yeah. Before his heyday. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Samoa Joe successfully defends the ring. Oh, another shout oh, yeah. from out there. It's like a, an orgasmic... Oh. They don't make an, a single noise while I'm here waiting to do the podcast. As soon as it starts, they're like, now's a good time to have a party. Samoa Joe successfully defends the Ring of Honor TV title against Trent Beretta, and they shake hands afterwards. Code of Honor. Uh, yeah. Tony Schiavone tries to interview Joe, who was attacked by Jay Lethal, Sanjay Dutt, and Big Satnam Singh, who's doing amazing numbers on uh, YouTube. Oh, I. Uh, Orange Cassidy comes out to confront Singh, but gets blindsided by Lethal, and we get a big brawl to end the show. It was a fun visual, wasn't it? It, it certainly was. I like AEW, but they really need to sort out what's happening with this Ring of Honor thing, because right now I'm like, why do I care about this? Why is Samoa Joe giving a title defense to Trent Beretta? To respect what did he do to, wait, Yeah, but you, He's have, the to, TV you have to earn it, don't you? He's got to defend just... it on TV every week. No, not every week. Oh. Champions, whatever, yeah. But it was just like, oh, Trent's got a title shot. Like, okay. And then all the stuff that happens afterwards, it's almost perverse how Ring of Honor was set up to be... Perverse? It's almost perverse. <laughs> it's almost perverse that Ring of Honor was set up during this time of a uh, lot of uh, negativity around WWE and that sports entertainment. The fact that they didn't put wrestling in the name of the company, Ring of Honor, to now have it brought back from the dead like Dracula and to have bits that were all... WWE-ish. Oh, they're oh, all coming out and brawling and... Uh, da, da, it is da, da, almost da, da, perverse. Da, da, da. Yeah. It's like, great. Do you know the thing that we didn't want this company to be? Fantastic. Oh. Thank you. I will say, though, Samoa Joe was amazing in that match. It was like a man right. versus a boy. 
he just smacked Trent Burrett around that ring and I could watch it all day long. Mm. There was a shoulder tackle and a back elbow that I've written down here using my own fingers, which made me hard. Fwah. Your fingers went hard. Everything went hard. I thought it was fine. You can shove your topes up your ass, will you? I've also written down. <laughs> I got quite aggressive watching that. Oh, I did. <laughs> but I, I, th- I could watch some. I don't really care about like why matches happen as long as Samojo is wrestling like that. I'm fine with it. It's the mm. stuff afterwards I'm not caring for yeah. at all. Because right now we don't know what the end game is. Is it going to be? It's just like when yeah. WCW was bought out by WF and they were like every week going, "Oh, don't worry, Nitro will be returning soon." You're like, "Is it?" I don't know, never did. I so. guess maybe Ring of Honor might take over the Rampage slot. Okay, I yeah. can see that. Because Rampage is going down Do they down just call it like Ring of Honor Rampage or something? Keep the Rampage thing. Raw, raw Rampage. <laughs> yeah, Raw Rampage. Featuring raw. Tony Nese. It's almost perverse what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, it was a really good point. I wasn't expecting Thank you, it to be actually a real point, and it was. So I agree. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they make sense. <laughs> so is the end goal for this bit, though? Is it Jay Lethal becoming... TV champion again. Oh, yeah, oh, that would great. probably make sense, wouldn't it? Oh. And I thought that it was going to be... He, 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 took, he took them off TV when he had the title. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be... <laughs> I thought it was going to be that Joe eventually, like, smashes the, the smashes them up, and then he's the hero, but... Uh... It's just weird how it won't go away. Lethal... <laughs> lethal... Wait, wait, are we all together on this? Are we all ring up on it? Lethal set up oh. a match with no. Konosuke Takeshita later on in the week, didn't he? From DDT. Oh, and that's going to happen on next they week. They did hide that, that up, yeah. Trying to pronounce the name. <laughs> Konosuke Takeshita. Takesh- Takesh- I, 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 I don't care. I'm sure he's good. <laughs> he is good. He's very good. I just don't care. You've got enough He wrestlers. was a regular on my wrestlers of the week. <laughs> he was. Yeah. A great match with Trisha Dora. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Monday Night Raw. Just use the sword for once. Nah, it's, not uh, it's not a pun, this one. No, it's, it's just, just a, a good point. Just a point yeah. Yeah. That's not the best one. Don't worry. We've already had that. Oh, <laughs> no, this we one, there's a better one than that. Uh, oh, the last one wasn't good. <laughs> this is to keep people watching the week, week of wrestling bits. <laughs> I like it, Jack. <laughs> the Bloodline are here from SmackDown to open the show, but the Usos get immediately taken out with surprise RKOs from Orton and Riddle. Makes sense. Drew McIntyre arrives and brawls with Roman <laughs> and even comes out with a sword him. and is like, him. shall I bring it in? No. Uh, it's like, as opposed a, to what? All he the makes the thing about putting it down. He's like, yeah. nah. We've missed the, the the Thunderdome era was the time for him to murder somebody with his sword. Yeah. Is that how long the swords Or just because you could cinematic it? Just because it, you could, you yeah. know, yeah. smoke and mirrors. How do you do it? Like, oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh. like a breath. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, I think uh, the the ambush was an old timer for me. I say that a lot recently, but I thought it was fantastic. It's well done, yeah. They did it in the dark, amazing. Because uh, I think the tribal chiefs promos or the the, the bloodlines promos are getting a bit samey now. Mm. A bit samey. So seeing them cut off was a good thing. But Drew putting his sword down. I don't know why he's got it. Mm. I'm gonna use it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> so nine, nine people out of hundred if they have a sword. <laughs> Get thrown on the floor. Now if he start, God, would would they? Could he start doing that? Doing like the Joker smile on people? Oh my god! Name no. his calling ca- his calling card. No, Zorro <laughs> writing his tight. D. Someone's written <laughs> D M on my tight. It must be Drew McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> just on their chest. He could just like, and that could be his new catchphrase. I've given you the big D. <laughs> Blood spurting everywhere. It writes itself. <laughs> spurting. <laughs> Spaffing. Backstage, the Three Prophets have a drink with Ezekiel. <laughs> Alpha Academy and Kevin Owens show up to accuse Ezekiel of cheating on the lie detector yes. test. Owens throws a drink in Ezekiel's face, leading to a six-man tag match. The bad guys win after Owens trips Ezekiel, allowing Gable to roll him up. I mean, it was further proof that Ezekiel and Elias are two different people because Elias would never drink on the job like that. No. No, he wouldn't. No, he would not. Oh, no, I think Elias would. He's a rock star. He seemed to be sober all the time, though. Ah, uh, true. Never he was like... too busy. If he was drinking, that stops him from insulting the local sports teams. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> he hated I mean, those man. local sports teams. He I miss him. He did. Not seen him for a while. And again, people they really, really didn't get that at all, did they? He's like, no, wait, we like it when he insults us. It's like, Let's what? make him a face. Let's make him a face and say nice things. That's horrible. We want insults. Yeah. Do you remember the build to that? It was the it was the empty arena WrestleMania where the build to Elias's match was that every week he got absolutely battered by Baron Corbin and thrown off a platform. Yes. And then he just beat him. <laughs> he just yeah. won with a roll up. Fair enough. Devastating roll up. Mm. Um what was I gonna uh, Chad Gable, huge pinfall. Mm. And I'm surprised they pinned Ezekiel so early on. I'm not, because that did you know 
Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Have everyone pin everybody. Uh, but, but Ezekiel's yeah, like right. the sender. He's like the nuclear, nucleus of sma- of I all think, of the I think because of last week when he had that, the, the segment, it's like, yeah, big pop, yay. And they had the march, it was silence. Mm. It's weird that they have the sympathetic baby face um, who is also a clear liar. <laughs> I was going to say, like, yeah. out of a match like this because it's hard to feel sorry for it. He's a con man. A clear mm. liar. For me, it's shades of the Lucha House Party <laughs> where you know the rules are being broken, but your men are laugh at the heels for that. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Mixed signals. Hit the thing, Richard. Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh. It's a sleeper pick this week, but oh. Otis's fall away slam oh, okay, yeah, yeah. over the top rope on Montez Ford is my move of the week. I th- I, well, I reckon it's 60 40 in terms of whose fault it is, how good it is, if that makes sense. Okay. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. They've got to work together. Yeah, Montez is good at flying, Otis is good at throwing. Yep. So that's at my move of the week. Nice. You probably missed it, but it happened. If they were on the same football team, and the, you know when there's like goal of the month, but it's a team goal. Mm. It's like you'd get Ford to present Otis with the trophy ah. yeah. or the bottle of champagne or whatever. Mm. It is like York and Cole in the new camp. That's the, the yeah. sort of what's going on here with this move. Mm. Passing one touch movement. Right? What a Beautiful, week of Champions right? League football it's been, <laughs> by the way. I, I wish I had a football podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> Bia Mahan wins another squash match. Yes. This time against local lad Bert Hansen. What a name. He gets a little promo beforehand. Yes, he does. Yeah. That's he like, wants to win in his hometown. He does. Like Strowman in 2016. Yeah. He gave birth to... Has he been cancelled as a wrestler now, that fella who back in the day was like, I like big, sweaty men. <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. Uh, was, no, oh, yeah. Knox, who was Johnny, that? Johnny... Not no, Johnny no, Knoxville. No, what was he called? It was something like Johnny Knoxville. It was class, whatever it was. Richard Tommy, can you Google Braun Strowman <laughs> Johnny? <laughs> Because it should appear. It did also give birth to actual cancelled wrestler. I'm going to make you look like James Ellsworth. Yeah. Because he said every... Johnny Knockouts. Johnny Knockouts. Knock August I, I... the 22nd, 2016. 2016? We're nearly dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what happened. What was Ellsworth? Any man with two hands has a... Fight. A fight so these are a way to potentially get someone like over as a character, I suppose. Yeah, potentially. Uh, wouldn't hold your breath, though. Oh. Uh, Via continues to attack after the bell. Yes. Well, I think Bert Hansen went into business for himself in this match Whoa. because Via went for a beal. Mm. And Just Ian. tongue twisting it. Yeah. Big Ian. Big Ian. <laughs> <laughs> but Bert clearly sandbagged him because it wasn't even that good. Ooh. Right. So if Bert's watching, I'm on to you. Oh. But I thought once again he's gone too far, Via. <laughs> Last week it was on the announce table. This yeah. week it was through the goddamn ropes. <laughs> doing that bloody cervical clutch of his, eh? Cervical Where will he stop? Is a weird... No one knows. What's next yeah. week? Wait, on the stairs? Oh, oh no, no, In, no. in the gorilla position? <laughs> <laughs> Vince doing, do it harder. <laughs> do it on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> AJ Styles beats Damian Priest with a roll-up, meaning that Priest will be banned from ringside for the match on Sunday. Mm. Edge and Priest attack AJ afterwards, but Finn Balor makes the save. They share a cool little too sweet. Here, here, it says here. What does that mean? Remember when? <laughs> remember when they tried doing that? When it was uh, when they had what's her names? The Good Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. and they're like, nah. So that says to us, our film. Like, oh, now they got rid of those. Now they got rid of damaged goods. I'll team up with AJ Styles. Mm. Mm, I hope that it's a swerve and the ball is actually going to join the stable. That'll probably be the smartest thing for him because yeah. he's doing nothing right now. And also, I wouldn't well, mind a tag team of AJ and Balor. Like, they'd have some yeah. great matches, but I, I think for his character, it's better the other way. Right. And also, one thing AW does well is because they have such big factions. Uh, when they have like two guys going at it, they'll have like the third or fourth or fifth wheel getting pinned. Mm. But whereas here, there's only two people in this, so obviously AJ Styles is just going to beat Damian Priest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was yeah. Edge trying to distract, but he undistracted and helped. Loss, yeah, yeah that was yeah. too good. AJ was just too good, yeah, which is weird because you think Damien Priest wouldn't be having that happen to him, but right now, this is where like Rodney or Joey Abs <laughs> Judgment Day would be getting pinned. Midian, but, they yeah. need a Rodney, they, yeah, they do, they do. Who is the, the modern day Midian? Who could fill what, that a rubbish role? dude who's just hired because he's mates of the um, in WWE today? Are there any? Oh, was he a mate with oh, he's in the Bone Street crew, yeah, he was just mates with the SK, yeah. uh, whoever it is. They've got to, to get Tony's back, he'll do. 
It's like a problem. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was like, like Brandon Cutler's there because he's made the books, but at least they're not, you know, on like Azawa. How many, Azawa, but how many not that times, bad. like what multiple of, how many times better a wrestler is Tony Nese than Midian? <laughs> oh, at least 25, <laughs> yeah. if not 30, but Midian had the Kavorka. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> he loved getting his clothes off. Tony hadn't got any Kavorka, had he? No. Uh, but I think these judge, going back to the Judgment Day promo. Yeah. Which feels like a weird sentence to say. Hmm. Like it wasn't a video package. Yeah, I, get what you mean. I think we're on the road to 2015 Wyatt family already. Mm. Mean meant nothing this week, apart from you. <laughs> I was part of the problem in that promo because I didn't understand the concept. Oh of right, yeah, the Jack, lemmings. You could be the thing here. Like Go on. I swear, I had to check. You went like you people, you you know these things. Promos goes, yeah, you people are just like lemmings, all want to get together in a group and lead yourself to your own destruction. I'm Jump like. Off a clear. I thought we'd long established that lemmings going off cliffs together in groups was a myth. Oh, really? Are those are one of these that misconceptions that all people would say? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. But then I had to check. So wait, Edge is saying it. He's a wrestler. He hasn't been hitting the head lots. He knows what he's talking about. And uh, oh, it turns out that no, I was like, no, I had to Google and check with Ross. It's like, yeah, got a misconception. No, they don't go off cliffs. Why on earth? Yes, there was a very popular point and click action game where you had to stop them. Oh from yeah, doing lemmings. So. But why on earth? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Next week. He's why like, would that be? You made... people are gonna. Sail off the, the flat earth that we live in, or be eaten by dragons. Why would that but not be, I, Edge of the Judgment Day. Why would that Lemmings thing have originally been made of? It's one of these popular misconceptions. Oh. I think Disney did a really old film about it, and they apparently they encouraged them to go off the cliff themselves. Oh, right, chased yeah, off. Yeah, cool. So it's video footage. You went, oh, look, they're doing it. Okay. Dis- <laughs> Disney are terrible, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, but don't dare say that in case they buy Colaholic. <laughs> <They're buying laughs> I like right? Disney. In case they buy Color Holic. They bought us out. Yeah, they're buying everything right now. Oh, I'd, they can have it. I'd be in the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, yeah. They can have it. For money, obviously. For at least £25. <laughs> <laughs> it's only worth 18 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you put your hand over your mouth, didn't you? Know? <laughs> Uh, backstage, Cedric Alexander tries to get back on good terms of MVP, who says he's moved on to bigger and better things. Like literally, yeah. Meaning well, almost. Just bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Almost didn't yep. have a class match with Kota Ibushi, did he? That's right. God, that was a good match. Oh, yeah. Ibushi didn't even remember who he was. Uh, but then once he got reminded, he was like, yes, it was a good match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cedric wants to prove himself by taking on Bobby Lashley later tonight. He does so, and Lashley wins very quickly with a hurt lock because that's all Cedric and Shelton do. I, did, I did, <laughs> didn't want to even bring it up. Oh, there he is. He's proven it, but yeah. You do it on command. <laughs> oh, Mickey Mouse will keep you around. <laughs> so, yeah, just like, add into this. Yeah, so that match happened thing. later on, but I've, I've yeah, just mentioned it there. Um, so. Did you have any thoughts on the match? Cedric's finished. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, stick a fork in Cedric because he is done. Uh, Even with a massive distraction, literal massive distraction no. at ringside, he couldn't get the job done. No. Uh, I don't know, unless Bobby maybe gets attacked by Cedric on Sunday and gets involved anyway with Big Omos and medium MVP. Mm. Well, probably big MVP as well, isn't he? I reckon he's deceptively massive MVP. Oh, God, yeah. Probably. Unless they do something like that, I, just, I don't I don't see how Cedric can, can, can continue with Cedric right. Alexander. Mm. Unless, is he going to get together with Lashley as the Hurt Business again now that the, he's a loser? <laughs> Even though Lashley was the one who instigated yeah, getting rid of but- Right now, all he's done the past two years is be part of her business or get kicked out of her business. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It just seems like he's finished. Yeah, as a character, not yeah. as a wrestler. And then it's time for Miz TV. Well, special guest Mustafa Ali, whose uh, music stops working, and Miz is like, "Oh no, what happened?" Miz insults Ali. Uh, is Mike? It doesn't even work either. Oh, I'm sorry about that, pal. The pair argue until Theory interrupts. Ali tells him that he talks too much. And then oh some boy, idiot. you never showed up. <laughs> and then on Twitter, some idiot. Jesus! <laughs> then he got on a bicycle and the table didn't break and it was, you know, Super Mario World music playing. Bloody him. It's his yeah. thing. And then, uh, yeah, some, some idiot who should have stopped doing this video series and moved on with his life years ago put it on Twitter and uh, Mustafa put, yay, Matthew did the thing and put it on his Instagram. He did? Yeah. Ooh, wrestling friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. We communicate via New videos. Merch. Mm. Botchamania merch. Oh, BotchamaniaShop.com, yeah. BotchamaniaShop.com. And you know who does BotchamaniaShop.com? The same lad who does the Colaholic Shop merchandise. Thank you so for that, Matthew. Only hang Look around with the professionals. We're just all shills. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I should probably have bought some merch to wear to this podcast. Five pounds, please. As opposed to a hardcore Nicolas Cage match. Nicolas Cage? Oh, I love a hardcore Nicolas oh. Cage. Oh, hardcore <laughs> Nick Cage. I'm amazed I've not done that more, considering... <laughs> 
Anyway, um, there he uh, says that Vince McMahon has given Ali a chance at a US title shot, but reveals it's a handicap match against himself and The Miz. Vision uh, Theory win the match. Crowd seems more into Mustafa this week. Uh, they kept on doing a bit of the ha ha, trying to get leave WWE, ha ha ha. Vince Backstage like that. heat, he again, knows about that, you know. Again, yeah, last week, because my much reaction this week as it did last week, but. Just because it's biz in theory, no one likes them. Uh, we've got more of a healthy pop. Yeah. So that's good. And then Champ attacks Ali afterwards for good measure. <laughs> so to, to go on the trajectory of Champa on Raw, mm-hmm. baby face with Ezekiel to kick things off, heel against yep. Mustafa Ali, attack him out of nowhere. Yep. Apparently baby face on main event in a match against somebody and now back to being a heel with an attack on Mustafa Ali. Makes sense to me. It's good there. Mm-hmm. But I want to shout out David Flair in this segment. Why David is that, Flair? Ross? Justice for David Flair. They kept calling Austin Theory the youngest ever United States champion of oh. all time. Did they not and say... I know they kept saying WWE in front of uh, it, as but I say. don't care because David Flair, 20 years and two, 121 days, the youngest ever. <laughs> wow. My real champion. My real champion. It was one of those semantics moments, wasn't it? Where it's like, <laughs> yes, he is the youngest WWE US every champion. <laughs> but if that has the lineage of the US one, then yes. War lad David Flair. He's clearly there. And do you remember that run? No. Because Ric Flair was like, you know, I know David can't wrestle, but he gave him the US title belt, managed to help him. And then Rick and Arn would help him in his matches. So it's like, all right, tonight, David, it's a big challenge for you. You ready? Ready to pop wrestlers? I'm ready, Dad. I'm ready, Dad. And he comes in and it's El Dandy. And then David's still getting the poo kicked out of him. So then Rick distracts the referee and Arn hit him with a tire iron and then, you know, pins him. He's like, yeah, David, he's so good. Oh, it was a really good run. I watched a uh, recent for, for my series, but it's being edited currently, so I won't reveal too much. But there's a match where it's, if you know the episode, you'll know it's it's Ric Flair versus Russo in a steel cage. And um, oh, David yeah. comes out the ring and gets involved. And Flair just boots him straight in the chest. It's <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> that That's infamous because that's, you probably talk about in your video, but oh, yeah, that's yeah. one where Russo afterwards, because he had a pretty all right, all things considered match with Flair, went backstage and went, well, that's it, bro. Something like, we don't need wrestlers. Get the actors. Oh. If I can have a good match, then anyone can have a good well, match. The wrestlers are like, oh, that's exactly what we want to hear from you right now. It wasn't now. good. Like, it wasn't a good Con- match. Considering it was, it was Vince Russo think. in a match, it was... The match starts off and they lock up. And Russo gets Flair in a headlock and then Flair shoots him into the ropes and then Russo comes back and shoulder blocks him and Flair takes a bump. And we're meant to... Why? We're meant to <laughs> again, think like, wow, Russo's again, pretty like, good. They often said Ric Flair could have three stars with a broomstick. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a broomstick. Uh, so I can't wait for that. Mm. What are we talking about? It's going to be long. I feel bad for Luke, who I've given the edit to. Oh, bless him. Early today, the deck the deck had been stacked. That's what we got up to. Okay. The deck had been stacked. Against Ali? Against Mustafa. Mustafa it's Ali. only had. Yeah. That's what we got up to. People okay. start chatting about David Flair. Sorry, yeah. And they got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> he did. What else want to say about this? I don't know. I We've don't moved know. on. Yeah, they yeah. sort of back themselves into a corner with theory because theory uh, can't eat too many losses, can he? I'm I'm looking forward to the. You probably, think, you probably think he can. I'm looking forward <laughs> to the eventual. Eat someone else. Anyway. I'm looking forward to the eventual Champarali match. Mm. That is, if it's given time, it should be really good. Yeah. On main event. Yeah. So. <laughs> now onto the important stuff, though. Earlier today, we see the 24/7 division argue over all the betrayals that happened at the wedding. Mm. While they bicker, Nikki Ash attacks Dana from behind and pins her to win the belt. Dana screams at Reggie to get her rematch tonight. Dana wins the rematch, but everybody tries to pin her afterwards. Reggie helps her escape, but tries to roll her up on the ramp. Dana challenges her into Linda McMahon and says she wants a divorce. (laughs) That's how Linda talked. (laughs) Dana Dana Brooks a baby face, isn't she? Apparently. Uh, I thought so. Why is she having a go at war, Reggie? Our Reggie. Because he tried to Reggie's, betray her yeah. on their wedding day. Yeah. yeah, but then she's like, get me a rematch against it. It's a 24-7 title, you doil him. I've used that word again, uh-huh. you doil him. Also, how has Reggie doil. got the power to... It works. Uh-huh. Yeah. Apparently he does. He can book matches. Yeah. I guess. But yeah, why didn't they just attack Nikki at any point? Just wait until she has a nap. Yeah. Get her then. That's how it works. It's always been the same. Yeah. Apart from oh. when they suspend the rules during matches for some reason. Yeah. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> that seemed yeah. like... I associate that for some reason with Shane McMahon. Did he bring that in? They got suspended during the Dana versus Nikki in-ring match as well. Oh, why? It's 24-7. Yeah. Oh, my God. It used to be that... Wasn't it like during like the third hour of Raw, the rules are suspended for the 24-7 title? I remember the third hour of Raw mm. being something. 
It was around. That's a blur that period of time. Yeah. Right? I remember people running backstage and it was like all a line of, they're getting released, they're oh. getting released, oh. there. And if you saw a wrestler suddenly be part of this giant conga line, it's like, all right, they're, they're in the chopping block. <laughs> but now Reggie is either a simp or a cook, <laughs> whichever applies more. Because she wants the divorce and he didn't get a prenup. Oh, we'll get to that later on. Don't oh. worry. Uh, don't worry. That rhymed? We want prenup. Didn't yeah. Reggie's either a simp or a cook. He didn't get a prenup. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Seth Rollins hits the ring. Oh, good. Have you seen that duck? Uh, that laughs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hits the ring and talks about always being in the spotlight, but he's interrupted by Cody Rhodes. Seth, who's supposed to be the face, I think. What? No. Says, oh, are you joking? He gets cheered off. Shut, shut up, up, man. He gets cheered off the arse. That's because he's a messiah, an architect. It's just because he's popular. He's a revolutionary. Nah. And he, people cheering him. I thought he was supposed to be the... The noise, no. the noise and movement you've just done is not a baby face thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, but the people... Right, they're just cheering him because he's Seth Rollins. It's his song that goes along with more with, the, It happens with heels all over the place <laughs> to get cheered. Yay. Uh, but I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> whatever the hell he is, Duckman... Says that Read out what he says. Cody's delusional, just like his father. That's Both, not a baby face. I know, that's what I was like. Oh, this guy isn't a baby face. <laughs> Both egomaniacs who thought they could transcend the business. Oof. He says that Dusty didn't win the WWE title because he just wasn't good enough. <sighs> Seth cheap shots Cody, who hits the Cody cutter to send him running up the ramp. I actually was like, okay, he's a bad guy now. Good, I can say I don't like him and people won't be mad at me. And then Cody's like, you, how dare you say that? Oh, I hate you so much. I'm going to brawl, I'm going to punch you. Cody cutter. I'm like, oh, Harry. What? It's just very out of place, I felt. I found it weird that uh, it was Seth who hit Cody. The way he's taunting him and talking about his dad, you think Cody's going to be the one who's like, bang. Yeah, he's and been the bigger cheered. man. But he, instead, Seth said all that nasty stuff and then cheap shot at him. I'm yeah. like, oh. He's a POS, that man. Yeah, yeah he is. And plus, they've been very honorable the last few weeks. Just like, eh, can I have my rematch <laughs> with, can I have my rematch with a bit of a heads up, so I'm prepared? That sounds all right, this Seth podcast. Rollins. And I was like, your dad is overrated. <laughs> if, I think you might have misread one of the steps here because I don't think Seth's ever been a baby face. Again, I'm going by the crowd. Chip, what is that? Oh, they just, noise. The that is horrible. They just sing along with this song, I think, because it's catchy. Yeah, the boiler's making a whistling. That noise. is tinnitus. There's going to be an explosion. Soon it'll get too oh, high for our... what I loved, complaining our, about wrestling. Soon it'll get too high for our, like, aging ears to pick up the, the pitch. Oh, that's all right, phew. But there'll be teenagers listening to this going, ah! <laughs> Dogs running wild. Mm. Um, what was it? Uh, there's not much to say about this. They just oh. literally said you're not very good, and your dad wasn't very good either. Yeah. Bosh! Mm. But what, what a rib was played. I don't know if you caught it off the sort of side, side of the camera. Cody got Rollins's jacket, chucked it in the crowd. Oh, yeah, yeah. Directly got it back. No, no. <laughs> what a rib! Eh? The boys being the boys, eh? <laughs> just nasty. That. Why don't you transcend those steps? <laughs> Get your jacket back. Backstage, Art, who was an AW fan who throws it back at Cody. <laughs> and he goes on Twitter and says, oh, this is a, it's just a cool thing to do. Isn't it? <laughs> Backstage, Art Truth offers Reggie his services as a divorce lawyer. Nearby, Dewdrop confronts Nikki Ash and asks her if she's ready to start being serious again. Matthew, I recently, oh, good. Matthew, I recently pitched a, uh, a, 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 well, Andrew, I think, pitched a three-woman stable of Kaylee Ray, Dewdrop, or Viper, mm. and uh, Nikki Cross. To Amber Fire, you mean? yeah. But under their original names, he was saying, and and, oh. and I pitched the, the name the Glasgals, and I think Ooh. it's this is one step closer to be the Glasgals yeah, are going to yeah. become a thing. Do you think they're going to go back to their original gimmicks? What no. do you think Nikki no. is? Are you get, everything that they're doing is to change the names and everything else like that. That's not going to happen. Dude but Dude that is a nice idea. Dewdrop can go up to Piper Niven. Yeah, she could go back to Piper. Yeah, and Nikki Cross can go back to Nikki Cross. Yeah, mm. I don't think they'll go back to Viper and. Nikki Storm. Nikki Storm. Yeah. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, I think people now actually know him more as Nikki Cross. Yeah. Mm. Well, now they know him as Nikki Ash. Five years, hasn't it? Yeah. Five. Do you think they're going to do a triple headbutt and do the Glasgow kiss? Yeah. Glasgow kiss. And Drew will come along with his sword. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's horrible. I did enjoy <laughs> R-Truth proving his, his, his status as a divorce attorney sort of type by saying 90% of divorces end in separation. That was so. a good line. Yeah, I thought bringing stats to the party, Mitch, legitimizes yourself and your That's position. I believe him. At first, I thought it was true. I was like, "Oh, is he saying that like?" <laughs> no, but is he saying that like they change their mind towards the end oh, right. and they don't go through with the divorce? I think you. you... Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's what he mentioned. Ninety percent yeah, of divorces go. end in a stabbing, but ten percent result in a facial <laughs> laceration. In the main event, 
Bianca Belair teams with Liv Morgan and Asuka to take on Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, and Sonya Deville. Ooh. Liv gets the pinfall. Wow. Hitting oblivion on Sonya after a little help from Belair. Now Liv gets the pin. I guess this is building into a feud between Liv and Sonya. Liv, the Austin, Sonya, the Vince. <laughs> No, I'm being serious. I think it'll happen. I thought, like, you know, I guess Liv, uh, Sonny's the person who loses to matches that need building up or hype. But if Liv's gone after Rhea Ripley. What are the feuds we've got here? We've got Rhea yeah. and. No, wait. Sorry, Rhea and Liv. Becky and Asuka. Becky and yeah. Asuka. Rhea and. Oh, yeah, Rhea and Liv. Rhea and yeah, Liv. Yeah. But also Rhea and Bianca, maybe. Sonya versus Adam versus Vince. Yeah. Who takes That's away right. Sonya's powers. Who's. That's right. Who's. That's that fine of $1. Uh, who's Bianca's next challenger? Bianca's next challenger. Will be. Has she got a match for Backlash? No. What? This is what I'm saying. Yeah. There's no, there's no. Is there any yeah. titles on the line at Backlash? I don't think there is. I think it's all right now. No. Uh, well, I'll look forward to it. the big question will be: What is the must oh, see yeah, we'll match? Wait. Yeah, we'll Let's wait. Just ver be, verify yeah. if there's any titles on the line. There's no got to be. Hang on. <laughs> Trying to think. I can't think off the top of my head. I don't think there is. No. Is no, no, Charlotte Flair. Right? Charlotte, oh, Charlotte, Charlotte Ronda, 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 <laughs> Let's recap them, though. Uh, this show started off very hot. Cameron Grimes successfully defends the North American title against... Before we get to that, can I just say, I legitimately thought it was two lasses in the opening promo. The pretty I didn't know it yeah. was. Until it was like, yeah, boy! Yeah. I was... Um... <laughs> They're still on form. They're still on form. Fantastic. I live-streamed both... my reactions to this. Did you? Yeah, I uh, stayed up late for what was essentially a normal weekly episode of NXT. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bless you. I thought it was going to be like what, like Halloween Havoc and that was... Right. Because it it would be weekly, yeah, but there'd be mainly matches. Yeah. No, this was very much just a normal episode of yeah, NXT yeah. with yeah. a title match. Yeah. A couple of title matches. And the very dull but good-looking tag team champions. But thank Shut you, up! No, Elton Prince is Shut a up. future WWE champion. Shut up! Also, what? thank you Where? everybody who joined in on the Twitch as well. People saying good things about it. Were they? They said, oh, Jack had a good little video watching NXT. Yeah, it was fun. People saying I wouldn't watch NXT if Jack wasn't there to help. There were a lot of people who don't watch it who just tuned in just to watch me watch no. it, and they were very confused what was oh. going on. Were there any old dears asking you for, like, do you have a nice girlfriend and stuff like that? No, there weren't any of that. What old people ask? I don't think there was... Still read all woolly. Because of the demographic. Ah, oh, right. That was not very good. I apologise. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't think... think of what old people ask. Because I am Would one. you like a Werther's original? There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. Anyway, <laughs> I had a lot one thing that didn't fill fo in its face was this opening match. It was good. Cameron Grimes defending the North American title against Carmelo Hayes and Solo Sokoa. Mm. Now, we've said beforehand, crowd's been like, okay, we like you, Cameron Grimes, but we do like Solo Sokoa a lot more. <sighs> yeah. And I thought this was the time to change. The crowd were on their feet for Solo hitting that top rope splash and going, finally, this is it. This is going to be so good. And then just cruelly. I think they know up. though, because not only is Cameron getting really obvious fake crowd noise part in his entrance these days, mm. it was really obvious this week. But in this match, I thought he got a very heelish win. Snatch oh, and grab. It wasn't heelish by Snatch and grab. It was a cool move mm. though. The cave in off the top. But he stole one, the... didn't he? I guess he did. I mean, it was the same thing as before. It's like, so it's like, I was this close. If someone hadn't run in, I'd have beaten you. Yeah. So it's like, this didn't prove anything, which hopes he gives us something next week. Mm. Oh, just... genuine feud and good stuff on NXT 2.0. What are you yes. on about? No, I'm saying this surprise because there isn't stuff later on. But like I said, that that was good. That Telling was you, great. On the pitches video, I don't know if Jack agreed, but I've certainly got Andrew on board because Andrew doesn't watch. But NXT 2.0 <laughs> is the perfect. They should be called NXT Hybrid because it is the perfect hybrid of black and gold era and silly '90s cheesy bollocks that finally mm. got there. This is a perfect example of a black and gold triple triple threat. I mm. thought. Yeah, it was a very good match. Yeah, I kept on having to defend the in ring action on the Twitch stream because people were going, "What's this bollocks?" And I had to be going. But, what, but really? in the first hour, there was some good wrestling. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, 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 right, the matches, right, right, right. The, a, a few of the matches were genuinely really good. Yeah. Yeah. But the, oh, the rest of it was just we'll NXT. And I've realized, Richard, I came on Monday and I should have come Tuesday because my move of the week was Carmelo Hayes' backwards leg drop off the middle row. Oh. Oh. I've never seen that move hit like that before in my life and I thought it was amazing. Mm. Yeah. He does do a good leg drop. He's, he's good, good at everything. He's, yeah, he yeah. makes you yeah. sick, doesn't he? It's, it, it's bad he's in that segment there. It's like, yeah, all right, come on, you're good. But, but right now, we're investing in Solo. The and I still think at some point, Roman Reigns is going to go, yeah, he mm, should do as well. 
You know, uh, you don't need to win the NXT title, that's fine, but can you help out more lads the, win the tag titles? The stream was interesting to do because it gave me a sense of, like, what people generally think of the wrestlers in NXT, apart from just us three. Mm. It was, like, a bigger audience to, like... All right. So in the, in, in the chat, there was some people who would explain the characters of people to the newcomers who didn't understand. Oh, so it was nice to nice. see. And uh, the main thing was that everyone was saying, oh, yeah, Carmelo Hayes is, like, the best thing about NXT. Oh, okay, uh, Everyone great. loves him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah full agreement. Yeah. And... Uh, so he, he's now we've had the black and gold yep. for starters. Moving on to that. When you go to, um, what's that steakhouse in the centre of town called? Tomahawk. Not Tomahawk. Miller and Carter. Miller and Carter. Oh, okay. You have your starter there, don't you? And then for yep. some reason, they bring you this lettuce thing. Where it's like lettuce. It's got some vegetables inside of a lettuce thing. Mm. Okay. So this bit here of the 90s wacky stuff coming up this is, is the that lettuce, lettuce oh. after the first, after the first oh, call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's a little accoutrement. It's a good metaphor. Accoutrement. Accoutrement. A breather. Mandy Rose is on a tonning bed, but <laughs> Wendy Chu sneaks up and messes with the sentence, like in Final Destination. Mandy later merges all sunburnt, and the rest of Toxic Traction don't want to hang out with yeah, her. Yeah, they're like, well, we don't want to hang out with you now. Yeah. So they head to the beach <laughs> on their own, and Mandy looks herself in the mirror and goes, ah! Uh, Wendy and Roxanne Perez follow them and steal their flip-flops and car keys. <laughs> it's so cruel. Gigi and JC give chase, but can't walk on the hot tarmac barefoot. It says it really good. Really good. Full it stuff. is really, really good. good. Is it's, not, it's, it's, it's a harmless rib. It's a bit of harm. <laughs> oh, with wrestlers love them. You know, they haven't ta- they've not committed like vehicular crimes, have they? They've just moved their car 50 yards down the way, so mm. they have to walk on the hot tarmac. And they've nicked their flip-flops. It's psychopathic, really. <laughs> yes. Think about it, from Wendy Chu. Yeah. It's a harmless riff. It's psychopathic. I'm just, speaking of, just, it is, it's, it's a bit nasty. too far. It's nasty. It's not silly string. But she does also on Twitter admit the Mandy bit with the messing of the sunbed thing to be an attempted murder. Yeah, that's yeah. got to be dangerous, though. So, uh, that yeah. has got to be dangerous. What's she like, yeah? Wendy Chu. <laughs> She's almost Wendy. against his pasty. <laughs> Shocking, that. Huh? Hotter than the sun. And I, uh, the, uh, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't, uh, it's not a part that needs to be added. I was going to go, the Twitch chat got really horny when they were on the... <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> there was a slow motion bit where they ran into the sea and the Twitch uh, chat would... You disgraced yourselves, I will say. Yeah. Yeah, they disgrace themselves. But I was disappointed in them. Yeah. <laughs> and for the Nikita Lions match as well. Oh, well. Hmm. Nathan Frazier is interviewed backstage about his NXT debut. <laughs> he's oh, really excited man. and southern, it says here. So but he's not. He's from uh, Jersey. Yeah. The most south oh, he can by get. Way, someone, the, the one lad I said last mm. week, there is somebody from Channel Islands there. And you said, which one is it, Guernsey or Jersey? I said, no, oh, no, it's Jersey. And they went, no, I'm, how dare you, I'm Guernsey. Mm. Uh, so I'm very apologetic. They Carlos, were very nice yeah. about it, but they were like, uh, could, you know. But Nathan Fraser's from Jersey. Yes. But he sounds like, well, it is very Southern. It's the most, southern, sure it's the most like... southern you can get. Right. He makes, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. He no. makes Pachitti seem like a, like a Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, actually, you have me there. But um, just the way he was, well, Ross, I think, summed it up quite well. Well, he's he's a he's a he's a he's a child, isn't he? <laughs> he's a child. He's rocked yeah. up the. He's, he was like, oh, it's like all of my birthdays and Christmases rolled into one. I'm like Cora Jade. I'm a plucky underdog baby face. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, but it couldn't have come up worse. Simon's like, I'm just so happy to be working here. My dream. No, he was like cheeky with it. He was cheeky with it. He was like, amazing scenes. What, I'm you here. thought so? I, I thought he was being serious. Bit, I said he was a bit like Noel Fielding. Because they, they showed someone getting attacked in there like, oh, and he was wow. like, oh, the scenes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some crazy scenes. <laughs> I can't wait to do some flips and that. Yeah. But I, I was like, it's my dream though. He didn't do that. Be here. I'm like, wait, no, it was like everyone wants that. to leave was... NXT. Oh, he's being fired for NXT. No. It's like, yeah. You've seen, you've Mandela affected yourself. He was oh, like, no. oh, cool, blimey. Not the Mandela yeah, effect. I'm bloody here in NXT. It's all my birthdays and Christmas is round into one. He was like, yeah. he was like, like mum, hello, I'm on the telly. He was like a Beano yeah. character. I'm going to go yeah, apple really. scrumping after this. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my dog. His hanging out his <laughs> We're going to steal a pie off a windowsill. <laughs> Anyway, but, uh, but, go on two seconds. Go on, oh, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Get him and Butch together. It's my mate, Butch. <laughs> but after that, bollocks, right? Because I don't like that. Because, oh, but we drew to be here. Get in the bin, will you? Yeah. You are so. I don't think I talk about the match yeah. yet, though. Right. But but before his entrance, on. though. Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it went from woof, woo. That's Neville. Would have enjoyed yeah. that entrance. There was oh. lasers. He's a bloody, yeah. he's a fireball in space, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. And he flies <laughs> through the NXT arena. 
and he's there at the, at the entrance ramp mm. when the fireball... It's incredible. After the promo, I was yeah. like, I'm changing my prediction. Grayson Waller's got this in the bag because he came across <laughs> like such a nerd. Yeah. yeah. And then Grayson Waller came out and then the lights went down and the lasers now. And I was like, I've made the wrong prediction yeah. here. <laughs> And yeah, but anyway. Never yeah. mind the man that gravity forgot. Mm. He's the man that space remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nathan Fraser. Beautiful. Mm. I can't follow that, so I'll just say here's the message from one at, yeah, sorry, at one Jason. Hi, I'm Af. I just go around and listen to the podcast and listen to that there was a podcast listener from Jersey. I'm going to make the extremely egotistical assumption that you were actually referring to me. And I deeply offended as I am from Guernsey, <laughs> not Jersey. And there are absolutely no similarities between the islands. That being said, if I'm totally wrong this assumption, I demand a brawl for all match against this Jersey view to set them straight. <laughs> <laughs> Good lad, Jason. I'll have to get an angry DM saying, don't read out DMs I wonder if they actually hate person. each other, like Sun and Newcastle, or if it's just a you fun little, just a fun little, we're both islands in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> like you take the heat off me. Oh no, yeah, I've offended all yeah. 20 of the residents. <laughs> <of Jersey. laughs> Internet doesn't even reach that far. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Uh, um, this is the match uh, where Wade was speaking about the fertile ground of NXT UK. <laughs> Holy for everything in the world. NXT UK, yes. It, it does exist. Yeah. <laughs> in the locker room. Oh, yeah, come back to the match. Indy there, Hartwell yeah. and Duke, sorry, Dull Hudson are sad because their partners have legitimately been released by the B. So Dull tries to make a move on Indy, but she rejects him. I found this to be in bad taste, I'll be honest with I you. I thought he came across, and I don't think it was intentional. Well, he so, wanted if he keep. <laughs> I've got me that, Matthew. Come. Um, a sex pest. And that's, <laughs> that's not what you want to be, especially, right. well, ever, but <laughs> in this climate of... Yeah. He's a, he's a funeral the... crasher right now. A if the body's not cr- even cold, and he's like... It depends. Oh. It very much <laughs> depends me. to me on whether they both simultaneously went for it, and then Indy went, no, or whether it was just him. I need, watch, I need to watch Indy the replay. Went, oh, uh, actually, no. Yeah. Also, Richard, the, can we watch this off off the pod, just us watching it in here? Is that possible? Just to see. Just to see yeah. an action replay, to see if, if, um, if Indy does make a move as well. AR. Who in, makes the move in, first? In, this, in, in NXT kayfabe, they used to go out. A long time ago, they yeah. used to be friends. They, yeah, but then, so maybe, does that add a new layer to it? Or does that not change anything, really? I don't know. Because the only thing we sort of learned from this is that Indy, Dexter has left Indy because she didn't have the uh, the ring on, did she? Yeah, That's but right. also so, Persia will have left Duke. But yeah, and they just, uh, he's just a sex pest, isn't he? Have I mean, they run off together? They haven't even Persia uploaded and Dexter. the clip. This was the most I'm important. I'm sure the clip was on there. I saw it. This was the most important bit. It was on the next year. No, it wasn't. Talking Maybe about. I saw it on Twitter. Type in uh, Dull Hudson. Sorry, Duke Hudson. It's past. <laughs> That's his name now. Um, oh, my God. They've not even uploaded it. Oh, I'm sure I saw it. Uh-oh. Unless That's uh, why I shouldn't kiss him. Huh. Never mind. Gone. Sort them by. Um, oh, no. If you just search him, someone might have done it on the on the sly, you know. Yeah. At the top there. Do we? Do we I mean, do we? Is reviewing the footage essential? I guess it is. Oh, it's a bit of a really. run. We're, we're this deep now okay. today. This week. There you go. Oh, oh, yeah. Gone. Okay. Right. All right. So oh, looking no. at the the fingerless ring is Indy Hartwell for audio Dexter listeners. Lumis is gone. She stands up, dull, yeah. and pest walks in. He's looks eyeing like, her up. It looks like, like that horny milkman from Father Ted. He's like, oh, well, we might as well. My, oh. my past partner died. Indy looks scared. Of exhaustion. Indy oh, looks hey. scared. Dull oh, looks back. Oh. Indy looks... Oh, oh, she did! She did! It's all him! It's all it's him! All him. It's, no, no, that was... She, she did. didn't! She, she did. did! Oh, She, she was like she a statue! Did. She looked... No, she Your went... Honor. She didn't move! She, she went... No, just watch that in color! Get it back up, Richard! Can you go in slow motion, please? What the hell is that? I don't want to see your video! Can you slow down the frame rate? Just a little bit. Were you on a boat? No, no, she did! She did not! She did! Well, don't you see the whole thing again? Just the moment where she moved... Where Indy Hartwell clearly goes in as well. Look she's at not, this. Just, she's terrified. Hasn't moved. Hasn't moved. She's terrified. Hasn't moved. Has moved. moved. Move! She, 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 she moved the goose. She moves the goose. No. no. She's like a goose. Honk. She's she went that way. You don't go in and out. She went, uh oh. She went, no. She did. She went, there was she a split. Went, no. There was a split second where her head was fine. There's a split second followed by three seconds Matthew. of horny funeral crash and dull. I can't believe. I can't believe. I think. Indy Hartwell is conflicted. Shocking. Conflicted she is. She's conflicted. <laughs> Don't know where to come off, bro. So, <laughs> the scene's there. What an argument. <laughs> no, I'm fully on board. I think they're both up for it. Just want to go back to 
I know. Well, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Praise and Pete's Grayson Wall on his debut. Oh, my Thanks God. Thanks to distraction from Andre Chase and his loud... Andre's now the hero Fantastic. of NXT. He's the top... Oh, yeah. In the... Rumor, there's been rumors backstage that internal listings have him as the number one baby face <laughs> in NXT 2.0. That is reported by Jack the Jobber yes, himself. Absolutely. Who has access to that sort of stuff. Check, I've out, realized... check out Jobber Select, where I'll put more news. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking <laughs> himself there. <laughs> Look at that. Carry on, sorry. I've said my <laughs> move of the week wrong again, Richard. <laughs> Because my move of the week is actually the double reverse underhook driver thingy by Grayson Waller. Oh, mm. how okay. he managed to do that so smoothly! And I used to say it was rubbish, <laughs> character-wise, not a bit anymore. Uh, generic. generic. Yeah. But that move was astonishing. Yeah. Mm. So precise, and obviously Andre Chase's involvement. I think it's he's yeah. fantastic. Yes, of course. My goal, if we ever go to a show again, is to take my well, get first of all purchase a Chase. You, we need to go as yeah. yes. Yeah. And then try and get involved to become one of Chase U's students. We've done that once before, of course. We all went to a SmackDown dressed in your John O'Clock t shirt yeah. to try and get JBL's attention. And then Did it work? No, well, no. 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 <laughs> because I hate when fans try to get involved in shows. And then the boss was like, Oh, you should do it. And I was just like, I don't want to. I just don't want to. And then they were like, Oh, we've got t shirts for everybody. I thought you were. <laughs> I've totally misremembered this. I thought it was your. I thought you were the driving no! force behind it. <laughs> I really didn't want to do it. That's hence why I stood like twenty yards behind the barricade. Yeah, we just could sort of. We just filmed Ross going. John. <laughs> yeah, Ross trying to give away a T-shirt to anybody. It was oh, really man. interesting because it was like you know in Shaun of the Dead when they're trying to check if Pete's in the shower but they don't want to actually. Or like, yeah. <laughs> it was Ross trying to shout loud enough for it to be convincing, but quiet enough that JBL didn't actually hear. Yeah. And I understand it per like fully. There's a bit of voluntary goes, oh, I'll give him a quiet knock because it's late. He's like, should you not give him a loud knock? Well, no, because they'll, they'll, they'll need to hear it because they'll yeah, quiet knock so they can hear it, but don't disturb them. I think it was I think I was yeah. next to Adam in the crowd and he was like, you should at least stand on the chair. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll do that. Then. So I was still on my oh, chair. God. And then Noel Foley got with front seats, front row seats. Oh, oh I was in I was in the raft. I was like I was next to Sting and Derby. <laughs> I think the group was split into two for some reason. I can't remember why. Yeah, me neither. No, anyway. John Unit A and John Unit Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Target's approaching. The announce table. <laughs> Backstage. No, beg your pardon. Oh, yeah. uh, after the Nathan oh, Fraser. We see more vignettes from participants in the breakout tournament. Yes, we do. This week we see <laughs> Fallon Henley, who likes horses. On this this was amazing because she was like, I love getting rowdy with JB and BJ. Yeah. But there is nothing like riding a horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like there was whiskey getting thrown back and then boom there's a horse <laughs> I love getting rowdy on the weekends ne with JB and BJ but there, there is are... nothing like riding a horse <laughs> there's no one note characters in NXT there are two there's two note characters yes. but what a pair of notes they are <laughs> yeah and Tatum Paxley who likes the gym she loves the gym it's just you against the weight yes <laughs> But this, but That's the first opponent. She's a, she's a two note character. Obviously, last week, Kane and Lita's daughter has sisters and is young. That's two note. Tatum likes the gym. That's it. Wow, that's really and special. Tried, on the and, try, show. and try to get in the diamond mine, I suppose. Oh. That was her. She don't want to go to right now. Mm. Yeah, true. Mm. I don't need new members. If if it, it's all going to break apart. Yeah. They're very strongly. She's just the creeds. And Ivy. Ivy Nile. Oh, yeah, Ivy oh, Nile. God, I thought yeah. she was there. Yeah. Ivy, was the one, Damn. Ivy was the one who stopped Tate and Paxley getting in. That's right. Trying to be like, hey, hey, do you want to come in now? Who's going to win this um, breakout tournament? Let's place our bets now. I hope Horsewoman wins. <laughs> I reckon the clever one with the glasses will win. <laughs> She's the cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think... <laughs> That's a character. <laughs> it really is. Which, which one no gimmick is going to win? Um, what else? Did we, we had Santino Morella's daughter, who I can't remember her new ring name, sadly. And we had... Kane Alita's daughter. <laughs> I can't remember any of them. And we had one more. The oh, the corporate businesswoman who you said. Oh, oh, clever one with oh I don't think we've seen the winner yet. I don't <laughs> think we've seen the winner. I've just realised we missed a key part of oh, that uh, toxic attraction where they were like having their car slightly uh -huh. moved further away. Oh, God. Gigi Dolan, famous French lady. That's right. Shouts, dude, where's my car? Oh, a reference from the 2000s. <laughs> the early yes. 2000s. That's what we're here for. Sean William Scott and Aston Kutcher. Yes, yes. They were in the film, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen it. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, it's age now, not just because of like he he can't say that. Just if it's good or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair but I watched it a lot as a kid. I've seen the White Castle one, Harold and Kumar. Ah. But I was like 13 and didn't understand like stoner right. comedy. So I was just like, this is weird. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. And speaking of stoner comedy, Tony D'Angelo and Santos Escobar. Oh yes. Off in, at least I, I thought tense. Oh god, and yeah, tense being a lot bigger and um. They eventually agreed to a truce out there in these streets. Yo, it says here. Out here in these that's streets. How, that's how both of them talk. However. That's just how they, I talk. They, oh, sorry, yes. Later on in the car park, they got a little fantastic kidnap. Tony's ice hockey friend from Netflix, who got zero pop and zero reaction and what buzz. What do you mean? That's so he's AJ, still hanging around. AJ Galante. It is AJ Galante. <laughs> And no one cares. His yeah, you're on that Netflix thing. Consi consigli consigli Ali, consigli Ali, the right hand man to the yeah, yeah. Yeah. mafia leader. There was um, also a, another reality man who was during the entrance of Waller oh, and um, yeah. Nathan Fraser. And this is when Nathan Fraser started to change my opinion of him rapidly because he really, with perfect comic timing, just went like, hey, who's that guy? And yeah. I was like, yes, <laughs> go on. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, oh, that's his friend from something like I mean, X on the... Oh, isn't there a show called X on the Beach? There is. Yeah. Was wouldn't it be that? a better, would it be a better idea if it was like they go on and trick him and goes, actually, it's not your ex, it's yeah, ex's dad in you on the Yes, beach. that would be better. That would be a better show. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was uh, on something when I wrote I that. think he had uh, less followers than all of us around this table. This, uh -huh. this which, of course, is the barometer of how famous you are. And yeah. I mean, it, when it are means we gonna, everything. Wait, who was he? I don't know. Uh, um, NXT guest star... But that none of us have his name shows a lot. Uh, but news. they really are like anyone with any semblance of mainstream. Oh my god! Tools. Let's when? have this guy in every segment with the uh, hang on with Tony D'Angelo. So Grayson so. Waller, who's like part of his gimmick is that he wants to be an influencer and he wants to go viral and yeah. stuff. They've they've given him someone less famous than him. Less famous. Well, to... I don't know because Grayson Waller has fourteen point nine thousand followers on uh -oh. Twitter. Is Something it... went wrong. Is he his tweet? Has he blocked you? Was it just bad in there? It might just be bad internet. Wait, wait, wait. The tweet was there on Google. Hang on. We'll, we'll get there. Sweet. Got look at someone else's profile? No, we'll get there. If that doesn't load, he's, I've been blocked, I think. No, no. It's, it's, I know hey. he's there. Oh. All right, so this fella is called Mark Long. Mark Long. Oh, he's TV verified. personality. Her MTV oh challenge. God, he's, got, he's got followers. He's got followers. He's got 85. Followers. Godfather of reality he's got TV. More than me. How it, man? He's got more than me. Has he? 85.6. I can't remember how many I've got, but mine are trickling down. We've got a very similar number of followers. <laughs> Well, he's on MTV's Challenge Vet, two times champ. What, you challenge a vet? Godfather what, like of reality cow? TV. I, I don't know. know what this is. Oh, anyway, man. this is, I'm sure, <laughs> fascinating listening, so we'll move on. Um, Cora Jade and Nikita Light. Oh, maybe we'll go back to the Twitter, actually. Uh, win a tag match against Natalia and Last Legend. Jack, I am interested now. What did the Twitch chat think of this match? The Twitch chat were busy roasting me at this point, going, you were fancy they? Cora J because of Ross. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so yes. that's, yeah. One person went, Jack, who do you prefer out of Cora Jade and Sky Blue? And I went, who do I prefer in what way? And then they went, as a wrestler. And I went, uh, probably, uh, I've seen more of, I don't know, Sky Blue. And then before I'd finished talking, they put, which one do you fancy more? Yeah. <laughs> and the chat just exploded. So I was just... Got him. I don't know what they thought of this, man. Well <laughs> done, Ross. This, one, is, this is your influence. Better one than person <laughs> just... Man. During the entrances, one person just put, Blondie is fit. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... We needed some moderators in the chat. Ah, uh, no, we don't. <laughs> God, that sounds fun. Uh, this was just a tag match. Uh, it wasn't, you know, people like, ah, ha, ha, online about it. It was all right. It just ticked it a box. It was just a very TV match, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. My main takeaway was... was um, that uh, Natalia was like John Cena. Shh, compared to the other people in the match, yeah. Barking the spots. Oh. Hit me! <laughs> Get me out of here! <laughs> in a shout of Cora Jade. I was yelling at Ravens. <laughs> I thought you were like a James Brown. <laughs> 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 Get up them! Do you know his funeral was on Christmas Day? I think he died oh. on Christmas Day. Oh. Did he die on Christmas Day? Maybe he died on Christmas verify this. No. We'll go back to Google. But, this uh, is very important. Apparently there was like an open... Casket funeral on the streets of like New York or somewhere. Probably because my girlfriend was saying he passed that passed away on Christmas Day. Oh, oh he did actually pass away. Maybe it was oh, on New didn't... Year's at the funeral then. It was bad then because there was that song, uh, famous. Oh, what type of genre was it? Techno song called James Brown is Dead. <laughs> Obviously, more people bought that. Oh, okay, anyway. 
Do you remember my girlfriend yeah, said that nah, one of nah, like nah, an, nah, like nah, a nah, childhood nah. memory of hers is her man putting that on during like family New Year's Christmassy time, just having Shh. James Brown's open casket funeral on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on with the podcast. Please. Backstage, pretty deadly. Interrupt the Viking Raiders interview, and yes. the Vikings aren't impressed. Later, the Raiders face the Creed brothers, who are under pressure from Roddy Strong to win the match so he can stay with the company. The Creeds do indeed win, but only after interference from Roddy. They didn't want his help and argue after the bell. So oh intriguing. Dear. So intriguing after the bit earlier on, Roddy saying, I am the leader here and what I say is goes. Yep. Now, he, of course, he wants the Creeds to win because mm. he's their manager, well, leader, mm. and he'll benefit from that. But the Creeds don't want him to get involved, even though it looked like at the time they were going to get beat. Yeah. I think they were still in I think they were still in the match. Oh, they were still in it, but it looked like the, the Vikings were going up for the years, yes. Okay. After nearly ending the, the match in double quick time, which I was shocked. Yeah. That had me going. Yeah, that me too. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. It's a good start. It was a good match. I, I like the Vikings when they get the chance to be oh, NXT say themselves because they're not Viking Raiders, yeah. actually. No. But, but yeah, it was like, okay. And then it went on and the crowd were just like, okay, it's them. I liked it. They were I like, like them. Stop Ziggler or Natalia. <laughs> it was just like, oh, it's Vikings. I really I did the, the big bombs everywhere, weren't they? Yeah. I thought it was really impressive how the Creeds managed to keep things like technical. While yeah, right, right. throwing massive men like that around. Yeah. I thought it was very impressive. Yeah. But then in, when Pretty Deadly was stood next to the Viking Raiders, I couldn't believe how big bo- what big boys they are. Mm. Which ones? Pretty, pretty Deadly. Tall boys. Yeah, yeah they are, aren't mm. they? Tall men. Quite thick as big, well. Big, tall, thick, oh, sexy men. Aye. Big, tall, thick, sexy men. And one of them's from Newcastle, so obviously he's the biggest and the Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm so reluctant to play him. <laughs> Because he's not Elton Prince, he's, he's the other Prince, one. Yeah. He's, he's the other. What's he called? Kit Wilson. Kit Wilson. That's right. Yeah, he sounds like a... Sounds like a Edith Blighton protagonist. It does. <laughs> nice. Backstage, a physio checks on Brooke Jensen's injured arm. I noticed at this oh, point of the here show... here comes a joke. Doesn't Brooke Jensen look a bit like Post Malone? Richard? Nah. <sighs> you don't know what he looks like? Do you not watch NXT? Who, Brooke Jensen or Post Malone? <laughs> No, Richard Richard told me about Post Malone about two years before Post Malone was popular. Of course he, course he I remember he, it. Of course he did. He was like, you need to check out this Post Malone. I was like, all right, Richard Tubman. One I've of your been hipster listening people. to SoundCloud, me. And when Post Malone scored that header. <laughs> Postman Pat, was that a... Yeah. yeah, a yeah it's yeah, a callback, yeah. everybody. Oh, Pretty good. Oof. But now, Richard, I remember we were in MSA, which doesn't really <laughs> exist anymore, in Newcastle. And then he went, this is Post Malone who I was telling you about. And I was like, I don't know what this is. And then... Oh, so what you're saying is Postman who's your delivers. Next big, who's your next big... Richard Tubman's the Postman. He always, who's the next big tip in the music world? Bruce Jensen. Bruce Jensen. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. This is why he needs a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> he says that recovery time is usually 10 to 12 weeks, but Jensen should be back in six to eight weeks. No, said the Twitch chat. He asks why Jensen's right arm is so much stronger than his left. Because yeah. he wanks his willy. Because he's not getting any from any losses. <laughs> And they're cut to like. Fallon's wave. too busy hanging out with their horse. Because the, nothing compares to that. <laughs> to riding a horse. Look at the weight bar, like, like drinking a cup of tea and go. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then he, he goes, Is there any reason your right arm's stronger than your left? And they'll go, Uh oh. And then he goes, Could it be that you're right handed? And he goes, Yeah, I am. And he goes, Yeah, about 90% of the world. So <laughs> why did the doctor even have to ask then? It didn't make sense to me. I know, but Wade Barrett said, oh, More tea, bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and then the main event to save this show uh, Bron Breaker beats Joe Gacy to retain the NXT Championship thank Christ as he no, celebrates I wanted for the chaos I wanted Joe Gacy he was the other oh, pillar oh my god yeah, Joe Gacy was right, the yeah. pillar yeah. but when he was when back know, in the when he was Snowflake, Snowflake. 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 Yeah. now he's uh, just Aldi he's Bray Wyatt the Bray Wyatt yeah. Yeah. as he celebrates two mysterious hooded figures enter the ring behind him two and Mysterios and <laughs> two Mysterios <laughs> No mysterious, sorry, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. End of the ring behind him. And the show ends where they can see what happens. But he's actually led away like... on NXT Extra on a barbed wire stretcher. You know what? I was fuming. The, the Twitch chart were calling desperate for this point for Come Tuesday because he's the yeah. main man. <laughs> and he just, <laughs> <laughs> just hadn't shown up the whole show. And then... We won't come. I think there was a tall one and a short one as well. I can't quite remember. And I was G-Y-V. Like, I was like, it's it. Oh. Uh, is it? Is it them? I don't know. I don't they know who it is. They were there, were they? They had masks on. Oh. But but I was like I was I was beyond the point of I was like it's him it's Von Wagner and then it just ended and I was just like, devastated I couldn't Aww. believe it and that's then, that's what makes it next because you you're gagging for more it's aren't like you? Yeah. guess what we'll be doing next week everybody we'll be tuning the F in <laughs> and watching with intent Aww. yes we will I, I thought. The match was okay, but I don't like how they're making Gacy like 2015 Wyatt, which isn't a good thing. Yeah. The pose in the corner as well, he's got that now. 
Luis, you can so I upside down? I reckon I could do that if someone put me there. <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> like, he didn't do that. And then Brom was like, oh, like he just went, whatever. Yeah. Kind of looked weird when Bray did it because he had the, the dreadlocks and the, the big Not beard cool. and that. Joe Gacy's a relatively normal looking man. <laughs> just yeah. this upside down. <laughs> just yeah, that's, that's another thing that needs to be said. Yeah, be, it worked with Undertaker there because old Jack with oh, Bray. things. He had that crazy oh, little oh, soul Bray, patch. Bray, yeah, yeah. And then Bray did it with the long dreads and the cool things and the, yeah, yeah, right. the southern dialect. Joe Gacy's just a lad. Just a man. He's a office worker just a normal in a man. dress shirt. He's just, just an innocent, innocent man. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dress shirt, Bray Wyatt. All right, fantastic. Um, Joe Gacy's thing in the indie scene was always, he was able to hang with top tier dudes, okay. like the Greshams and the Riddles and the people he was in the ring with, but he wasn't able to have like a good match with a so-so. With Vince Russo. Or a great match. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> he was not. As they said back in 2015, CCW said, Joe Gacy is not Ric Flair. It's Joe, not Ric Flair. <laughs> Gacy. Ah, oh, damn it. You guessed it. Joe Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this was okay. I thought he was like well respected on the indie scene and stuff. I guess he was. He's more respected than he was because he used to be like out of shape hardcore dude. He got oh, so right. into shape. And again, like I said, mm -hmm. he could definitely hang the ring can, with yeah, people yeah. who were way above him. He just, he's just not able to have a great match with a. Eh. I thought it was an all right match, even though yeah, Clay Gacy's was, like the yeah. Clay Gacy had to like lead the way and like help yeah. Bron out. But I thought the spear was good. Yeah. 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 I'll give him that. And it was a very abrupt ending. But I'm like, oh, that'll be the end. Of, of course, it's not the end of it. Mm. But what's going to happen Snowflake. next week? Where did Bron go? Mm. Is he in the cage where Rick lived for a week? Is he <laughs> elsewhere? I can't wait to find out. I'm excited. I really enjoy it. It's so good. It's, it's, I imagine it's, watching it's, on, on Twitch you all those, all those people going, what is this rubbish? It's fantastic. Andrew but. was full of praise for us three, by the way. He said that he really enjoys listening to our NXT section of the podcast because he says we fill in the gaps that NXT leaves. And he says that yeah. we make it better than it is. And I was like, no, yeah. Andrew, thank you, but... I think we're just more dialed in with the writers and their creative process. We just see exactly yeah. exactly what their vision is. Now people are not much, which is well saying, yeah, I'm so glad you guys talk about NXT so, so I don't have to watch it. Because you know people are interested in hearing about it, but other people talk about so it than watch it. I was so gutted when it changed, and now I can't be happier. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. First week, it's like, okay, here's 17 new people, and they've all got one hey, gimmick. It's when LA Knight had the title shot. They were like, no, wait, just kidding. We're giving it to this new lad, Von Wagner. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> He's way more qualified. I've got to be honest, when it first started, my love for it was very much ironic. Yeah, that's why I got confused. <laughs> sometimes then, you're like, I no, I like this. Like, oh then, <laughs> no, then the love for it went away desperately when it got a bit too silly and there was too much being thrown at you at once. But now, this past month, two months, three months, I don't know how long it's been, my love has rekindled, mm. but with no irony at all. Wow. It's my favorite show <laughs> each and every week. My favorite show. I think show. that what you're saying is ironic. And but... I wish they would rename it NXT Hybrid so that people understood what it was really about. It's not a silly, <laughs> colorful children's TV show with wacky gimmicks from the 90s thrown at you with no care in the world. It's oh, no. Storytelling. It's... Me call it something. It's like it's something, something that shows you that it's a, like NXT Plus or yeah. something like that. Evolved. <laughs> yeah, NXT. Evolved. NXT horny. <laughs> <laughs> NXT after dark. <laughs> Wait, I was trying to think of like porny sounding like suffixes, but the best I could think of was X. So NXT X. <laughs> Makes no sense. Have sense. NXT with three X's. Yeah. Uh, NX X X T. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I rose the tongue. I do like how Jax is wearing tune with the writers when we sit here and go, Nikita Lyons is the child of Ludwig Kaiser. Oh, no, it was... It was <laughs> oh, no, no, it I was think, me I think we are. No, I think we are. Yeah, we are. He yeah, proves the did, point. We did, yeah. But I think it, it, once, you know, yeah. once she gets her feet under the table properly, we'll, we'll learn that she is the offspring of Ludwig Kaiser. I like how comparatively we like rattle through Raw and SmackDown. They're like, let's have a proper analytic you have to sit down and go, all right, wait, wait, let's just, just try and grasp we this. We slowed down footage of a nearly kiss to see who's intent. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and we I'm still disagree yeah, after two. Yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm, I think Indy's in on it. To be sure. fair, no. that has given me a new respect for the VAR people in football. Oh, aye. Imagine being at Stockley Park. He's the oh. offside. What frame uh -huh. are you using there? Take it back. Oh, he's on site. Oh, no. Oh. Should we draw some lines? Before off? VAR, I'm like, what we need is, you know, action replay. That would actually... And now it's like, oh, God. <laughs> Richard, the worst way of doing it. Just for next week's podcast, because we can't do it now, put a line, a vertical line on the screen next to Indy Hartwell. Then we'll actually see if she moves. <laughs> Two frames. See if her face goes beyond the line. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll know. <laughs> then we'll know. <laughs> Until then, <laughs> more of the dull, boring, non-horny AW Dynamite. I mean, to be fair, this time next week, we'll be sat here about dull and indie having full on intercourse. <laughs> yeah. Of course we will. In the back of a car. Mm. I can't fill the gap that Dexter left by leaving, but I can fill another gap. <laughs> there we go. It's easy. It's the gap between the seat and the gear stick yeah. where yeah. all the coins fall down. <laughs>
you're smaller than me. I can't reach them with my giant <laughs> poker hands. <laughs> my giant poker hands. <laughs> I don't think I've got money for the, money for the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> William Regal's <laughs> big for knife party. That's what I've called dynamite this week. Yeah, but we've That's already good. discussed. Yeah, it's the Hall of Fame. Isn't it? Yeah. Adam Cole opens the show, joining commentary and ignoring Tony Schiavone. That was Ooh. funny. The first match is Jeff Hardy versus Bobby Fish, a known heart tournament qualifier. I did see a good line from somebody this week. I wish I remembered who it did, said it. It's nice that Bobby Fish is in the own heart tournament because he was training alongside Stu. Oh. <laughs> Because he's old. Oh. Not just because he looks like he's from the 20s. <laughs> yeah, too, yeah. Jeff Hardy is now killing lads with these swanton bombs. Like. Isn't it great? Oh. I think he's... In- oh, yeah, obviously. This is- Here's a hot take, everybody. Jeff Hardy is incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because the stuff he does, he's taking the avalanche mm. avalanche falcon arrow off the top. Mm. Yeah. He's still doing the whisper in the wind where a lesser man would have come up with a much easier mm. setup move for his finisher. The Swanton as well. I just, it's amazing how he keeps doing it. Yeah. Yeah. This is like watching El Kanek at Triple A. It's in all the stuff Jeff's done that was bought. Will Jeff years. Hardy be doing it at 69? Yes. <laughs> However, he is killing lads with the Swanton bomb. Yeah. He's landing fully bodily on them. Yeah. This guy kind of like Jeff wrestle like big heavyweights from now on because the only people who can take his finish oh, is Sat Nam Singh match. I can't wait. Yeah. Jeff wins as Darby Allen and Sting watch from the rafters like Jack at that one SmackDown show. Yes. Uh, after the match, the Young Bucks arrive to check on Bobby, but have a stare down with the Hardys as they do so. It's all Even about, though I swear we've done this. It's all about the Young Bucks. You've done it in Ring of Honor a lot. Yeah. It's all about the Bucks and who they're friends with and who they're not. Mm-hmm. I couldn't yep. give a toss. Because <laughs> they are well, our I mean, like the last time they did this. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, start last year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, I couldn't give a toss. Yeah. Mm. And there'll be another people in the because we had this before, like I've made the that comment. Yeah, that, that people, went down. People well, like, yeah. oh, it's, it's worked in this promotion and that promotion and last yeah. time and that time. We've seen it plenty of times, haven't you? Mm, yeah, uh, um, we haven't, and it would be nice if AW, I don't know, recapped any of this that has happened. Oh, don't ask for recaps. Don't be Do you silly. know everything about Deonna Perazzo? No. Well, good. <laughs> because I didn't, and I had no idea who, was, <laughs> who to root for in the main event. <laughs> We'll go to that too. Uh, I did like Jim Ross this week as uh, the Young Bucks headed the ring, dressed as only as they can dress. He goes, oh, they got dressed in the closet. Because <laughs> his, his, yeah. his outfit wasn't matching. Yeah. After last week when Jim had an off week and talked about how American Hikaru Shida had become, <laughs> this week he was in a bit of a cheeky mood. He was having a yeah. bit of a laugh. Maybe I'll make JR watch a new... What kind of mood was Jim in this week? Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, I'll drop the pun titles. That didn't pay off I don't think no no they were great keep out them oh no they're, they're, I've just checked on Twitch they say they're lovely <laughs> <laughs> in, in a vignette William Regal says that yeah we've already been through yeah, that yeah sure. fantastic little bit uh, shame on you for skipping the Hall of Fame segment yeah, yeah. Danielson mocks the Newtler when a six man tag against the Butcher the Blade and the Candlestick maker himself Angelico mm. and just another little yeah you know what let's have the best stable right now in AW do their thing something a little weird happened towards the end of this match Oh, go on. You know how they're all doing the stereo submissions at the same time, yeah. or the, whatever, they're all hammering away. Yeah. And you and the butcher, I think, like kind of tumble out the ring. And then it's off camera, and I'm not really certain what's going on. Yuta gets back in to celebrate because his team has won. And like Moxley keeps having a word with him and going, like, get up on that corner, go on, you little rascal, and like giving him a little shove and a pat. And I'm like, what happened between him and the butcher? Why did they go to the outside? And then the butcher walks past. And I don't know if it's just because he's a big, strong man, but it looked like he was no-selling the effects of the match as well. Am I just reading too much into oh, this? Oh, I mean, maybe, well, but I took it as... Uh-huh. have a fight I on the outside, right, is what right. I'm saying. Genuine heat. Yeah. Richard, With get the, the footage of William. <laughs> heat between Yuda and Butcher. I'm sure it's not. I took it to mean, like, uh-huh, I don't have to do a submission. If they're doing it, I'll take out the Butcher. That's but they're all doing, doing in the, in the three-man ring. group. But... They'd be doing the, come on, do the thing. They'd be doing that all the time with him because he's still an understudy of the Yeah, Black yeah, Bull that, that makes so sense. That makes sense. But I'll have to rewatch that. Like, yeah, maybe same. one of them needed to have a little sickie under the ring. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Apparently that's where you go in the indie shows, yeah. if you need to be... Take me outside, I need a vomit. Yeah. Mm. I thought Regal stole the show again in this one. Oh. Mm. Yeah. There was mentioned the line earlier. Man with the mask, you're looking scrumptious on your profile tonight. Scrammy, scrammy, scrammy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> to give it the full line. Uh, it just said he was shouting about how much he loves seeing fellas getting tossed around by big men. <laughs> yeah. he, seemed, um, he said it twice just to really hammer the yeah. point. Home. And it's just like, he makes... When the other team are on the offensive, I made mean, it sound like football again, but when the other team are doing things to his team, he's like, it's a good thing because what's the point in being a wrestler if you can't take a bloody good hiding? Yes. Mm. Everything he says is, is just, so. as the kids would say, on point. Mm. And I thought Angelico looked good in this match. Mm. He's very unique. 
Mm. I know he's not got much of the Kavorka when he's speaking words and whatnot, but he's he's tying fools up in knots. I'm very much enthralled. He's a lucha <laughs> man, but he does submissions. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> What a novel concept. Mm. <laughs> See, what knob? I was going to say that. <laughs> Do flips instead. He's also very pretty. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. He jumped off the office in Lucha Underground. He did. What a, what a mm. moment. You see that again from Tony Khan's office, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> On the Smiles away. Just everywhere. <laughs> Every room is his office. Just in, in frantically he, everywhere. Is Dario Cueto still in MLW? He's the manager of Lucha Underground. I haven't seen MLW in oh, ages. And he, didn't, he needs to get more prominent in wrestling again. He was fantastic. Yeah. Mm. Backstage, Jurassic Express agreed to a tag title match from Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs, but only if Jungle Boy gets a shot at the FTW Championship. Ooh. Jungle Boy's accent, as I said on Twitter in reply to Sean Ross Sapp, I believe, who Ooh. said Jungle Boy is now like seamless in promos. You couldn't tell that he used to struggle. And I put, his accent turns me into a weak little boy. <laughs> well, it does. Why is that Wade? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sounds really sexy, doesn't he? He's just got a little bit of a, a twang. Oh, yeah. bit, oh, hello there. My name is Jungle Boy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my friend. With me. Oh, he's got a bit of, I know he's from the West Coast, but he's got a bit of uh, Elvis Presley going on. <laughs> he's just fantastic. Do you agree with this tag title match? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I never thought about that. Think about that, but I'll have to rewatch oh, it. Oh, my God. When he's locking his finisher in, you're caught in a trap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you can't get out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, man. It writes itself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, lost. he didn't win the match, so he's going to Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> oh, they're doing that film, aren't they? The, the biopic of Elvis. It's coming out soon. But it's nothing compared to Daniel Radcliffe doing the Weird Al Yankovic auto, <laughs> auto pick. So a lot of people on Twitter going, why has Daniel Radcliffe got jacked for the right. role of Weird Al? Oh. Daniel Radcliffe as Weird Al Yankovic. How can the one man play Harry Potter and Weird Al in the same lifetime? Wow. Anyway. Anyway. What are we talking about? Oh, that's right. MGF introduces Wardlow's mystery opponent, William Morrissey. Because you can't teach that, etc. The entrance was brilliant. Yeah. Because Morrissey... He's being a jacked. Morrissey comes uh -huh. out. First of all, what a turnaround he's had in, right. in just his life. Yeah. But also he walks out, does the big thing he used to do for Enzo, where he'd, Enzo would like jump really high and like high five him. And I'm just like, down a bit. And he goes, he's like, yeah. bit more. And he's like, and he gets less enthusiastic each time. And then he's like, okay. And then Spears goes for one. And he just goes, no. And just walks past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, crowd split. Crowd chant, we want Enzo. No, no, we, we, don't. no we don't. So William nice. doesn't want it. Bloody hell. No, no. I don't know if he said mm. F him, but he certainly said something along those lines, basically. Like, he did. <gasps> he was proper. Oh, he was yeah, shouting people go. in the crowd, yeah. Shut up, he's saying. Yeah, Shut up, up he he saying, You kill my bit here. Mm. Uh, Wardlow wins. Security comes out to escort him away, but Wardlow fights them all off and demands that MGF releases him from his contract. Rather like certain NXT wrestlers. MGF surprisingly <laughs> challenges Wardlow to That's a match. That's a needless comment, Matthew. <laughs> it, was. it really was. <laughs> MGF surprisingly challenges Wardlow to a match, but has a couple of conditions, and Jim Ross is like, oh, really? <laughs> He'll reveal what they are, a contract signing, but not here in this scummy place. It's where God's country resides, <coughs> Long Island. Yeah, uh, and, I, and I thought, I really thought about the name Long Island, and it sounds a bit Tolkien, doesn't it? Like yeah. Misty Mountains, Long Island, it's a very simple, like, thing. So if any Long Islanders out there, please fill us in. Is it just, well, it's just because it's a Long Island? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah. It is weird when you look at like names of things, because like Newcastle upon Tyne. Why is it called that? There was a castle here. It wasn't that old. It's near the Tyne River. Yeah. Yeah. So when you think about names coming from, it's like, yeah. oh, okay. Why Blackpool? I don't know. I don't, want, I don't, don't want to know. <laughs> Genu <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, moving on. Morbeth, where I'm from, oh, I'm sure on. it's about murder path. Wow. Oh. Sure Morbeth's wrong. actually a nice place yeah. as well. Yeah. Very middle class. Jarrow, where I'm from, I think it's a Viking name. Because it was, oh. it's where they first landed or something. Right. I could be a Viking, me. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> I tell you, there's a couple of things from this matchup though. I didn't. Big Cass was never as agile as William Morrissey. No, yeah. They were leapfrogs in big boots like that. Like two different people. Swoop. And there was a different shade to Wardler this week. I thought a different shade because mm. he was plodding along, going along. Then he just went, "I'll do a moonsault now." What mm. tish? Then he did the power bomb. The power bomb was impressive. Oh, as he well. needed one. Aye, no sense that he needed. Then he's going to do five to him. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was I, impressive. Though. Just the oh, way yeah, he shifted absolutely. gears with like he just plodding along and goes, oh. "What moonsault time?" Yep. <laughs> Tell you what, it's uh, Blackpool gets its name from a drainage channel that ran over a peat bog, discharging discoloured water into <laughs> the Irish bog. Sea. 
And it was black then, I guess? Or? Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Oh, Again, that pool's black. We'll Certainly, call it Blackpool. You know, not the colour what it should be. So they were yeah. like, we'll name our town after this. <laughs> <laughs> Hangman Page heads the ring for an interview with Shivani. Hangman says that he could talk about how much he respects CM Punk, but he won't do that. At Double or Nothing, there isn't going to be a, quote, masturbatory Bret Hart tribute match. Whoa. He's going to destroy CM Punk, and all the nerds who got about his merch can burn it afterwards. It was yeah. fantastic. Like, it, and it's also, by the way, CM Punk isn't here. <laughs> yeah. I've, wanted, he I've wanted Punk to win, because I think his run's been, like, amazing. Mm. And Hangman's, like, sort of fizzling. Just naturally, it's not his fault. It's just the momentum. Where's the Dark Order? Where's the, it mate? The big moment was him winning the belt, and that was it. Yeah. And it was only ever going to be down from then. I don't think there's anything he really could have done about that, which is a shame. I wanted Punk to win, but after this promo, I'm like, I kind of want Hangman to win. I'm glad they switched it up. Like, mm -hmm. no matter what Hangman does, he's not getting as big as cheers as, as Punk no. would get. Um, I did like the little line where he's like, I bet he's shooting another TV show. Isn't that ironic? Ooh. It's like when John Cena took on The Rock, isn't it? Mm. Ooh. Or when Cena took on CM Punk. Oh. Well, you're going to look like Ellsworth. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I, thought the way, I thought what I'd said was the same at first as Roth, and yeah. I was worried. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking forward to that match a lot. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait for the promo from there wasn't, next week. There wasn't a masturbatory Bret Hart match, but there was a masturbatory Bret Hart promo. It was a little bit Bret Hart, the Hangman promo. Did you do nothing? A little bit whiny Bret Hart? Yeah, I was the same Punk's going to say. Oh, you won't do his match, but do his promos. <laughs> Pro oh, Punk should come out to session. See you, Punk. You're a hell of a wrestler. <laughs> Punk should, like... You're a high fire of the highest magnitude. Punk should give it all, all the Shawn Michaels stuff now. Don't... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll never cheer him ever again if he does that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I moved on from bit, doing tributes to Bray. He's not coming in. We'll do Shawn Michaels instead. I imagine. I'll do Bruce Hart oh, instead. Out, <laughs> no, Triple H. He comes out on a little bike. No, no more Triple H references. <laughs> Please. <sighs> Santana hits Jericho with a dive. During his entrance, uh, Jericho is now the wizard. So gives excited the fire. opportunity to... Oh, yeah, the wizard. Oh, is that where that came from? I so. like That's long, what I took from. Yeah. Long hair and a flowery shirt. It was either that uh -huh. or the gangrel, Jericho. Santana's finally put an end to this Judas nonsense. Uh, yeah, interrupted Judas. Get in. Jericho wins the match after a low blow in the Jericho Appreciation Society. Beat down on uh, Santana and Ortiz after Bell, as they point out that Eddie Kingston is not here this Yes. Because he got shot mm. in the face with a fireball by of the course. wizard. Mm. Yeah. Like a metronome. So... <laughs> 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 So <laughs> the point is that Santana Ortiz and Eddie are outnumbered. Yes. But we knew that. Yes. This, was this, this felt like a like a, a, a wheel spin of a like we're holding yeah. the angle until something bigger happens. It's, it yeah. started off good with Santana starting the match as he should do after his pal got shot in the face with a fireball yes. by a wizard, a whimsical wizard. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but then after that, I thought the match just sort of chugged along as most of this feud has. Mm. It's not been good. I like Santana as well. Yeah. Bits and pieces of it have been all right, but it's like fighting against the tide because it's like, hey, do you know that thing that Jericho does where he gets a big team and feuds with the... Let's do that again. Yeah. And you're like, all right, But man. worse. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's back and he's 10 times as thick. Magical Jericho 10. <laughs> 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 is I'm that sorry. Magical Trevor? He was supposed to be. Wow, yeah. what, a, what a throwback, though. The acclaimed and the ass boys all scissor backstage. Oh, no. God, I'm glad I read that. Oh, no. That's a new thing they do, and it's... Stick it in, boys. That's the bit that'll stay with me forever. Billy Gunn, scissoring action. Stick it in, boys. Uh, and then cast I hope that this leads to a bit where they try and do it with Arn Anderson and goes, I don't like those. Arn Anderson? Where's he? Yeah. Cody didn't take him. Reloading? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Imagine he's just still living in Cody's garden. He's like, no one tell him. <laughs> Cody, we need, us. we need to go oh, back to the AW, so Cody. Funny. I've got squatters' rights. I missed the lamb, that lad, was Cody. so funny. The camera shot was so funny because it was on in the foreground. And yeah. just on his balcony in the back, just you see this figure just going, on? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Wasn't he burning his suit? Yeah. In the back? In his car. <laughs> if I saw that, I'd just like put the blinds down <laughs> and I hadn't seen it. You've not got your Glock, have you? <laughs> The Varsity Blondes cut a promo in the ring, and Brian Pillman Jr. pays oh tribute God. to John Harbaugh. Harbaugh, head coach of the Baltimore Ravens and old roommate of his dad's. Pillman Jr. calls out the house Pillman of Because Pillman was like a football prospect, wasn't he? An American uh, football that's prospect. That's what I've been told. Right, so, yeah. okay. He might have even played a bit in the NFL. I'm not sure. 
I couldn't tell you. Because the he, he did college. People though. like Moose and stuff have made it to the NFL. Didn't he have like an injury and that's why he went in the oh, wrestling? I think okay. that's right, but don't quote me. Pillman Jr. calls out the House of Black, who show up and absolutely butter the blonde. Honestly. Get him in. <laughs> like. Yeah. They give a chair to Julia Hart and encourage her to attack Griff Garrison, but she can't bring herself to do it after months of this. Yeah, why? Uh, then Death Triangle <laughs> arrived to chase the House of Black away while Julia cries in the ring with her one functioning eye. Yeah, she should have done it now. This should she have been it. It was really awkward how the segment ended with yeah. Malachi putting his hands on her. And... <laughs> it was yeah, also yeah, awkward yeah. how the segment started and the middle of the segment was a bit awkward as well. It was all it was a really awkward. Segment. Pillman didn't have the crowd for the promo. No, they don't like him. Because Pillman sucks. Then everyone enjoyed watching the blondes get their arse. Yes. Two words that shouldn't Because Pillman together. sucks. Two yeah. words that really do Sorry, Pillman Jr. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and then the ending was, it just mm. should have gone the other way. Why yeah, did... Plus, why, why do we care about, like, at this point, Julia Hart and Griff Garrison and... Sucky because Pillman Julia, Julia like, is what made the Varsity Blondes mm. hell. That's yeah. what... Don't do anything. I'm going to protect what brought us together. <laughs> also... <laughs> Why did he's called? So he's called them out, and he's gone. Let's fight now! And the lights go down, and then up, and then down, and then up. And every time the lights, they're a bit closer to them, and eventually they're surrounding them in the ring. Yeah. Why did they wait for them to then kick them? They didn't get a single. That move would have been funny if they, they, they went lights were up again, and they're halfway down the ramp, <laughs> running away from them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? That would have saved the segment, <laughs> saved the feud. <clears throat> Julia Hart takes her eye patch. He goes, "Stop this." Well, <laughs> But now, what does this mean for Julia? I don't know, and I don't, I don't care. Know. They're not doing anything. I think she's still going to turn evil, but I don't know why it wasn't now. There's too much and also not enough happening between <laughs> these three. I'm, I can't wait yeah. for the, the proper three-on-three -three match that Death Triangle and uh, House of Black are going to have. Oh, God, I they mm. interfered, didn't they? That's going to be sweet, but until then, it's like, be, ooh, there's spooky! A, there's a lot of trios. Do you think there'll be trios titles at some point? We've got the House of Black, we've got the Blackpool Combat Club. Yeah, once they sort out the Death Ring of Honor... Super nonsense. Elite. They'll have that yeah, little have gap Cole there. And Six man. Oh, not super yes. undisputed elite. Yeah, you could have Cole with either of those two teams. Oh, great. Well, what? <laughs> what? Sorry. It's a nice thing. It's just funny, isn't it? It's not the elite. It's the undisputed elite. Uh, yeah. You could have FTR and a friend of Brett, theirs. Oh. Bret Hart. My Bret. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ray Phoenix beats Dande Martin. Oh, oh yes, indeed. Yes, shows respect yes, to the Yes, boys. Afterwards. Yes, yeah. daddy. Honestly, I went on, uh, it was funny because Tony Khan said, it's a dream match tonight. And I went, that's not a, a dream match. But watch it. Like, no, no, it's a, it's a sweet match. Mm. But I was just like, oh, a dream. It's like, nah. No, a dream match is with, between two more long established, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was like still. Like Dante versus fair, El Kanek. I reckon a fair amount of people are going, Phew, I can't wait to see Ray Phoenix get back in action and take on yeah. Dante mm. Martin. It could have been. It, I think it's a dream match up. Maybe there's a slight Maybe difference. Maybe it's, it's, it's a daydream match. Yes, yes, it oh, is. Oh, there you go. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Ten um, years time will be match. a dream match. Well, it can't be a dream match now because it's happened, has it? Yeah. I don't know. Um, Just a match. It's one of those matches you need to watch because we can't do it justice. Yeah. The stuff they were doing was uh, incredible. Yeah. 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 Liquid perfection. Was from it Ray you? Phoenix. Someone tweeted. It might have actually been Sean Ross up again, but someone tweeted saying, "Good to see Phoenix taking it easy on his return from injury." <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, the Luchadors. Yeah. That, yeah. that, that, that was easy for him. <laughs> yeah. True. Bless him. Uh, Thunder Rosa cuts a promo on the stage and talks about elevating the AW. The crowd were division. drunk by this point of the night. Uh, they were heckling her. I was like cringing. I was like, let her get it out, please. She calls mm. out the number one contender, Serena Deeb, who says that she truly believes that they can make their division the best in the world. But for that to happen, the best wrestler needs to hold the title and she'll make sure of it a double or nothing. This could have been uh, shorter than it was. It really felt like they were reading the script, like memorizing the yes. script. Mm. And did... Thunder Rosa kept on unnecessarily... Like, but in between lines. I don't know why. I hate when people interrupt people. Especially I know, I, I interrupted Ross to say that, and I felt bad. I do it all the time anyway. I we thought all, it was a giant. We all bloody do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, uh, I, I'd like that they're trying to make a story to get sort of invested in saying that Rosa right. used to travel eight hours to go and watch Serena Deep. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but it just seemed a bit far fetched. Why it's and like, but it, it did. It was a painful segment. I would put it down. Yeah, it's so because we, we say every time, like, haha, Tony Khan doesn't give any time for women's division or give any promos or anything that that everybody else does. Hey, here's a long promo. Great. And it was like, oh no. Oh, but you, you, <laughs> it's like, come on. But you you can be more inventive and find a way to yeah. Yeah. do a little angle or do like it doesn't need to be just them reciting lines, you know? Yeah. And, think, and again, we can make the division the best. Of, I don't care about these divisions. Like, what do you care? When you win a match, they, they, Becky Lynch is living in their heads rent uh, free. Oh <laughs> god, that's exactly what this. That's was, what it was. It, yeah, Jack? of course it was. Yeah. Oh well, no, no one. No, 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 like, you guys can care about what Becky Lynch says about you. We care about 
who's wrestling, who's yeah. having a match. I'm it sure might, the match will be good. It yeah. might just be a case of oh, like, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. It might just be a case of these two being like Ronda and Charlotte. So I think oh. Ronda and Charlotte are crap on the mic, but when they're fighting each other, it's good. I agree with that. So it might just be a case of that. Yeah, maybe that match would be great. We've also gone from having like, apart from last week, which was weird, but we've gone from having a, a heel like women's champion who was class on the mic to now. It would oh, always yeah, feel so it's like, hey, you can just do what the other one did. It's like, they're very different. Or <laughs> yeah, well, maybe yeah. we got that used to the same Britt Baker promo with Tony Schiavone backstage every single week for months. That we'll get it. Well, it did happen this week as well, didn't it? Yeah. But the championship it wasn't oh, there. Yeah, yeah. So maybe because we're all like Pavlov's dogs, we're not happy with that because we're conditioned. Britt and Jamie Hayter got a laugh edge. out of me because they were like, oh, you're wearing the matching leather crop tops. <laughs> it was really funny. It was Tony Storm and Ruby. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they both were like, Ugh. <laughs> Where punk rock? Oh, that was funny. See, your your summary of it was better than. No, no, they bit. literally made that. Yeah, like, they know. turned and were like. <laughs> Tony Storms, a weird enigma at the moment for me. Go on. She just, when she says something, it's naff because she was like, "What have you done apart from become the AEW Women's Champion?" <laughs> and then this week, she just stood there and said nothing. It's like, come on, I want to see oh, more. Damn that she does. Damn that she doesn't, Ross. <laughs> I know. So, well, she's she's finding her mojo once again. Is she? Come on. Yes. Where is she looking? Is she looking hard enough? She's going to prove it in the ring. But for some reason, there's been this no contact thing, so she can't even beat anyone up backstage. <laughs> Why have they done that? Weird. But isn't it criticism because it's like, oh, wait, women are talking backstage. Three, two, one. Someone attacks. Oh, do you think it's to stop that? Um, yeah. That's a thing that happens with the men's as well. It's like, yeah. yeah. Someone starts speaking. Three, two, one. Yeah. I'm actually going to interfere you right now and yeah. challenge you for a match, good sir. Yeah. yeah. Is that Keith Lee? <laughs> <laughs> Drew McIntyre comes and that was writes a name boy. on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Sweat. <Swenton. laughs> and in the main event, Mercedes Martinez beats Deonna Perosa to become the un- oh, whatever Sorry. the undisputed <laughs> Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. You think I'm going to get a name right? The Ring of Honor <laughs> Women's World Champion. So. Yeah, so she was the interim, but now she's the undisputed. So uh-huh. the I crowd were dead. Uh, where were you? Yeah. Yeah. Just cut you no, no, yeah, just like yeah, a, no, I agreed. Like just like an explanation yeah. of what was going on. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why is there an interim title? Like that? Why right. was that? We, uh, there's just too much wrestling. Yeah, and not enough explanation for the wrestling yeah. that there is on there. Again, more Ring of Honor in this dead zone of. All right, is, is this a thing that exists anymore? Is this a concept? Is this building up to something? I always have the t- TV title and not have everyone expect that we've all been following Ring of Honor mm. which they haven't because it died because no one was watching it and then again not enough build up there. I'm really surprised it was the main event well it was to address criticism I think probably but I would rather they did a main event with two women that have got storylines and like that we, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but throw them it's almost I'm like I'm sure they do have their own storyline in Ring of Honor or whatever yeah, but this isn't Ring of Honor but yeah yeah it felt it really was, out of blue. Promo. Yeah, yeah. Just, I, I don't got the, the and they're both obviously it. like technically really sound. That's yeah. very much like Perazzo's thing is that she's like technically very good. Right, but yeah, the crowd weren't really into it, were they? No, because no. didn't the hoop be invested in? Yeah. I don't yeah. think because like, they've got the polite golf claps. That's about yeah. as far as Mercedes away. is good, but she's not, she's been pushed as like someone good. Yeah. yeah, main event. She used to be in Retribution. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, sorry, but uh, yeah. Oh well, so. Some good bits of dynamite. Some... I've met Diana Peraza. How I, got, was it? I got introduced to her and we went, all right, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so she was quite short. <laughs> and a good wrestler. If only this segment of the podcast well. was short. <sighs> what a bloody week of wrestling. I tell you what, I was shocked that Diana lost. Me too. She's been collecting the belt. She's been the yeah. belt collector. Triple A, Impact, Ring of Honor. Steve mm. Macklin. Well, is she going out with him? Or is so. engaged? I think, I think so. Yeah, she is. Wait, <laughs> oh. she's collecting him as well. Yeah, collected him as well. Um, yeah, he has a belt. He's ch- he's in he's going for he wants the main impact belt, but I don't know if he's gonna get it. I've been uh, following the storylines in impact. perazzo has got a match against Ty of Valkyrie soon. Uh-huh. For the She's good. Yes, for the triple A belt. The Reina Des yes. Reina's championship. But it's a rematch because Valkyrie already beat her. Maybe That's she's right. losing all her belts. Yeah. Hopefully not. She's the belt loser. She is good. Yeah, she's the belt loser. Yeah. You're the belt loser. Yeah. No, she is good. I hope she doesn't. Yeah. Anyway. The match was all right. Mm. Yeah. Just couldn't get invested because I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. I don't know why I should have cared about either person. Last time we saw Mercedes Martinez, she was Britt Baker's hired goon. Mm. Yeah. Was she not? She was. She had right. that match with uh, Thunder Rosa. But then she... Good. They kicked her out for not being vicious enough. Yeah. yeah, so she's a loser, and then John's the belt loser. No, she's won the belt from the belt loser. Pair of losers. Ooh. 
That's what we've learned here. Yeah. Today. The Ring of Honor loser women's champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> what a week of wrestling. What a week of wrestling. Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. Let's <laughs> have a little look in the mailbag. Number one. Bonjour, lads. As they say in the States. Oh. Booch! <laughs> <laughs> as well as Mr. Twiddell. I was in the top 1%, hello, Mr. Carter III, I hope you're well, of WWE's <laughs> listeners on Spotify last year. However, I always find myself skipping wrestling theme songs when my non-wrestling friends are around, as I think that they'd find them, for lack of a better word, mid. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the themes I'll happily play for anyone who'll listen, such as Hook's theme, Action Bronson, The Chairman's Intent, or Will Ospreay's Elevated, It Lives, It Breathes. <laughs> So my question to you three fine fillies is if you just so happen to be DJing a set at a musical festival, would there be any wrestlers' entrance songs you would use on your playlist? Cheers, chaps. Former Tottenham, Sutherland, and Finland left back, uh, Timu Timu Tenio. Oh, Timu Tenio. Timu Tenio. Timu Tenio. Hey. Oh, thank you, Timu. <laughs> um, oh, it's an interesting one. DJing a, a random set, random festival, nothing to do with wrestling. Depends on the genre. Yeah. Jamie Hater every time. Yes. What's her thing? Oh, it's called indignation on the on mm. the things where you listen to the musics. Mm. Uh, it, it's a song that the Cowie Girls from NXT would love to bop to. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah Kate, um, no, no, sorry, not Casey Catton's already. What was it? What's, what's Katana it? Chance. Katana Chance. Oh, God. And her uh -huh. friend. Caden Carter. Caden Carter. Is she still Caden Carter? Yeah, yeah. They just changed wow. her name. Mm. Um, I think I'd do Naomi's. Oh, Naomi's a good shout. Yeah, yeah. The Cowboy uh, Girls were like that as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Drew Gulak's, as me and Ross have established, oh, is an amazing song, which never gets used. <laughs> That's so one of those good. nights where the people take LSD. <laughs> and they're all just like on the floor. Yeah. Or maybe, what? Well, oh, well, oh, shit, I'm not going to say out on the podcast. Okay. <laughs> um, <best>. Keyhold! <laughs> oh. um, is that a Brie mode? <laughs> Keyhold! <laughs> 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 Um, if it was just a, if it wasn't like, if it wasn't like dance music, if it was just anything, <laughs> I'm not actually, no, I was going to say Jungle Boys, but I'm not going to count real songs. That's a, that's a Weatherspoon's top floor dance floor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I guess uh, what's happening in the next Botchermania sort of thing. <laughs> People are going, what does that mean, man? Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Ross said it on the podcast, and I thought it was funny. <laughs> don't do drugs, oh. kids. Drugs are, of, drugs are bad. None of us do here. No. Oh, you made that, I don't we actually don't. You made that sound like you. <laughs> none of us do here. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be role models for yeah, the future that, generations. That's right. No one's ever did a drug. <laughs> <laughs> the only drug we have is professional wrestling. <laughs> Our drug of choice. <laughs> that used to get me when I was a kid, like Stone Cold going, Rock, my drug of choice is the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Mm. I was like, how does that work? <laughs> and alcohol. Yeah. That's not a drug. Yes, it is. <laughs> By definition. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello, lads. I've had this thought ever since Elias, I'm sorry, Ezekiel has come back to TV with his new gimmick. Imagine if the same storyline had occurred during the Thunderdome era except for the culmination of Elias coming back and then filming segments between the two of them with both of them in the frame. Hollywood magic, like an Eddie Murphy or Ernest film. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest saves wrestling. They could have even had a match between themselves and cutting during bumps or obscuring the face. I think it would have been very funny and definitely an added bonus to the cinematic type matches of the Thunderdome era. All of this to say, which wrestler would you like to see face themselves? Could be different eras or the same, and which one do you think would win? Thanks to the literal years of laps, been a fan since before 100K, that name redacted. Oh. I've been watching Botchmania since I was an actual child. Oh, you love that. Oh, man. <laughs> you love that pre mode ending coming up there. <laughs> Cheers. Devlin from Hagerstown, Maryland, the same hometown as NXT 2.0's The Rock. Oh, SmackDown Live's uh, Dark Match, The Rock now. In fairness, thank you. Devlin. That, that means he could have just, that he could have been watching for a year, Botchmania, if he's a young man. It doesn't really mean that he's been watching it for it. I'm, I'm assuming he has been watching it for it. <laughs> I've accepted that I'm in my 30s. Okay. Uh, but that's interesting. Like, have you seen Infamous? No. No. With uh, the Hardy, who plays both Cray Twins. Right. Uh, so he gets a I've fight I've seen with screenshots him. from it. Okay, yeah. Just... I mean, it was 
It was a mixed film because he's always the best thing of this, uh, the film he's in. The okay. rest of the film's a bit rubbish. But yeah, the fact that he did that and got, gets in a fight with himself, it looks pretty impressive. Lindsay Lohan did it in The Parent Trap. She had a fencing match with herself. They both had masks on. I was going to say, wait, hang on, fencing. But... Yeah. And uh, it was the Eddie Murphy and Nutty Professor reference. Oh, yeah, right. Because if I... Uh, oh, no, yeah, no, he, he is all the family. Yeah, he plays the family. Oh, oh, no, right. the comedian's oh, yeah. Dave Chappelle, I think, who's been in the news. Uh, <laughs> yes, he has. Anyway. Is that Dave Chappelle? I think that's Dave... Sh Reggie, or whatever he's called. Get out! That's right. I think yeah. he's... Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, it's, but his voice, is, his voice is like totally different oh and he's younger. Oh, my God. I think, that's, I think that's Dave Chappelle. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Mm. Mm. It is a real comedian, and I, I want to say it's Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Anyway, who would... Which wrestler do you think could fight themselves? Bret Hart. <laughs> which eras, or just... Just Bret Hart. Okay. Well, Bret Hart uh, versus Bret Hart would be the best match ever. The footwork would be insane. Wait, we saw oh. that last week on Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hangman. I'd like to see Nitro era Vampiro take on Lucha Underground commentator era <laughs> Vampiro in a death match. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. And I think that older Vampiro would destroy younger Vampiro. <laughs> that is one of my favorite entrances of all time, by the way. When Vampiro came out in Lucha Underground for his match against oh, Pentagon, yeah, yeah. and he was like an evil pope, yeah. and he was in the crowd and he did this weird thing with his hands, because yeah. Vampiro used to do that, but he'd like, but older Vampiro wasn't as mobile, so he just kind of went, yeah. and I was like, that's legitimately disturbing. Yeah. Great. It's like you've just seen Ghost for the first time. And Matt, right. Matt Stryker's on commentary going, now 99% of the time this is my friend Ian, but tonight <laughs> he is Vampiro. And Vampiro's like, I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Play my music, damn it. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's God. good. I'd have Shane McMahon. I'd have old, you know, nose candy Shane McMahon, the current one we have, fight nose candy. You know, that one promo he did when he was just Oh, yeah. And, he kept oh. coughing and like going, oh. Yeah. Braun, me and... You see, Braun. Braun, I mean, let me tell you. Primo. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that one versus here comes the keyhole. <laughs> no, no, no. Here comes. Scott's got, got a debit card. <laughs> here comes. I've thought of a pun. I don't know whether I should say it. Come oh, on. no, you have to now. Here comes the Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Money, money, money. Shane O'Cook uh, versus <laughs> the older, allegedly teetotal. Sorry, younger. Yeah, we go. Younger uh, teetotal. Shame at man. Rich because boy. then he could be doing. Uh, uh, my real punches that really hurt you that look like crap mm. and then young Shane McMahon is like you know he'd fly for the ring yeah. three tables <laughs> it'd be like Hogan versus Michaels but like yes. good yeah I think that's a re that's the best answer that's yeah. a really good one thank you appreciate that <laughs> hey diddlers being a fan of Godaholic since day one ish, ish. There you go. Yeah. I live in oh Honolulu born and raised here mm. on last week's podcast you mentioned The Rock going to school in Hawaii Along with Ross's funny attempt at pronouncing Honolulu. Honolulu. Thank you. He asked what school was like here. Schools and overall life here is the same as most of mainland America, where it is surrounded by an ocean. And we do heavily rely on tourism, like Matthew mentioned. That's right. I love that you guys mentioned Hawaii at all. I just want to give you all thanks for all the content you've provided. Here's a hypothetical question, you guys. In early 2018, everyone in Hawaii... <laughs> I've heard the story. It's not you say. It's everyone in Hawaii... Honolulu. I did an evil French laugh there. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> received an alert. I just saw the rest of this because, oh. uh, yeah, received an alert on their phones warning of an immediate missile strike oh, and to seek shelter immediately. It took 37 minutes until <laughs> another message was sent saying the alert was false. Many people here reacted differently from panic to calm, accepting that whatever happens will happen. With that being said, if you guys got an alert on your phone that a missile was incoming and to seek shelter, how would you react? Who would you try to contact? And what, if any actions, would you attempt to protect yourself? So if my question's out of left field, I'm a little drunk as I'm writing this, just couldn't think of any resting questions. Uh -uh. Much love, Randy from Honolulu, and P.S., The Rock went to the same high school as my dad, McKinley High School, 10 years apart, oh. though. Just thought I'd mention it while the hell. A lot yeah. of people who attended McKinley High School yes, in Hawaii. Yes, Honolulu. Honolulu. McKinley High School. Oh. Aye. But it's surrounded by, night. it's like normal school, but surrounded by the ocean. Oh. It's the school itself, yeah. Oh, but... <laughs> 
It's a little tiny school. <laughs> yeah, no, it's always nice when you get like people from different areas. Explaining. The There's someone yeah. on there. Someone got in contact right, on Twitter. Jersey Guernsey lad. <laughs> <laughs> on contact on Twitter. I don't know if he was taking the piss. I assume he wasn't, but he was like, when in the middle of certain classes, they're allowed to go out and surf if there's a good wave. Oh. I don't know what part. Yeah, I, I hope that's true. Yeah, I hope it's true as well, but I don't know if they're yeah. taking the piss on us. Yeah. Um, Over in Hawaii. Question? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, have you heard that story before? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was all over Twitter at the time. That was just mm. nuts. Uh, I think UK yeah. wrestler Sebastian was there on his honeymoon or something. That might oh. not be. That might not. I might have oh, totally. Okay. You know what? You can't trust what he says on Twitter. Yeah, wait a minute. It might have been a total lie. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks. So, yeah, God, that's a hell of a question. Is I like that, that mm. their thing of if there's a, a missile coming is that thing that happened to them. Whereas I was just, you know, watching mm. threads. Well, I'm trying to think because I would seek shelter, yes. But you've got 37 minutes. Where would you seek shelter? That's what I'm trying to think. I'm trying, without giving away my address. <laughs> mm-hmm. Where do where do I live? Where where's the nearest like fortified building? Ooh. There's a Tesco nearby. <laughs> Has it got a cellar? <laughs> um mm. Parts unknown. Do you want to be? Do you want to be higher or lower ground? Because we live quite near. Well, sorry, no, I live quite near anyway. The Ooseburn, which is down in a valley. Ooseburn. Ooseburn. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I can't remember any of my nuclear training. What you're supposed <laughs> to do. Um, oh man, not much. It sounds like uh, after you get hit. So uh, I would head for parts unknown. Part probably unknown. a few people that I've had my eye on for a while and goes, look, thirty-seven minutes. Just want to tell you this. Just throw it out there. <laughs> If you're in the Might area. as well. I mean, what's the worst that can happen but now? But then you've got to meet up first. You'd waste, like, so many of them. A few of them, I'd, I'd just run there. <laughs> Don't worry, I know where you are. It's like Dull Hudson's in the <laughs> room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Obviously, then, if it is, like, the Hawaii thing, <laughs> sorry, false alarm. I'm like, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Um, I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably do that. And if they were like busy or th- do it, they, they were doing the same. And it turns out that, you know, oh, okay, fair enough then. I'd probably, I'd probably go to one of those places that has like, oh, what's the place that has expensive food that you've been wanting to try for a while? That's obviously you can't go to a restaurant. It's like, hey, can uh, take your order. It's going to take 20 minutes. Nah. This <laughs> is but, a terrible service, I must say. Yeah, right. um, oh, wait, there's nothing really posh or expensive for me to eat. Is there? You've gone for the. Oh. You've gone for what is known in uni as the gold rush, yeah. which, in, which for anyone who doesn't know, is like the last week of term or whatever. Uh-huh. The people who are graduating and will never see each other again in theory all decide to get with each other because, yeah. well, we've been mates, but we're not going to see each other again. Yeah. Um, so you've gone for, you've prioritized, One last tile shot. Yeah. You've prioritized that <laughs> over Absolutely. safety. Okay, fair Doesn't enough. matter now, does it? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'd do. To be honest, the question's secondary. I just thought it was a nice story after last week. Yeah, you know what? (laughs) We get that a lot though, Ross. Please just, even if you don't have a question or anything to throw at us, just tell us where you are. I think that's a good question. I wish I had a more solid answer. I was blown away there's someone in Hawaii. I agree. Actually, so I remember there was a Reddit, I like Ask Reddit, but with serious replies, and someone said, hey, what's life like in Hawaii? And Mm. people said, ah, it's kind of, you know, it's very, uh, not secluded, but, you know, obviously it's so built on tourism. Uh. And it's, you know, there's a lot of not getting used to people staying for long. Do you think we've got listeners in all fifty states? Hawaii would oh. have been Hawaii would have been yeah, the, like a big map. Yeah. If you're oh, in Alaska, great. please Alaska was the next one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because we can count out the the ones like the big populated ones, like New York and California yeah. and Texas and that. But if you're from like Wyoming or something, yeah. or Nebraska, I know there's Ohio people are listening. Yes, there are. Yeah. Ohio. Yeah. Ohio. <laughs> but I'm I'm interested. I'm interested. Oh, Any Alaskans straight, out there? Straight out of Houston, Texas, by the way, Houston. Booker T says he has no respect for Ryback, and he would say it to his face. Okay. <laughs> I like Booker T when he's not on his <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Just saw that headline on Reddit. I try to keep I up with it. tell him to his face. After we've done the news, I try and keep up with the news. Uh, after we've done the, sorry, the weekend rest, I try to keep up with the news because something You try and beat the curse. Yeah, mm. someone's, I, I hate the curse. You're yeah, proactively trying to beat the curse. I wish the curse would die. <laughs> What's the next question? That is it. Oh, is that it? For the questions. <laughs> Three good ones. Mm. But, like I said, if you have any thoughts, queries, or if you want to tell us where you're from, just so we can get rid of the big map, we yeah, can yeah. bring in next week, then please, please, please send them to mailbag at cultaholic.com. Ah, wrist piss. Hello, old gentlemen. Recently, Brock has admitted that Monica was his favourite friend's character. <laughs> wait, 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 did he? There was a link included, but I took it out because it is a, um, 
a written piece of paper where you can't c- click the link. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I was a bit taken aback by this. I figured if Brock was going to identify any TV character of the 90s, it would have been Goldar from Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Which got me to thinking, aside from the very obvious example of Enzo Mori being Joey from Friends, Oof. I don't know about two, that. Two Enzo I mentions. D- I don't just know. Just because how you're doing, isn't it? I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. Oh, right. Because I, I can't imagine Joey like, walking into the apartment doing the backwards <laughs> like, run thing. Hey, Monica, hurt find me. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to associate a wrestler with these famous Ross TV would be sitcoms... big cast. He's the tallest one. Yeah. This is Big oh, Ross. Oh, David Schwimmer. Yeah. Like, Why? Why? <laughs> no, David Schwimmer. <laughs> this is Big Ross. He's about six foot three, mm. and you, you can probably teach them. Well, that's why... He sees uh, Morrissey, Sean Benny W. He goes, I thought we'd together. He goes, we were on a break. Uh-huh. Oh, very good. Thank you. It's, it's only friends joke, oh God. Yeah. So, if you were going to associate a wrestler with these famous TV sitcom characters, who would you choose? So, faster thought first. Hey, they know the rules. I give you the TV character. Okay. And you tell me which wrestler jumps immediately to mine. Please bear in mind that as an American, boo. I'm not super familiar with British TV shows, but I've <laughs> tried right. to include some characters from shows I've heard you reference over the years. List is below. I love you all like hugs and drugs. <laughs> we don't do them. <laughs> Cheers, weirdos, and best of luck, David from Quincy. Thank you, David. Where's Quincy? I have no I idea. That real Sounds thing? like I'm going to guess Indiana. Quincy, Indiana. Sounds like it would be. Quincy, Quincy Jones. America. Quincy? Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, I couldn't spell Massachusetts if you. Mo asa sa a curly cut The curly cut. Ross. The curly cut and the kicking cut always throw me. Let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> curly cut. <laughs> do you remember those days? No, yeah, I do yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? All right. So, first of thought, first go Jack Ross, me, Alan Partridge. Oh. Who Pacitti saw live uh, recently doing his recent tour? Oh. He, he was not impressed. Oh, really? He said it wasn't very really good. Oh. I'm like, no. Oh. Um, I wanted to go for that, but I didn't put the call out during the podcast yeah. last week while uh, we were busy. Yeah. So I was like, by the time the podcast's done, uh, they've the already taken yeah. <laughs> That's a different, a different <laughs> curse, yeah. Different curse. Um, who's Partridge? Who's like cringy without. Me. But, but do you mean to be, sort of? <sighs> I don't Anybody know. from an XT 2.0. <laughs> Sean Spears. <laughs> Sean Spears that's is a, a good, good shout. That's a good one. I'll go Sean Stasia because that's what I thought you were going <laughs> to oh. say. And he often was kind of bumbling, wasn't he? Uh, he was very bumbling. Yeah, yeah running yes. into things. Yeah. yeah. In, in, try to hit the rock, but impale himself on a spike instead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go with QT Marshall. Okay. <laughs> Martin Crane from Frasier. Not Frasier Crane. Which one's Martin's Martin? The granddad, isn't he? The, oh, right. Oh, the dad. The dad. Oh, oh. I'm not too Frasier's familiar. Frasier's dad. I'm not, hmm. I don't know. I can't answer this one. Freddie Blassie. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Is he he's just sat in a chair. Now he's just yeah. like an old fellow who just doesn't yeah. take much nonsense. Doesn't he? Yeah, he's oh, like right. an NFL loving dad, and he's like okay. his two sons, both in, oh, Vince one was in psychiatry. <laughs> and he's, Vince. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's not that bad, but I'd, uh, he was a good old man. Zeb Calder. You okay. Know, he's decent for an old bloke. Uh, Ross from Friends. Big cast. <laughs> yeah, we just established this. Who's uh, a womanizer? <laughs> but Dull does... Hudson. <laughs> oh, well, no, I disagree with that. <laughs> Completely. Uh, oh, Wade Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> Cr- Monica. Kramer from Seinfeld. Um, now, someone needs to explain this one to me because I've not taken the time to watch Seinfeld. He kind of bursts in and he's the wacky one. Yeah, he's the wacky odd one. He's like, Jerry, we need to do this crazy thing. And he's like, but why do we do, do, do this? Yeah. Kramer. Mm. <laughs> Dexter Loomis. Uh, That's not far. Yeah, yeah. There's got to be like a... Our oh, truth. Butch at the minute. He's out of control, isn't he? Oh, He's oh, all oh. over the place. Wendy Chu. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you put her on the sunroof? <laughs> Father Ted. Oh. oh okay. Father Ted. Mm-hmm. Just always exasperated with people around Just him. Sick of life. Yeah. yeah. A smoking mm. priest. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Oh, I'd say oh. Regal. Yeah, Regal. Like when he was show, like managing, yeah. you know, Eugene or somebody. Now he's a bit more. All right, Carl yeah. and Zen, but before I'm like, oh, yeah, Bivins. Eugene Bivens. Uh, mm. That's a good one. Um, it? <laughs> it's a tenuous. I'm going to take oh, the God, really you. easy way out and go, Seamus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
He bragged about ki- kicking. Bishop no, he didn't Brennan. brag about it, but he said he was. He bro kicked Bishop Brennan up yeah. the arse. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Cotton. Oh. Yes, I know she's from a sitcom, but come on, that's hilarious. Um, Lin- if you got Linda, rabbit, Linda McMahon. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, hmm. it's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Got a pop from Richie T. Got a pop from Tubman. <laughs> there was a noise upstairs. Sorry. Even with that still going break, on. I can't still think of anything. Who else is old? May Young. Okay. Yeah. May Young, because they're both old and evil. <laughs> That's <laughs> Moolah anyway. Whatever. Well, yeah. May the nice one. May didn't have anything bad, did, did she? Did Not she? that we know Probably. of. She was good friends with Fabulous Moolah. She's a wrestler, of course. She had yeah. something bad about her. Neil from The Inbetweeners. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. AJ Hazard. <laughs> ah, that counts. Fajiri? Yeah. Neil from In Between Us. Mm. Oh, Brooks Jensen. <laughs> oh, perfect. That is the one, mm. yeah. Ooh, before that, Draco. He's a bit useless, wasn't he? Draco Anthony? Yeah. Neil. That's not useless. Neil can dance. Neil's a talented man. He can pop and So lock. is Draco. Yes. He worked out late at night and drank 2 a.m. Yeah. Well. Oof. David Brent. <laughs> Oh, oh God. Michael Paul Cole. Heyman. <laughs> Paul Heyman. <laughs> yeah. No, not Michael Cole, because he's self-aware now, isn't he? Mm. It's similar to the Partridge one. Cole, Cole yeah. before Pat would have been a good shout. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Shane McMahon. <laughs> Real <laughs> backstage Royal Rumble Shane McMahon. <laughs> Basil Faulty. <laughs> Basil Faulty would be... The guy who ran five-star wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Basil Fawlty. Um, oh man, it's difficult. Basil Fawlty would be. Which I think someone just loses their temper quite a lot, just quite easily. Shouts at folk. Kevin Owens. Mm. Kevin Owens. I don't know. Well, that's a hard one, that. Yeah, it's difficult. Richard Tubman, come on. <laughs> Save the podcast. Basil Fawlty's a wrestler. It, well, I was thinking, oh, it's Adam Pierce, and then Sonia Deville's oh, uh, Sonya Deville's Sybil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. Don't mention the draft. Yeah. I mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> Del Boy. Um, Nathan Fraser. No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> JTG. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shad could have played Rodney. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm who's, sure he's thrilled. Who else could... I'm trying to think of just Cockney wrestlers now. They don't need to be Cockney. No, we Cockney, but it's part of the charm. JTG works because he's a wheeler dealer. Of course. Dealer, yeah. mm. um, any other wheeler dealers? The ultimate opportunist, Edge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never misses a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoever supplied the rings at the Newcastle upon time, the retour that we want to do. <laughs> oh, yes. It's just like a real ring, yeah. but not quite. Just can't hit them very hard. <laughs> Thank you very much, David from Quincy. We hope you understood Thank all you, of our references because we understood some of yours. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you have any Reese's pieces of your own, please, 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 please send them to mailbag at colloid.com. If you have any special wacky rules, can you please let us know because we're not clairvoyant and we do love you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cultaholics. The Question. Ah, what a lovely long podcast. And there's just a bit more time to squeeze in a cheeky mention to our executive producers, GDA John, Reno2200, Noah Anderson, Anderson, Anderson. and Nick Harvey. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Cheers. You magnificent specimens of human beings. Mm. And now we move on to women of NXT. We had the starter at the whatever, the barbecue long home. Is this just getting, <laughs> waiting for the check to arrive? This is the, the mints. Yes. After you get the bill. Yes, which... If you see those mints in a little bowl, I think is it, you don't go near them because generally people don't touch them with their dirty hands yeah. and it's actually mate, a bad idea. There was a, I went to see my mate once when we were at uni, but he was in York, mm-hmm. but it was like one stop on the train. So I went out to see him, went out on a night out with him and his flatmates, mm-hmm. went to a club called Willow in York. I'm not sure if it exists anymore, but it was above a Chinese restaurant. And they had bowls of prawn crackers in the nightclub. Oh, Do not no. touch in the nightclub. Prawn. I. It was bizarre. Oh my god! I would be telling Imagine... myself, "Don't touch them." As soon as I had a few drinks. <laughs> oh no! I, I wasn't even tempted once. It. It was a weird idea. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I can't imagine a prawn cracker keeping its 
crunchiness in a club. In a sweaty, sweaty Imagine night. Oh, just, the be, moisture, be you're right. Yeah. Mm. You're like, why is this bowl of water here? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the top big, lovely number one question this week is, what's going to be the best match at WrestleMania Backlash? Come on. In brackets, <laughs> yes, it is this weekend. Yeah. Ah, let's have a little look at the card. Uh, currently announced. Shall sure, there be something changed? Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. I quit match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Nice. I do like our tabs at the top there. It says the disappointing reason why WrestleMania Backlash 2022. <laughs> <laughs> the documentary coming to Cultaholic in a few years' yeah. time. Um, what do you say, Matthew? It makes your noise of enthusiasm. That you All right, do. yeah. Uh, for Charlotte and Ronda. Charlotte mm, and Ronda. Bosh. Mm, mm. Mm. This, that, that is my answer, by the way. That one. As that card is looking there. Currently, yeah. I think that's the one. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'll explain why I'm not as excited for it. I think they're both good, but I quit matches. I find, in fact, I yeah. miss a lot of the time. I've just chatted a load of bollocks there. It's not at all. <laughs> Let's go. Because <laughs> I don't think either of them, they're going to have say I actually quit. I think there'll be some sort of shenanigans and it will be bad. Mm. That's just a prediction. Though. Plus, I don't like any match that encourages either Charlotte or Ronda to talk more. <laughs> It'd be quite predictable as well, Nick, because Ronda's not going to go, I quit. She's a bloody MMA lady. But The Rock beat Mick Foley by tricking him. Would Charlotte do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she would. Yeah, that's not my answer at all. I've just looked at the rest of the card instead of just looking at the top one. Cody Rhodes versus Seth freaking Rollins. Mm. The rematch. Mm. <laughs> That's an evil laugh because Rollins will get his WrestleMania backlash. <laughs> I <laughs> think if the Mania match was anything to go by, they, they're they good together. I think this at the minute is the front runner, but let's, let's see. Less invested in this than I am the initial match they had. Yeah. I'm surprised they're doing it again. Same. I like, don't know why they're not doing it something else, but... Um, it'll be interesting to see how the crowd reacts because, as I said before, the <sighs> crowd does like Rawlins. Yeah, Cody's but... just gone out and go, pew, 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 championship, not a belt, blah, 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 and all the rest. Yeah, but... The crowds, crowds are different on pay-per-views. Okay. I just think they sing along to the song, Matthew. I think that Cody will Cody's... be the face. Yeah. <laughs> I think he will. We'll see, won't we? We'll see. Drew McIntyre versus... R Sorry, Drew McIntyre and RK, bro, big pardon, versus The Bloodline. Currently, just a six-man tag team match. I think it'll hopefully, be a very good... Hopefully, it'll get changed to its uh, belt on the line. Hopefully. If not, then... Mwah, yeah. mwah, uh, mwah. House show? I think it'll be... Yeah. A... <laughs> it's a house I think show. it'll be a better match than a house show match. I think they will pull out some stops, but it all rides on the stipulation, doesn't it? Yeah, I it can't does. really include this one in my answer yet. It will be a good match because of the lads involved, mm -hmm. but mm. there's nothing There's nothing to it, is there? Unless they make something of it. Mm. Mm. I think it's going to set up Drew versus Roman for the, yeah. if not money in the bank, then the the, uh, the, 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 the the tussle in the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AJ Styles versus Edge. Now, this is the one, just because of, I don't know if just, it is the rumour and the innuendo but the people who could potentially join Edge's faction. That's the intrigue. Because oh, while Priest, Priest, Priest can't do, it. do be banned from the ringside, that doesn't mean that Rhea Ripley or Tommaso Ciampa or maybe Bala isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, so that's my answer there. Nice. Yeah, I'm the same as Ross. I'm not... The match was good at Mania, but I'm not... Edge matches I've got to be in the mood for currently yeah, because they I, are long. 100% agree. Yeah. yeah. So I'll see how I can. I'll see how I got them. I may... <laughs> <laughs> They're like those uh, free prawn crackers at the disco. Maybe I'll have one. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I love your impression. Of me. <laughs> Happy Corbin versus Mad Cat Moss. Oh, yes. I've got something. Yeah. Yes. No? Hopefully, hopefully Mad Cat brings it home. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <Stay home. laughs> well, you're double Andres. <laughs> I'm already missing them as a comedy duo. I really loved when one of them would tell a joke and the, the other one would nearly get out of the chair because they were laughing too much. It was so good. But um, I think it'll be fine. It'll be a fine match, yeah. Yeah. I am looking forward because I don't think Mad Cap's had this much as a singles match, as a single star. This this platform that WrestleMania bra uh, Backlash brings, that's a tongue twister. Well, well done. Mm. Oh, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, it'll be all right. But only if Mad Cap wins. Yeah. I'm not that bothered, but I will change my mind. 
I can see that. If bum, it is botherable, I can, I can see that bum ass Corbin doing it though. <laughs> can you see that bum ass Corbin do it? No, no. I mean, he is very protected. Well, he was the last few months with Drew, but now that doesn't. Who cares about that? Mm. No, Corbin beats him, and he becomes unhappy Corbin again. I can see <laughs> yes. Corbin winning the first one, and they'll drag it out. Oh, Maybe. Mm. Well, money in the bank is coming, yeah. so that lends itself to a stipulation involving to WrestleMania yeah. money in the bank. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then Bobby Lashley versus no! Omos. No, no, no. Omos is going to get his revenge, isn't he? Yes, he's he is. Oh, no. That's the only reason oh. they can be doing this again, is for Omos to get his win back. Because mm. they cannot have watched that WrestleMania match and thought, oof, that was a barn burner. Hey, we should was, do it I again. I don't think it was, was oh, it bad. It was bad. Oh, was it? look, it, yeah. I get what they're doing with it. And on paper, it's like, okay, this is all right. But Omos is just, he's barely a wrestler. So, hey, let's have even more stuff. It's like, I'm, thank God MVP's there. Yeah, we well, aye. But uh, no desire to see it, so. Okay, fair enough. I love Lashley, though. I wonder what else will be added. Because what can, what can Bob do to Omos that is more impressive than a souple? Yeah. Yeah, he's already done it. Yeah. He can could he, more, could he a hear running him? Power slam, can he hear him with that? Well, he's, he's big man. Match time. Big, large man. But, but to have him on his shoulders, all that teetering weight. <sighs> I think I he's, he's full of meat. He is, he is full of meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he my God, I forgot to mention when we were talking about Dynamite, the meat man is facing CM Punk. Hmm. Johnny Hungy. Do you know why they call him the meat man? Because of these right here. Sirloin <laughs> steak. Sirloin steak. <laughs> it was such a good promo. <laughs> the meat the meme man more like. Oh, I see normal God. Facebook pages that's that one picture of him talking to uh, Anna J. Is it? Anna J. Anna? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that's a normal people's so Facebook pages now. So so happy. <laughs> normal oh, people's Facebook. Yeah. Page. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, WrestleMania rematch. Looks thrilling, doesn't it? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But you know, we, don't we do this and go, well, we had low expectations and I've enjoyed ourselves. Well, I hope, yeah, I, hope, I hope it is one of those. True. But yeah. I just, it's, it's weird how they've taken the big intrigue out of it with the unification thing for me. Right now. If they, yeah. if it remains unthingied, then yeah. Tonight yeah. is crucial. Yeah. Tonight is crucial. Yeah. Tonight is the night. Blah, 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 Street blah, fights. Blah, 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 Get down. Tonight is tonight. Keyhole. Yeah, so, wow, if you can't be bothered to watch this really important episode of SmackDown, don't worry, we'll be watching that and everything else that's happened oh. for next week's podcast. <laughs> Goodness me. You he okay? He nutted his microphone. I hate remember. when he nuts on camera. So End the podcast now. <laughs> well, well when you're not hit, doing hit that. The, I, oh, oh. oh, you silly Goodness Billy, you. Oh, so professional here, aren't we? <laughs> uh, until next week's uh, Two to Force, what have you got for us? Dot, dot, dot. Um, <laughs> so... The next weirdest episode is in the can, but actually, is it in the can if it's being edited? What does in the can mean? It's, it's been shot. Ready. It's been shot, but it's not been edited yet. So it's it's either it's in the can. Mean? I'm not sure which one I it is. I don't know. It's either in or out of the can. What does that mean? Richard, what does it mean? It's been shot. It's in the can. If it's, like, yeah, I can imagine that that's a wrap. It's in the can. That's a wrap on the day's like oh, the finish. I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, Matthew, that's been yeah. shot, and uh, Luke's editing it now. Uh, I don't know when it'll go out because it's very long. On tape or film and ready to be broadcast or released. Oh, it's so not, it's not, it's not ready to be released. It's not the can, sorry. It's approaching oh. the can. So it's, it's not mac and cheese just yet. It's <laughs> on the can. And um, <laughs> Not in the can. After all the lovely shenanigans of this weekend, uh, I'll be doing a What Happened Out video for, back, for WrestleMania Backlash. So, yeah. Lovely. What have you got for us, pal? Yeah, WTF will be on the channel on Monday, as will a live stream with Adam Pacitti on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Not Saturday night, buddy. Sunday night, live on the channel while the show's going on. Then there'll be what happened out with Jack, WTF with me. Uh, predictions are on the channel now, but not involving me, of course, because I lost at WrestleMania. <gasps> oh. And I am not a professional wrestler, therefore I don't come back and ignore stipulations. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, you're not, where's the WrestleMania backlash pretty uh, much? Well, uh, I had to retire if I lost, so I was lost and I'm retired. Uh, it's just... I'm retired, officially retired. Uh, but they're on the channel now. Uh, pictures, of course, for WrestleMania backlash went live on Wednesday evening, so they're on the channel right now. Uh, other content for WrestleMania backlash, I think that's it. Yeah. Of course, that's, yeah. that's more than it deserves. I'm, I'm doing a thing looking at every unification in WWF history. Oh. All Japan thing nice. is still in the works. <laughs> oh, is it, Richard? Looking forward to that. Can you shout how much fun you've had, Richard, Love finding it. all Japan <laughs> pictures yeah. for this list of just visual pictures? It's taken a long time. It's a long time, it's a long time he says. In uh, an enthused voice that yeah, you couldn't yeah, hear. That's everything. Mm. You know how mad it's made him go? 
How is, how much is it made? Of? He cycled. Where from? Well, oh, your um, most recent cycle. Whitehaven back here. From Whitehaven. Whitehaven. Coast to coast. Coast. That sent well, him from, because of this. It literally, <laughs> it literally sent him west. They felt the need to go for a cycle from west to east. It looked good. It looked fun. I need to do another big walk. He's trying to get away from the place. <laughs> <laughs> he got as far away from Japan as he could without leaving the country. That's how much he's hating. Wow, this list. Well, of all that hate going, it must be a great video. Oh, it's I long, isn't it? To come out. I've still got a page of dialogue to record. Oh, what are you saying? I've never seen all Japan, but my friends say it's good. No, not quite. That would be a crap video. What are you doing, Matthew? Not much. Uh, new Botchmania's out. Hey, lots of good pork scratchings there. War Horses, the intro. There's a bit of reading, and people fall out and go, oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> You really sold it. I know. I don't know it's so weird. What do you put in? What New you know? Botchmania merch. New Botchmania merch. Botchmaniashop.com. It's a real shop that really works. Mm. Also, uh, doing more of Just Incredible's fine book. Cool. <laughs> Again, people really into it. Um, on Sunday, at uh, the evening. Yeah, that's good enough for me. On mm. my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Botch. And I'll be screenshotting people's stupid video game signs on time. <laughs> to be on Twitter if you're actually watching that. Nice. But... That's all the titles over until next week. Right now, we've had a nice time here. Yes. From Honolulu to Jersey to Guernsey and everywhere else in between. Right now, this has been Jack. This has been Ross. This has been myself. We're going to look at this big screen here. The count of three set the thing that we always love. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we won't. Can you think of something else to say nope. instead? Uh... <laughs> I wonder what I'll say. One, two, three. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Del Hudson was fully responsible for that. VAR be damned. All right. Join <laughs> us. <laughs> the award winning chemistry next week. Oh, yeah. Same goal. Del Hudson's ketamine. <laughs> That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. <laughs>